What's up, everybody? My name is Ron Empire, and welcome to my channel. All right, so welcome back, everybody. Uh, this game is called Old World. It is a city survival-like 4X grand strategy. Um, pretty much civilization with some differences. I only briefly went through a couple of the tutorials. So I'll show you what I've done so far. And I briefly started a a settlement that I learned the uh, ropes uh, for playing. And uh, the reason I'm playing this is because Hooded Horse, the publisher of um, Against the Storm and publisher for Old World, sent me um, a game key to show you guys this game. Yep, so it's called Pharaohs of the Nile. And that's the new DLC that's releasing in three days. Two days and two days from now. And so I have early access to playing this. And I wanted to show you guys um, this game. And I, uh, I've always enjoyed playing Civilization and always enjoyed playing grand strategy games. So this will be be fun and interesting. Now they've added, uh, I think the extras is the, that's scenarios, right? Or no? Nope, they're supposed to be like a um, single player. Oh yeah, there's scenarios, right? So there's new scenarios added for um, Pharaohs of the Nile. And I have not played any of these scenarios, so I don't know what they're, they're about. Yeah, I don't know anything about scenarios. Achieve victory on one unification to unlock. Uh, so I maybe I should play the sandbox first. Let's do that. So I'm going to do a new game. And the new faction, or the DLC, is the Kingdom of Kush. This is the new faction here. So I'm going to go ahead and play the new faction for the DLC. And uh, some bios, some stats. Okay, so this particular faction has families with these particular perks. I guess these families can do th uh, set up um, capitals, I believe, with these particular perks. The way this game works is that you don't actually build anywhere you you want on the entire map. The unlike civilization, you start off with like a a settler or sorry, a scout and a settler. You you basically explore the world and find a place to settle, but you can place it on any tile that's around certain resources, right? In this game, let me see if I can lower down the vol volume here. The music is rather loud. Yeah, it's really loud. In fact, I want to turn off the music entirely because... Apparently, there's some issues with the music in this game, and they added even a special mode called Recording and Streaming Copyright Safety Mode. I enabled this. And I don't want to get flagged for any random music. I actually got flagged for some reason on one of my Core Keeper VODs. And the developers of the game had to go in and reclaim the music just so that people who got copyright striked for the music in Core Keeper don't get demonetized. So I'm, I'm just going to disable the music completely. It's not even worth the trouble. Um, let's go ahead and resume here. Let's go ahead and click single player again. New game. We're going to go with the Kingdom of the Kush. And so I was middle, in the middle of explaining that uh, there are fixed locations for the cities around the map, and you can only either place your settlement on that fixed location, or you conquer somebody. Well, that is different. Alright, so the Kingdom of Kush starts off with trapping, stone cutting, and divination. Divine nation, right? Divine nation. 
And so they also get Med J Archer, Fija Archer. So they're basically range attack units. Shrine of the Amani. Okay, that's an urban building that I can build anywhere. Also an urban building. Shrine of the Ape Demok. I don't know what that is. But this outputs protection and this outputs... I don't know. Is that working units? I think that hammer is like working units per turn or something. Build, build resource per turns, right? And this is the protection resource per turn. I don't know what that head icon is. I'm still brand new to the game, by the way. Uh, this is also another urban building. Urban building, right? Okay, so each one of these buildings actually give you some sort of resource per turn, which is nice. And then the pyramid gives us legitimacy, which allows us to expand. That's what I un understood from playing the, um, the tutorials. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump in. Oh, yes. Hmm. I forgot. Let's go with the default. Let's go with random default. Map size, let's go with small. What's dual? I don't know what dual... Let's, let's see, recommend for four, recommend for three. Two percent spread world religion, chance per turn. Recommended for three players. You know what? I'm gonna go with the smallest one since I'm still new to this game. I have no idea. Let's go with random. Just to make it interesting. Default settings? Sure, let's go with default settings. Option presets. All right, let's go with all of this. Since I'm still new to the game, and jump in. All right? There we go. All right. The uh, this uh, disciple can spread your state religion to other cities with the ortho. Oh shit! Well, I read all these tooltips. Every time they put tooltips on the screen, you try to read it. Or flavor text and it just disappears right after the load is done kind of bad place to put that information and it just immediately disappears uh so you are shana shanaka dakatiti dakahiti son of ra lord of the two lands and the first queen of kush so how am I son of Ra, Lord of the Lands, and the first queen at the same time? That's okay. I'm a, I'm I'm either a son or I'm a queen. What what is this? You are what? It makes no sense when I'm son of Ra. Lord of two lands and the first queen of Kush. Okay. Sure, I'm a guy and a girl at the same time. Alright, to the outsiders, your people have often been overshadowed by their relationships. Or by their relations. At the beginning, you don't have time to read them, but after a thousand hours of the game, you already you know all the load text by heart. Yeah. Uh, often overshadowed by their relations with Egypt, but under the rule of the culture of Kush um, is blossoming, okay? And then it is a time to craft of trade. It, it is a time of craft, of trade, of prosperity. Your artisans now write in the uh, Metro Metriotic texts all the better to give praise to the gods of Kush who have granted you the throne. Your authority is unquestioned, although you rule alone, your dynasty will need to be secured to establish your nation's place in this world. Select your settler and uh, found your capital city. You'll also decide which family family manages your first city, gaining their advantage immediately. Okay. I don't have anybody initially. Which is kind of weird because in this game, you're supposed to have like descendants or next of kin um, that you can choose to rule and govern each of your cities or be generals. So I don't know if it says I rule alone. Do do I get anybody? Although you rule alone, your dynasty becomes uh, your dynasty 
will need to be secured to establish your nation's place in the world. Okay, sure, whatever. Let's go on. All right, the city-state of Kush. Um, I think I have to found the city, right? Yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and get the capital here. This is my only spot. So unlike civilization, where you can just, like, explore the map and go, oh, hey, that's a really nice spot, or that's a great resource, you don't get that here. And I get to choose, right, which capital type. All right, so this one gets me protection per year. Or this one gets me... I don't know what that icon means. Artisans. It's probably structures or something, right? This one is workers or traders. This is, seems like a trading, a trading city. This is landowner city. Okay. Can buy tiles with money. This is farming per year. And this is new range unit starts with the Sentinel. A camps is out hundred percent output. Unlocks hunting. Okay. And this is farming. Do I have farming tiles? No, right? Remove trees. I don't have farming tiles. I have fresh water. I have hills. Harvest? Okay, so that harvests that artesian building. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I'm just guessing, alright? So I'm guessing. So why don't I just go ahead and take the one where where you get 100% um, camp output, right? Versus plus two citizens. Or farming per year. Rural settings. All right, let's go with farming. I guess I'll go with farming. Fine. All right, orders are an important feature of the old world. Units can... Oh, let me... You know what? Hang on. Let me change my... My gaming category. Give me one second. I don't want to be on the wrong category here. There we go. Um, uh. All right, there we go. I just want to make sure I update this. Is this a demo? No, this is not the demo. This is actually the full release of the game. Uh, the publisher gave me the full key. He gave me the entire DLC. Um... Yeah, this okay, so the the game is live. The DLC is not the Ferals of the Nile is not available for another two days. So I actually have early access to the the DLC to stream for you guys. They there's no embargo. I can do this right now, was what I was told. So I wanted to jump in and give you guys the for those who are into this game or know old world. You're getting the first look at the Kingdom of Kush right now. All right, so what I've learned here is that every unit um, orders are um, have orders, right? And they have like charges that you can spend, and you have a certain amount of orders total. And if you spend all your orders, um, it's gone. So orders are an important feature of Old World. Units can move multiple times each turn, but each move consumes one order. Other actions, such as attacking or buildings, also consume orders. So in the example they're showing here is that if you move all the way once, uh, it takes one order. But if you move, like, one tile, and then another tile, and another tile, that consumes three orders. So you're, you're basically losing out on your movements if, by doing small, small steps. Uh, your orders, uh, your remaining orders can be seen in the lower left corner of your screen right over here. We recommend that you first select your worker so that you may begin to improve your land before you spend all of your orders for the turn. Okay, got it. And then Miro is the name of the city that we just founded. I'll have to consider now how to use my orders carefully each turn. Sure. And then I need to choose a research. Okay, so the way the game works in terms of research 
And it's similar to somewhat to Kingdoms Reborn. They have like a card mechanics to research. So even though like I have all these things unlocked available to me. Um, so these are cards that are in the game. One, two, three, four, five, right? Five cards. And maybe these too. I don't even know. Maybe these, right? No, it's probably not. Yeah, so check mark means I probably have it, right? So you can only choose. Hang on, I can work. How do I go back? There you go. Right click, right? So here I click on the cards. You're presented with three cards or four cards at a time. And you must pick from one of the cards. You could do a redraw. And so this gets, gets uh, I guess, discarded. And then you get, like, new cards. So there's, like, I think two more remaining cards available, right? So, yeah. So it says that... So the current draw pile uh, has drama, military, polis, and or, 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 or aristocracy, right? Aristocracy, right? So that's available to me if I redraw... And then this gets put into the discard pile. So if everything goes into the discard pile and I have nothing else to draw, it basically reshuffles. So you can't just pick whatever technology you want. You're kind of at the mercy of RNG still. And right now it says I, it's recommending me taking the iron working. So I'll take that. Right, research stone boost. Discover stone boost, right? No, yeah. So this one says research iron working. And it allows me to, to have warriors. So I can start training warriors. So I think that's the best thing to do. I'll take that. So now my current research progress is ironworking. All right, so a city governor can be recruited from your court by collecting the wreath icon button below the city banner or within the city screen. A governor... Um, can boost the yields of city based on their unique traits. Right? A governor modifies the yields of a city. Right. So, you, so if you add a governor, you actually different get different stats boost um, of your production. A governor, with the exception of the leader, cannot be from a different family from that uh, uh, from that of the city. Okay, sure. I will sign some governors to help my cities. Okay, sure. And then. Workers build improvements for a city, rural, rural improvements such as farms and mines, gather raw materials, urban improvements such as barracks and shrines provide the training and culture. Okay, so that means training. I said it was protection. So training is the shield and that little um, building is culture. All right. But with some exceptions, urban improvements must be uh, built or Okay, urban improvements must be built or on built on or adjacent to urban tiles. A lack of urban improvements will lead to discontent. So plan carefully, leave some room for them near your settlements or your cities. Improvement output can be augmented with specialists from the city screen. Okay, so I've done that actually during my tutorial. So specialists will also increase the um, the output. All right, let's go ahead and get to work. And then here, let's see here, I've got, got a worker. And this is build a farm, right? I think we selected the farm state. I think our capital does farming state, right? So let's go over here with my worker. And then I'm going to click on the build farm. So he's now got farming going. I have five orders left. I'm going to go with the next unit. The Slinger. The Slinger is a ranged unit with a default maximum range of two tiles. Range units can shoot further from on top of the hill, but suffers a minus 20% damage reduction for every tree, for, sorry, for every tile between them and their target. Firing into trees or shrub also reduces their damage. Okay, fine. Time to sling some rocks. So this guy here... Hang on. You know what I want? I probably want my scout first. Okay, scout selected. Scouts are fantastic explorers. I can see further into the unknown than other units. They can also hide in trees, making them invaluable as an early warning 
against invading enemies. Send your scouts onto the into the wilderness to look for new city-states and mysterious ancient runes. Um, scouts as well as settlers and workers can also harvest resources. Nice. All right, so that's a little different from from uh, civilization. Scouts can't harvest resources in civilization. You can only find the stuff, and then you actually have to build next to it to gather it. Or unless it's like some sort of, I think, discovery or something. Like it's some sort of special discovery, and that's the only situation where you actually get to choose some resources. I'll use scouts to explore the world. Sure, let's do that. So now I have my scout selected. So over here, there's like a ruins, I believe. Right? I think that's a ruins. Ancient ruins, right? It says ancient ruins. And so I want to put my scout there to get stuff. And I ha that's going to use a total of two orders, right? I think. It's instant. Okay, fine. So... It says, on a small jungle, this is the uh, event that popped up for clicking on that runes. On, uh, on a small jungle covered, jungle covered islands off the coast, our explorers discovered a cave deep in the leafy undergrowth. Inside the buried, inside buried in a series of shal shallow graves lie the skeletal remains of several humans, ancient villagers. Only these skeletons are much smaller than humans. Okay. Your sci uh, scientific advisors are astonished. Are those beings evident evidence of early ancestors or of something much more sinister? Okay. So there's a little bit of a role-playing element to the game whenever you encounter certain things or get events and interaction with other tribes or cities. It's, it's really nice to see these different role-playing choices. All right, so if I destroy all the evidence of these creatures... This is the stuff that I'm going to gain, right? Extra legitimacy. Destroy strange uh, human remains. The queen. Shana. Shana. Sh Shanna. I'm going to call her Shanna. Because I'm not going to pronounce the rest of that. Queen Shanna, the founder. 25% chance to become cursed next year. We don't want to be cursed, right? Queen Shanna, the founder, becomes vigilant. As governor, plus 50% 50, 50 city defense. As leader of all cities, extra defense. Oh, okay. Becoming cursed might not be bad. It's only for one year, right? I don't have any scholars or scientists, so I can't choose this option. I would lose 150-something. I think that's coins, right? Is that currency? I think that's coins. I don't know what that thing is i believe that's coins i don't have coins anyways so leave this alone if i leave this alone i get experience for my city i don't want that right i think i want the queen to have more city defense right all right let's go with this all right next year we have a 25 percent chance of being cursed and then my scout has one charge left. Can I move anywhere? No, I cannot. Oh, that's right, because he landed. No, I can. I can. I should be able to. I should be able to. Um. No, all right. Let's go here. All right, that is the ocean. All right, so I think I've, I've only got one more charge left, or orders left, right? Zero orders. Huh. I can move for free? Can I move for free? According to this, I can move for free. It says red. I can't move that. It says minus one. City state, right? Huh. Let's... Go here. Well, it doesn't look like there's any, but well, I don't know for sure because it's actually a gray area. Let's go here. Okay, I can't go in there. It basically consumed my orders. So when it says zero, that means that I will have zero orders left. Remember how it says zero and then it's minus one? So I had, I had one. So basically it took one order to get to that one. 
Alright, so that makes sense. So I have no other choice other than the end of the year. Alright, so I do have children here in my family. Um, can I s assign somebody f to govern this? Can I do anything else to this lady? Wreath, right? This is, there's supposed to be like some wreath right here, right? Victory conditions. View progress. Okay, there's only three people here. Can I assign the lady to this? I don't know if I assign anything here. Maybe I'm already assigned. I think I'm already assigned to this. Nope, I don't know. Am I already assigned to this? Miro, let's click on that. Governor. Choose a governor. Oh, okay. No, I'm not assigned. Let's go ahead and choose her. Choose her, right? Close. Is this is this uh, this game is still alive? Uh, what do you mean still alive? They have a DLC coming out in two days, so I got early access to the to the DLC right now with no embargoes. It's not available yet. You can't buy it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end the year. Uh, Gifs, uh, what does Sneef, what does Sneef mean? You wrote Sneef in your comment. Okay, Queen Shana, the founder, becomes cursed. How, how's the AI in this game? Most 4X AI suck. I just started, so I can't tell you, Coot. Um, I got, I got, basically got a free key from Hooded Horse, and thank you to Hooded Horse for the free game key. And also the free game key for the DLC and early access. So, so far it seems okay. I, I mean, some of the mechanics seems okay. Alright, so luxuries are special resources like gems or dyes that can be traded to other nations. Tribes and families in exchange, uh, tribes and families in, in exchange for an opinion boost. Wait, can, can be traded to other nations, tribes, and families in exchange for an opinion boost. Okay, all right. So gems and dyes can give you an opinion boost to other nations, tribes, and family members. Okay, that's fine. Certain family classes even have favorite luxuries that they especially desire. In order to acquire a luxury, you must build the correct improvement on that resource. And the improvement must be augmented with a specialist. Okay, so a specialist must be made on top of the improvement. Luxuries can be sent to the desired target with a Manage Luxuries button on the action panel. While a nation, tribe, or family is selected, while or when? I think it's while. While a, uh, I think they meant when. While a nation, tribe, or family member is selected, or in the bottom left of the city screen for the cities. Okay, fine. Bottom left. You may currently send literature to Setju. Who is Setju? Who is Setju? Setju is another another family member. The Setju family. Okay, the Setju family is is part of your kingdom. Uh, but I rule alone. I guess that's how it works. If you just so desire, or you may visit and send luxury somewhere else at your convenience. To send the same type of luxury to multiple targets, you must have multiple uh, sources of it. Okay, so the Setsu is not... It's its a family, but they're not part of my family. I don't know if that's the case or not, or if that I'm understanding correctly. Because it, was, it said at the end of the game that I rule alone. In my other playthrough, I, cl I clicked on a different faction that had like family members that said son and daughter and spouse or whatever so I don't know what's going on with us I will send luxuries to families and cities at my convenience later I will send literature to the Setsu family now the Setsu family will get plus 40 opinions for 20 years I don't know what the opinions do 
You can disable tutorial by unchecking tutorials on opinions. What does opinions do for me? I have no idea. Um, what does this say? The Tetsu family gives me something per year. Hang on, I think I hold shift, right? Yeah, so if you hold shift, you can actually leave the tool, the, the tool tip and it's like tool tip on top of tool tips, basically. Right, so I hold shift, I can actually maintain this tool tip, lock it, and then do another tool tip. So that is growth. When a city's growth bar fills up, a new citizen becomes available. Growth also determines how fast a city can produce civilian units, such as settlers, workers. While a city produces a civilian unit, its growth bar no longer fills. Ways to improve a city's growth rate include building farms on crops. Okay, nets, fish, uh, something, something, crabs, gra uh, granaries, training farmers and fishers. Okay, I think that's money, right? Okay, so that icon is money. Uh, buy tiles with money, fine. Tacticians, fine. Okay, these are resources. Okay, this is opinions. I don't know what opinions do. I have no idea what opinions does, and it doesn't have a rollover for the word opinion. Yeah, it doesn't have a rollover for the word opinion. I will send literature and gain opinion. Right, hang on. Nope, can't see the word opinion. So I don't know what opinions do. Well, let's send the literature later. Let's do that later. It's fine. Moving on. This guy here, I have 11 orders. I'm going to go ahead and explore. That says I will get three orders remaining if I go there, right? And that says I get nine orders left if I go there. Yeah, let's go with that. And I have nine orders left now. And I'm currently build creating settlers on my... Yeah, I'm currently in production making a settler. Choose a governor, right? I did choose a governor. Oh, I forget. I've got to hit the word choose last turn. Oh, I'm an idiot. Now it says I was cursed. Where is my what what curse do I have? What was my curse? It says I was cursed. Right click. Uh Queen Shauna, the founder becomes cursed. What is my curse? What is my curse? It would be nice to tell me what the curse is. Where can I find information about this curse that I've got going here? What curse do I have? As leader on nation contact again caravan. It says, it says I'm cursed, but what is my curse? Curse trait. Okay. Nobody knows whether curses are real, but the misfortune some people attract definitely is. Whatever comes next will likely not be pleasant. Okay, so I don't know what my curse is. It's just basically a magical negative debuff. That's fine. So some event is going to happen. Let's go ahead and take this off. And luxuries, right? Luxuries are available to be sent to a nation. Okay, fine. I'm going to take this off. I can't. Control click to restore dismiss reminders. Fine, whatever. I'm going to leave it there. Alright, I've got seven turns left. Um, This guy here. Go ahead and explore that. That's probably... I used... Whoa. What happened? Tutorial unit fatigue. The slinger has used up all of its move and become... And become fatigued. A fatigue unit can still be moved within a forced march, but each move on a forced mar march costs twice as many orders to execute. Your slinger will ref refresh its moves next turn. I'll force march a unit if I need to move now. Got it. All right, fine. 
But I don't want to force march anything, right? Okay, that consumes the uh, training, I believe. But I don't want to do that. I have a hundred, I have four hundred training, right? But I don't want to force march. So there's like three charges, move charges there. So he's kind of exhausted. This guy's got two move units left. And that gives me three char three orders left. That's fine. And this will give me two orders left, right? And this one has ore and this one has gold. Do I have gold? I don't have any gold, right? How much gold do I have? I don't think I have gold. Sure, let's get gold then. Your scout has moved on to some gold, a harvestable resource. Scouts, settlers, and workers can spend an order to harvest yields from the harvestable resources. To do so, click on the basket button on the action panel on the left while your scout is selected and standing on the harvestable resources. A harvestable resources takes a number of turns to renew before it can be harvested again. Resources that are within any city's limits or that are too far from one of your cities cannot be harvested. Resources that are within any city's limits or that are too far from your one of your cities cannot be harvested. Okay, that's fine. Harvesting is a great way to boost nearly early colony. Right, great. So this is one of the things that's different about the uh, civilization is that you can harvest the unit or the harvest the um, the resources that you stand on and then it also replenishes. So I'm going to go harvest this. It consumes one order. Now I have one order left. And this guy here. I'm going to go right here, right? And that uses all my orders. So now I'm done. End of the year. Pick a curse. One, all of your socks have holes in them and forever damp. Two, you have scratched that move when you try to scratch it. People always forget your name, making cornerstones conversations awkward. That is, that is one of the events, huh? Derp. Derp, derp. Def, def, definitely three. <laughs> Axles. Alright, so we've ended our turn. A marriage proposal has arrived from the Setchu family for you, Queen Shauna, the founder. How shall we respond to their suggestions? Okay, so somebody wants me to marry two, right? We actually get two marriage proposals, right? Kalalutu of the Miro is the best option. And what's this guy provide us? Dowry will give us 30 wood. Opinion is 30, 40, right? So both of them gives the same opinion. One gives me more wood than the other. And then if I get this guy to join me, he can actually govern with... Let's see. Let's see. He's a builder, right? Cunning... As a governor, he is minus one per year building improvement. That's bad. All right, that's bad. Uh, cunning unlocks caravan access. Okay. And uh, dis uh, discipline is the three uh, three heart discipline, right? Charisma is two. So I get two discipline, three discipline with that guy, two discipline with this guy. Charisma is two. This guy gets me. What is that thing? What is this icon? Civics. Uh, cities produce specialists and projects. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Civics go to the global stockpile, which can be used to enact laws. Okay, that's laws related. Okay, that's fine. Let's see here. For your special hell acts, the feeling of needing to sneeze, but being able to. It requires less turns to build stuff. You read it wrong. What 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 I okay definitely three. Hang on, hang on. I'm reading here. You read it wrong. People always forget your name, making it convenience. Uh, what did I read wrong? It requires less turns to build stuff. Oh 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 oh. Minus one year to build improvements. Got it. Got it. So this is actually a bonus. He's a builder, and he gives me a bonus. So it reduces the build time. Got it, got it. I understand what you're saying now. So this is not a debuff. 
All right. Foolish, he gets minus science points. Corrupt, he gets, what is that extra? What is this? Maintenance, improved maintenance. Maintenance decreases the amount of money. Uh, so his maintenance is, is increased by a higher population. Oh, being corrupt increases maintenance, but he's robust, so he gives me an extra order per year. Okay, so if I go with this guy, I get extra order per year, but maintaining stuff is going to cost me 50% more. And he's dumb, so I get less research. Okay. And he can hurry projects up, right? Versus this guy, I get extra building improvement, or improvements, building stuff faster. Interesting. I understand now. What do you guys think? Is it better to have more orders per year? And slow down my research? Or is it better to build stuff faster? I mean, discipline gets me more money per year, right? This does not get me money per year. It's a hard choice, honestly. Yeah. So if I go with the top, I actually get more money, right? Discipline. Because the bottom, all my money gain per year, my global money gain is 20, right? I think the top is better. Yeah, I would go for faster building, right? Ah, I think the top is better. Let's go with the top. Okay, tutorials. The nested tooltip system in the old world allows windows to persist as you link from one to another simply hold shift yeah i already i already told you this tooltip i just learned hold shift while hovering over a link and then move the mouse over into the tooltip and click or click the link with the middle mouse button to lock the new tooltip in place this lets you continue a view to view a window while opening more links even if you move the cursor off the window altogether try Try it out on this unit link Spearman. Okay. Fine. Uh, simply hold shift while hovering over a link. And then move mouse cursor over the tooltip. And click. Okay. And that's it, right? Or click the link with the middle mouse button to lock the new window in place. This lets you continue to view the window. Okay, so let's go. Can I shift that? Click. Ooh, I can keep going, huh? Oh, I can keep going. All right, that's cool. I actually can do two at the same time. Nice. So you can do nested. Oh, click. Oh, it loses the top. I can only nest two. All right, well, that's fine. Whatever. Cool, thank you for that. You have accepted a marriage proposal for a family member... Uh, for a member of your family, which is me, myself, and I. Marriages are a useful diplomatic tool for forming bonds with other family, tribes, or nations. They also allow your family to continue their line with legitimate heirs who will be eligible to take over once your current ruler is gone. If you die without an heir, the game will end. Got it. I'll make sure to find good matches for my family. Done. Alright, so now I have 12 left. I'm gonna go over here. Nothing there. It's probably a river. Um, that will leave me three turns left, or three orders left, right? I don't want that. I'll go over here. Not le okay, so I've got seven left. And then this guy... Ores. Which is one... That's... Gold, right? How, how much gold do I have? It says I'm harvesting. Do I have to be here to harvest? I don't think... Do I have to stand on here to harvest? It says... No, I don't, right? I've already clicked it, harvest. It says I got gold. Is gold the same as money? It says I got gold ore. 
Oh, okay, gold is the same. It's not gold ore, it's just gold. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Um, let's go over here then. And I've got two more years, so I get a Settlers, right? The 4X is pretty good. You, uh, this 4, um, I forgot the nested tooltips. Cool, cool, cool. Paradox Plaza is leaking. Um, it makes the economy spiral early. I would go faster, right? This 4X is pretty good, even AI-wise, from what I understood. I own it, but didn't get the chance to play it as much as I liked. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I've seen this released a year ago, and it was the biggest thing. Everyone was hyped and playing it, and I didn't want to buy it because it was super expensive. And this game is like, what, $40 or something? $60 or something, right? $40, right? Yeah, so for me, it's like $40. I'm like, hmm, I'll pass because I have so many other games to play. Luckily, the publisher decided to give me a copy, so thank you, Hooded Horse, again, the third time. I really appreciate getting this game here. Game developers are saying new games should cost $100 to match development and inflation costs. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think so. I think games should probably be in the ballpark of 15 depending on the quality of the game and the value of the game, replayability. To maybe 30 bucks, 35 tops. Those are the, my price range for games, I think. Triple A publisher? Yeah. You know, so I don't even buy into the whole triple A publisher nonsense at this point. I feel like indie developers, non triple A, you know, developers are so much better at, at, at games. There's a few exceptions, though. There are a few exceptions, but majority of these triple A nonsense. You're, you're shelling your money out for no reason. It's just a waste. You can get like five times more value buying into indie games. But hey, that's just my opinion. I stopped playing like AAA nonsense a long time ago. I mean, take take Diablo 4, for example. 80 bucks for Diablo 4. It's bullshit. Same, right? Yeah, 80 bucks for Diablo. It's just complete bullshit. Luckily... I had Blizzard wallet money where I cashed out my WoW gold to buy that. So I didn't cost me anything. Diablo, right? Yeah. Diablo. All right, I'm going to go check this guy out, right? Oh, I can't plant plant on... Oh, no, I can. I can. I just... No, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I'll leave it. I got five more to open up. Let's go ahead and move this guy back. I've got three turns left, right? He's he's exhausted his turn. Alright, let's keep... Got th this guy's got two more charges, right? And he's got one more. Oh, I, I, I guess... Uh, interesting. Yeah, let's go with us. Oh, all right. Another ancient ruins. I got no more turns, so I guess this is converted, right? I think it's converted to money at the end of the year. So whatever you don't spend in orders, you get money back. All right, let's end the year. Okay, the rural, rural yields are... Food, iron, stone, wood. They are primarily drawn from rural improvements and collect the global stockpile and collect in the global stockpile. I think it meant to say collected into the global stockpile. You can spend money to purchase rural yields directly from the top bar where it shows your current stockpile. Okay, the primary source of food is farms, which are most fruitful next to fresh water and on lush terrain. Food is needed to feed your population and to produce new settlers. Okay, got that. The primary source of iron is mines, which are productive on ore and hills. Uh, let's see here. Iron is needed to produce ma uh, many types of military units, including warriors and axemen. The primary source of stone is quarries, which are most productive on marble and arid terrain. When adjacent to mountains, stone 
when adjacent to mountains, stone is needed. Uh, stone is needed primarily to build improvements like shrines and city projects such as walls. The forestry tech um, enables the construction of lumber mills on trees to produce wood. Workers can also cut down trees with the axe button in the actions panel. Wood is needed to build city improvements like barracks, military units like archers, ship units like um, bira means. What the hell is bira means? Byrami? Byrami. What the hell is Byrami? It's a ship. Oh. Byrami is a ship. I'm probably butchering it wrong. I actually learned after playing Dot Age, I looked it up, uh, how to pronounce their town village. It was like Bivuvak. So I pronounced it wrong last night. Bivuvak. But anyways, that's dot H. <laughs> that's apparently it's a French word that I learned. And that's it, yeah. The only game I agree with having sixty dollars sixty dollars sixty bucks are from software games. Right, that's it. Sixty dollar price. Uh, early distribution has made it possible to sell sell more copies to make up the difference. Oh, you're you're saying like pre orders, right? Yeah. Some people do pre orders to sell the $60 price tag. Yeah, I, I, I'm I okay with that. If certain people want, like, you know, pre-order bonuses, go ahead and drop down that $60, and then after the, the game launches, for those who didn't buy the pre-order bonus, you can actually have, like, a second... I changed my mind. I'd like the pre-order bonus. Can I pay extra to get that DLC? I'm okay with that. That's okay, you know, because you don't need that to play the game, but if you love the game after you've you've gotten the initial copy, I don't I think that's great that they have options for you to buy additional things to support the developers. Right? It's one of those, hey, you know, if the game really is amazing and you want to support the developers, you want to shell out money. So I really wish that the Against the Storm developers had like a DLC pack that's called like a supporter pack. And I know like games like Thea online or Thea the Awakening they have like this supporter pack where it's just like, hey, we're not giving you anything extra to the game. It's just a supporter pack. We're going to give you extra graphics or we're going to give you like extra cosmetics in the game. But buying the supporter pack gives you nothing other than helping the developers out. And stuff like that, I don't mind because you want to shell out money to help the developers feel good and improve the game more. That kind of stuff is, is what I hope game companies do more often rather than hey, can I put in, like, an in-game, you know, microtransaction to milk you for more money, like Diablo? I want to milk you for whatever you can, and, you know, Diablo Immortal, hey, buy these extra coins, you know, it's just, all that is just nonsense. I want to be able to freely, you know, support a developer in terms of a donation and get some sort of, like, badge in return you know, on the website or on Steam saying, hey, you know, I supported the developer or something like that, right? I mean, I don't mind in-game cosmetics if they add that too. That's another great way to to support, you know, devs. Anyways, I will build more farms and mines. Okay. And then this is what? This is a shrine. Oh, you know what? Let me change the governor. I want to change my governor. I think the uh, there was a guy that that lets me build faster, right? Wasn't there a guy that lets me build faster? Who was the guy that lets me build faster? The Huspin, right? The Huspin lets me build faster. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, this is defense. I don't need defense. I, I want the Huspin to let me build faster. I forgot to switch him out. Right, hang on. What what's the governor of this guy give me? What's this guy give me per year? Oh, they both give me minus one per year. They both give me minus one per year. Okay, this guy unlocks caravan access. Camps and nest has a hundred percent output. Ooh. 
Nets, nets, nets is... Oh, that's only if I'm by the water. And camps, I don't have any camps right now. This guy mo loses culture, right? Hang on, let's see here. I can't hold shift here. This is an example where I can't hold shift, guys. Oh my goodness. I can't hold shift. What is what is that head icon? What well, whatever, I'm gonna take this top one. What is the head icon? There's like a head icon. What is this? Growth. Oh growth. I lose growth if I choose the other guy, right? Yeah, okay. I think you you can on top of the right. Since they're all there. No, no, the growth is right here. It says growth. Alright, that's fine. Uh, so I get growth per year, or... Sorry, I don't lose growth per year. Right? So this guy gets me minus one, and I also unlock caravan access, which is fine. And then... I want to go... build something on the mines, right? Shrine? Build a mine, right? Yeah, let's go build a mine. All right, so we're working on a mine. Um, uh, I just unlocked a 20-year badge on Steam. I think, yeah, right. 20-year badge. Speaking of badges, right? Name in the game or or like RimWorld because this Thea is a good series. Yeah, I did buy that one, right? Yeah, so you, you know what I'm talking about, right? You bought Thea. Thea is a very nice, amazing city builder game similar to this. It's this another favorite game that I have. Thea... Thea the Awakening. I actually bought Thea the Shattering, I think. That's their sequel. I haven't finished or played the uh, the sequel yet, but I did beat the the original and I also got the um, the DLC too. I actually was talking to their devs quite a bit at the time. All right, so I've got six left. I want to bring this guy in. I got one more year. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this. Let's peek. Tribe contact. You've met your first tribe. Danes. The Danes, right? Tribes can engage in limited diplomacy, but generally won't be coordinated in, in the way opposing nations are. Okay. So they're not going to be... They're basically not our opponent. You may also find barbarians when exploring the map. They do not behave like tribes, as they are always at war with them. As you are always at war with barbarians. Barbarians are good targets for early expansion, and they are easier to drive away than more organized tribes. Finding some barbarians or a weak tribe and claiming their city sites for yourself will be an important step towards growing your nation. Okay, sounds good. This game looks a lot like Civ 6. It, yeah, it does look a lot like Civ. It does look like, like Civ. It's got, a, it's got a bunch of nuances, you know, mechanics that's interesting. Um, I like some of them, actually. It has more of a role-playing aspect to it as well. Uh, it looks like, but it's very different. Yeah, it's very different, yes. I mean, you can't, like, you know, drop cities wherever the hell you want. You actually have to drop cities on city sites. Or you conquer cities. So it's very different in that regards. And the other difference I mentioned earlier was that you can harvest resources with your with your scout. And then the harvested resources replenishes over time. So let's go ahead and teleport over here. Oh, I can't, huh? There you go. All right, so while exploring a remote stretch of seashore, we discovered a curious shell scattered among the shallows. This shell, when ground, when grounded, I think it meant grounded, ground, I think they meant grounded into powder, uh, produces a pleasant purple dye that is perfect for fabrics. Okay, this is a significant science discovery. I gain research points. 
or if I choose the second one, our vivid fabrics will impress the world. Okay, so I gain, um, what is that again? Training. I get training per year, right? Other nations will pay for such resources. No, I don't want money. I don't want, okay, that one gets me instant science, but I think getting training per year is the best choice. I like, I like getting some sort of ongoing residual. It's kind of like the delivery line in Against the Storm. I always like that constant supply rather than a flat 24, right? I mean, technically, this would be 20, if I did that one, that's technically like, what, two per year. For 12 years so if i go more than 12 years this will pay off more in the end right let's go with this i think that's the best choice oh ground i believe is the british way to say it grounded is more american right right okay well i'm more american than yes for sure all right, so this guy has one turn left. Or do I want to use this guy? Let's go with this guy. Or not one turn, but one order. We only have one order left. He's got like two, three charges, right? He's got two charges for movement. And this, these guys here, I can't reach them, but I've, I have contacts with them. I don't think I could do anything else, right? Yeah. Nope. No other movements. That's fine. I think this is it, right? And we have one more year for the settlers to be done. Can I change this? I don't know if I can change this. Permanently trash when discarded. I don't know. I don't know how this works, but I don't think I should change it, right? I'm in the middle of it. Yeah, let's leave it alone. Tutorial, tribe contact. Yeah, we already did this. Yeah, we already did this. I will carefully consider my approach to to tribes like the Danes. Yes, okay. That's because I hit this. That's why. I didn't say yes. All right, so end of the year. Let's go ahead. Boom. Yeah, I, I know. Global resources are, are... Sorry, the orders are global resources. The individual gets three charges of movement that you can spread the orders out on. You have given birth to a daughter, Princess Az Astamel. Astamel. Okay. Sure. Your capital has finished training a new settler. Settlers are key to expanding your nation because only they can found new cities. Take the settler to a nearby city-state to establish a new city. City-states can be claimed prior to sending a settler to colonize them. City sites can be claimed prior to sending a set settler to colonize them. Place any type of unit on a city-state tiles to claim it as your own, thereby preventing foreign settlers from founding a city there. Okay, that's fine. So it's basically blocking other settlers from, from appearing. But you still need the settler to go over there to found the city, I believe. When you found a city, um, when you found a city, when you find a city, when you found a city, I guess that's past tense. When you found a city, you have a choice to choose which family to grant it uh, to grant it to. Right, this family will provide powerful bonuses to the city. After granting a city to a third distinct family. Um, you will lose access to your nation's fourth family. What? After granting a city to a third distinct family, you will lose access to your nation's fourth family. What? So carefully consider what bonuses you want and which family you can go without. Okay. One, two, three, four, right? You will lose your your nation's fourth family. That's the Crusaders Kings one I was talking about. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's fine. I'll choose. I'll choose our next family carefully. Families are the leading clans of your empire with different 
dispositions and conflicting interests. They are grant, granted control of your cities for which their peculiar bonuses are important to, to consider. Um, for which, they're, okay, right, yeah. Their preferences determine what ambitions you can pursue and their opinion of you lead to different events. I don't understand the opinion thing yet, so we'll see how that goes. Units fighting within family territories receive 10% combat modifiers. Okay, sure, whatever. All right, fine. Um, let's take the settler over here. Oh, I can't jump over there, huh? Okay, one more turn. This guy here? And go over here, right? Right, I'm gonna go over there and defend that. And this guy here, I'm gonna go explore. Okay, there's another city-state there. I've got four orders left. Uh, wasn't there, like, an ancient site earlier? Or... or or did I already click on it? I guess I did click on it already. It's fine. You are the first to discover this landmark. What will you name it? I will get plus two legitimacy. Okay, well, sure, whatever. I'll go with that. Whatever this landmark is, but okay. Let's go over here. Ooh, there's a little bit more of a pathway here. Jesus Christ. What else do I want to do? This guy's still working on it, right? My city is still idle. That guy's got fatigue. No, he does not have fatigue. Alright, let's go here then. And that's all my orders. My, all my orders are gone. I get 11 orders per year. Let's go choose a production. So the only thing I have is Slinger until I get an Ore Mine or something, right? Or, sorry, I have to finish researching to get the Warrior. What do I want right now? Alright, I'm going to go with the Worker because that new city is going to need another Worker. Let's produce another Worker and I'll transfer that. I think I can transfer the Worker over here. All right, so I need iron work to be able to get warrior, right? Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and continue. Rival's turn. All right, so this guy goes over here. And then we're gonna... So we already have farm per... or money per year. Nets. What is 100% output? What is that? Nets. New worker unit starts with surveyor. Uh, what is nets? What the hell is nets? Nets enables fisher. Okay. Um, and then the fisher will have 100% output. Oh, okay. So if I do something with nets, I'll get 100% output if I choose that one. Got it, got it, got it, got it. All right. So what about this one? New siege... Uh, Ship units start with ingenu uh, ingenuity, ingenuity, in inuen ingenuity, God, ingenuity. Pronouncing that wrong. Ingenuity, right? I think it's pronounced ingenuity. Yes, that's pronounced ingenuity. Now, what does that do, though? Okay, that's that's a resource type. All right. Now, hmm. That gives nets 100% output. That gets me ships and siege with improvements to the ingenuity resource type. I think that's combat. I don't know. Plus combat? I think that might be plus combat. 20% combat. I think that shield is plus combat, right? And then my other option is... What is that again? Training. For a year. Well, since I'm by the water... Since I'm by the water... 
Wouldn't it make more sense to get the nets? And then I also get minus two, two years to build urban improvements, right? Yeah, building stuff is going to be faster. Let's go with this one. I think that's also culture, right? What that icon is. Culture, culture, right? Okay, so let's go with this one. I think this is the best choice. That's where right next to the water. You are now you are now known as Shana the Settler. Okay. Uh, cities produce the following yields: growth, training, civics, money, science, culture, happiness, urban yields. Sure, urban yields, growth, training, and civics are all used for city production. Growth for civilian units, training for military units, civics for projects. Okay, the training, right, the training icon uh, for military units, uh, the civics icon for projects, and specialists, great. When not being used for city productions, training and civics go to the global stockpile, and growth goes to the production of new citizens, great. Culture and happiness both go to their respective progress bars. When culture bar fills, a positive event occurs, and new improvements and wonders are unlocked. When the happiness bar fills, growth goes up and maintenance goes down. Oh. Happiness bar, huh. Money and science both go directly into the global stockpile. Sounds good. I will pay close attention to what my city produces. Sounds good. And then let's see here. What do we want to produce here? What is the city projects? What does this do? On completion, 20 culture and 20 happiness. On completion, plus civics and training and money. Interesting. Militia. What does militia do? Military inf uh, infantry. Cannot be promoted or earn EXP points. Oh, that's local. This must be local, I think. Um Alright, let's see here. Let's let's go with Let's go with a scout or explore. Sorry, a settler, right? I wanna expand. I wanna expand. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Because we got a city site over there. Um alright, so you let's go ahead and explore. Oh man, okay, all right. Okay, he's he's got fatigue, I believe. Ooh, let's jump in. Broken vessels and strange markings indicate that these ruins were once occupied by a tribe from beyond the sea. Such a discovery inspires you to expand beyond your realm to new worlds. Oh. New realms. Commission scouts and send them in every direction. Gains a scout. St starts ambition. Enact exploration. Oh. Study this unknown tribe and wi widen our understanding. No. Let's um. Let's start in ambition. I I believe we win on ambitions, right? If any of your opponents reach fifty-five points, the game ends. Okay. I mean, the game has something called ambitions. Wait, did I... Did I choose ambitions? What, what just happened? Did I not get to choose? What just happened? Did I not choose? Buttons. Bottom left. You're next to the units. Where do I... Turn summary. Near the unit. How do I... 
How do I get that dialogue back? How do I get that dialogue back, guys? The three buttons with the exclamation mark. Okay. That's a turn summary. That's the city founded. I think you can pop the window back up from one of those three. I can't. It's not working. It's not working, guys. No, it's not working. I don't know how to get that dialogue back. What in the hell? I accidentally click on this and then I lose my dialogue. Where is that dialogue? I'm clicking on this. I can't do anything else. Shit. Nope. Try undo. It's gone. There you go. All right. Yeah, I guess undo. Jesus Christ. Uh, Gain scout. Yeah, I'd do that. Let's go with that one. Okay, Queen Shauna, the settler, has started a new ambition. Enact exploration. It's fine. Oh, it's probably this icon right here. Make decision. Press 1. To cycle in reverse. Drag to prioritize. I don't know what that means. I think it's this button right over here. Exploring the beach to see more seas. Pacify. What is this one? Idle city. Oh. Choose what to work on. What do I work on? What was I working on? What was I working on? I was working on a settler, right? I forgot to choose a set. Oh. Wait. Hang on, hang on. I got two scouts, right? I could have sworn I already did the settler on that one. This is a worker. Interesting. I could have sworn I picked Settler to build. I don't know what that's about. Uh, what is this one? Build farm? What is this one? Build mine. We can't do anything here, right? Let's go ahead and build a farm. Yeah, let's go ahead and build a farm. What are all these people now that's part of my thing? Oh, it's a new faction. Alright, so where's that ambition? Exp exploration, right? On completion. Start exploration law. How do I do that? What is one one out of one? How do I get this? Start exploration law. How do I do this? Move a uh, movement bonus along neutral river. Scouts move on water. To uh, to open associate encyclopedia. Start exploration law. I have no idea what that does, but okay. Okay. Why is it red? Is that temporary or is that... Why is that red and it's different from my current icons? Does this mean it goes away? Because like in Dune Spice Wars, you get like the Ornithopper, but it disappears. I don't know if this unit disappears or not. I'm out of I'm out of turns. Shit, I'm out of turns. 
Can't do anything else. Luxuries. What the hell is luxuries going to do for me? Do I have luxury? Am I forced to send a luxury? Luxuries can be given to nations and families or improve opinion. They also can be given to cities. Tradable is literature. Left upside. Left upside is a scale. There you can enact laws. Okay. This. Okay, so I have to click on this. I don't have it unlocked yet. How do I get this? Requires a certain amount of resource, right? I only have 290 of that. Okay. Start exploration law. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. So I gotta do... I gotta do this. Thank you for that first time chat, by the way, and the follow. Alright, that makes sense. Alright. Let's go ahead and end the year. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I, I, I'm still new to the game, so I'm like, what am I doing here? Alright, so now I have completed my iron working research. Which one do I want here? This one, research drama. I get culture per year. Oh, it consumes ore per year, though. Enables apprentice poets. Okay, no. According to this, it says it's recommended. So, I might want that one, right? The other one is make, allow walls. Declare wars and have a hamlet, right? I don't need a hamlet or a war. I don't need to do war right now. Oh, this is military drill, right? Rally troops. Troops rallied. Rally troop events. Okay, it's fine. Requires military. Yeah, that's fine. I can create a barracks. That's good, right? I want to make a barracks. Start producing stuff, right? What is this one? Ambassador. Wisdom increase. Culture per city. Blah, blah, blah. Charisma. Courage. Uh, discipline. Unlocks the Kush site pyramids improvements. Unlock new laws. I don't need new laws. I can barely enact one law. All right, we'll go with a military drill. I think that makes the most sense. Boom. Tutorial tech deck, right? So I've already explained to this guy, er, to you guys earlier. So the way research works, like I said earlier, is that you get a set of cards to choose what you want to research. And if you don't like it, you can redraw from the redraw pile. Everything gets discarded. When you have nothing left, this goes over to the draw pile. It's very similar to what I said earlier was the Kingdom's Reborn mechanic a little bit. Sort of. Almost. Upon completing the research for a new technology, you will unlock the next technology on the tree, entering it into the discard pile. So whatever I unlock goes in here, so I won't be able to research it right away. And four new cards will be drawn from the draw pile of available technologies for you to select from. So whatever I had before is what I must choose from. So new stuff starts off in this discard pile. After making uh, your new selection from the four uh, drawn cards, the remaining three cards will be sent to the discard pile and ultimately recycled back to the draw pile. Yep, so I explained that. Free unit and bonus cards are never recycled and are instead permanently discarded if not chosen. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so we might want to consider getting units or bonus cards in the future. Otherwise, we lose an opportunity. Permanently. Alright, that's fine. Thank you for that. A specialist can be recruited from the city screen by clicking the green button, the heal button, or the plus button, on the improvement so long as you have an available citizen. Although improvements are already productive... Although improvements are already productive on their own, a specialist can boost their yields. Luxuries are special resources that require that you acquire by adding a rural specialist to an improvement on the correct tile. For example, you, you access 
gems by adding a uh, minor specialist to a mine improvement on a gem tile. Urban specialists like acolytes and officers can be trained to higher levels for further yield bonuses. Okay, fine. I will recruit some specialists to, bo to boost my production. Sounds good. All right, so what do I want to improve? All right, I think I want to improve mines, right? Hang on, what is this one? Build a quarry. All right, let's do that. What is this one? Build mines. What is this one? Shrine. What is this one? Farm. Okay. Civ 6, active players, 42,000 old world active players, 198. Something went wrong there. Yeah. Civ, I think, is always going to get, you know, a lot of viewers. I think it's just one of those games that's just, you know, you're always going to get lots of viewers. But I can't make that any comparison yet because I'm still playing this, learning this, before I can make any comparison between the two right now. Alright, I'm going to build this. No, I don't want to cancel. Um, and then what else? Uh, players rather than viewers. Oh, oh, players. There's players uh, rather than viewers. Got it, got it, got it. Right. Very interesting, huh? Interesting statistic there. Let us observe their ways and traditions. Le a learning opportunity. The court is divided over the recent discovery of the Gauls. Our scholars wish to study the Gauls' culture. Uh, the Gallic, the Gallic culture to deepen our understandings. But our generals insist that these savages deserve no such respect. We must make it clear to the court which way our sympathies lie. The Gauls contacted. Let's observe their ways and traditions. Queen uh, Shana, the settler, plus one wisdom. And gain science, right? Global science. Starts ambition. Make peace with a tribe. Or Queen Shana, the settler, becomes cunning. As a governor, I unlock caravan. I already have somebody who can unlock caravan. That's not a big deal. As leader, plus 20 uh, foreign and tribal leader opinions. Now, I don't really care about that. Let's go with this one, right? More science. I'm okay with this. Let's make peace. Also, we get peace ambition, right? Nice. Make peace with a tribe. How do I make peace with a tribe? Requires one tribal peace. Can I just go, hey, let's make peace? How do I make peace with this guy? Hmm. Can I can I put a guy on there? I don't know how to make peace with somebody. Make peace. The nation and tribe cannot attack each other. Tribe will not target you. Blah, blah, blah. F1 to open associate, uh, associated encyclopedia entry. F1. Tribal peace. Okay, the nation and the tribe cannot attack each other. They can. Okay, this does not tell me anything new here. This is it, huh? I don't know how to make peace. Yeah, I don't know how to make peace. Alright, well, whatever. Let's we'll keep moving on. You are the first to discover this landmark. What will you name it? Sure. Sinjar. Sinjar. We've got six turns left. Or six tool, uh, sorry, five orders left. Okay. Okay, that's the end of that. He's got. Oh no, he might not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh. Hmm. 
Is there anybody else that needs movement? What is this guy? He's a... He's a slinger. Alright, let's put him over... Here? Oh my god, he can't move very far, huh? If I remember correctly, when you click on their... Your leader, one of the actions is, is making peace. Or maybe you need an ambassador. Okay. Let's click on this guy. Divorce? Rally troops. I have no options to make peace here with this guy. And this is my relatives. Leave. Convert. Oh, nope. Can't make peace. Nope. Can't make peace. I don't know how to make peace, guys. Well, hmm. Maybe we need an ambassador, so I don't know. And it says luxury thing. It keeps blinking at me. Let's see here. Manage luxury. I have one available. What can I do with this? What, what, what can I do? Manage family members. The game mega flopped by that standard. Maybe Ron unable to make peace with traders and against the storm. <laughs> Old world gross revenue 2.2 .2 million against the storm revenue 6.9 million. Interesting. Yeah, against the storm is definitely the the game to play. How do I manage this? Send literature to Danes. Oh, I don't have any... Okay, okay, okay. I don't have any orders, so I can't do it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, that's fine. That's fine. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end the year here. All right. We have here... All right, you know what? I'm going to take a quick break here and use the bathroom. And I'll come back and then sort this out. So BRB real quick, guys. All right, I am back. All right, so we've got a new turn to sort out. Okay, some, some marriage stuff, right? Oh, I think this is old information though, right? Or no? Or did somebody get married and we didn't know about it? Because usually they pop these things up. Um, Aristotle the Younger. Which one's that guy? This guy, right? He married to who? Um... Armides? A men a Mendorius? Who the hell is that? That guy. That guy and that guy married. Or this chick and that guy married. Okay. Okay. That must have been a while back or something. Um How do I get rid of this? Right click, right? Let's right click. And then uh, this is the reminder for the orders. Let's go ahead and click on her. Wasn't there... Um, I think there was some some action that I needed, right? Hang on. What, what was the luxuries, right? I think it was the luxuries. Hang on. Have extra literature to give to somebody. Right? Consume. Alright, so... Send the literature to the Danes. Get in... Um, get opinions, right? Um, let's see here. Wait, if I send it to these guys... Okay, I get more 
opinions from those guys, less opinion from my own people. Okay, send it to this, and I get happiness per year. Oh. I get a happiness per year bonus. That might be good. Discontent, though, goes up for some reason. Wait, why would it go discontent? Okay, so what I'm kind of confused about here is that it says discontent is three, but then I also gain two happiness a year. So they'll be upset for like 30 years, and then after that I get happiness bonus. I don't know if that's what I'm understanding. Okay, some people will be pleased. I don't know what the please mean. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Pleased. So the please will be increased by a hundred and seven. Um... I don't know what this means. Minus year without a Siju leader? What? Minus seven from discontent. Minus, oh, okay, minus 20 from their discontent, right. Minus seven years without a leader. I can go with, I can go without a year, without a leader for seven years, okay. All right, huh. I don't know if that's a good idea. Manage cities and literature. You know what? Let's go ahead and go with that. I I really hope that's a good choice. Let's find out. All right. Outgoing literature. I have no idea if that's going to be a good choice or not. The city in question is, the, is these guys right here, right? I don't... Okay. Their discontent level went up. <clears throat> Plus one per year. Yeah, I don't know. Now what's this literature do for them? Return literature. But I gain the culture, right? Culture basically allows us to increase um, the city luxuries. Okay, that's fine. Well, whatever. I don't know what that does, but... Uh, specialist, right? Let's see here. Specialist can get us... A minor. No, let's go with a specialist here, right? Can we add a specialist? Okay, cool. Wait, specialist is a minor, right? Oh, okay, we have specialists actually already. Okay, that's fine. And then what are you working on? You got two years left. Building a quarry. Got it. You got one year left building a farm. Got it. And you, you want to explore this. I can't go there, huh? Shit, I can't go there. Alright, that's fine. Just stay there. And then this guy here. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go back this direction then. And then this guy here. Can I go? Oh, he can't go over the mountain, can he? No, he can't go over the mountain. Well, shit. Okay, let's go this direction then. 
Yes, fine. And then this guy. Let's go this direction. Oh, barbarians. This guy is kind of stuck there. Can I do anything else with him? I don't think there's like an ab abandon button, is there? What does this mean? Please? Family. Oh, okay, that's his current stats. Okay, okay, okay. He's hidden. Okay, these are status. Okay, alright, alright, that's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and end of the year. You have given birth to a daughter, sure. Wow, this chick is just hopping left and right. Okay, that is in our family. And who are these people? Oh, that's this group over here. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, oh, this game was for one year an Epic Store exclusive. That explains a few things. Yeah, I definitely know that it was definitely on Epic, and I did not buy it because of that as well. I was like, oh, yeah, Epic, no big deal. I think a lot of people did buy it, right? When it first came out, it was like a big thing, and it's like a, the hype. And that was the thing that made Epic pretty big because of this, right? I mean, Against the Storm was also an Epic exclusive, too, and then they went with Hooded Horse. Okay. Nice. Do I know who my competition is? No, right? Oh, yes. Let's go in there. Our explorers uh, find a I think our explorers found. Our explorers find a family of starving lore keepers encamped in the ruins. I think that should be that should say our explorers found a family of starving lore keepers encamped in the ruins. We're we're talking past tense here, right? Surviving on scraps, pleading for help. They offer to share their mastery of the oratory in exchange for food. Would you agree to their offer? Oh, we don't have any food. But we gain discipline, though, if we say no. Yeah. <laughs> we gain discipline. That means we gain more money. What was the other option? Rhetoric. Form 1, Epics, and Exploration. I don't know what the hell that means. Hmm. Um, acquire rhetoric. Oh, that's a, that's a, oh, that's a technology that I have to research. Interesting. Epics is a law. Exploration is law. Hmm. Okay. Huh, can I come up with food somehow? I don't think I can, right? Let's minimize this. I think the, this we, we get that back, right? Yeah, so I hit X last time. I, we should have minimized it. That's probably why we couldn't get it back. I think X was the same as I don't want to make a choice or something. How do I get food from thin air, guys? Is there a way to just sell and get food? Hmm. I'm looking around to see if there's something I can do. You can buy food with money. Oh. Oh, 
you can. Thank you, Midnight Fox. Appreciate that. Okay. Buy one food for 4.4. Or build farms to get food. But I wouldn't be able to get food the same turn, though, right? If I build the farm. Because I need to make a decision on this right now. Or do I have to make a decision right now? So what happens if I end turn? Can I sit on this? Is the question. Right? Are events kind of like a turn by turn basis demanding your attention is it one of those like ethereal options and against the storm i need to make a decision now or can i stall it a couple of turns save scrub test <laughs> so i don't know against the storm was an epic exclusive yeah against the storm was an epic exclusive that's the reason why I didn't buy it right away either, but luckily I didn't have to because the devs actually approached me when it was exclusive last uh, two years ago. Two years ago, right? No, around October or November. Around yeah, yeah, around October, two years ago, uh, they approached me and gave me the Against the Storm key. I was so excited because because um, it might have been in November. At the end of October, right? Because I wanted to play Against the Storm, but I just refused to buy it off of the Epic Game Store. Alright, so you suggest save uh, scumming this to find out, right? Um, events have to be resolved this turn, but you can buy food for now. Okay, alright. Hmm. Um... All right, let's buy food then. Uh, shift click to buy 10. One, two, three, four. Versus money per year. And you know what? I, I'm going to go with the food, right? Or the new, new knowledge. Discovers a new technology. Thank you. Show tree, F6. Wait, we're already in the middle of military drill. Rhetoric. Oh. It did unlock this. So we should have exploration unlocked now for free. We're also needing the hammer icon we should be able to get that 400 in two turns yeah we should be able to get that 200 in two turns i think we're back to this one right yeah okay that doesn't matter okay that did not wipe out our progress Hang on. How do I exit this? How do I exit this? Oh, it's probably because of the worker. Do I want to build more food? Or do I want to get wood? Who's this guy? He's the farmer, right? He's the farmer. Uh, let's build more food. Yeah, let's build food. Alright, and then we got six turn or six orders left. And then this guy here. Hang on. What is this one? Mine, right? So let's go over here. And then the settler. Can we change to warrior? Okay, let's go with warrior. We're going to train a warrior on that guy. Wait, no. Just want warrior. 
Oh, oh. Oh. Do I lose? Yeah, uh. Oh. I get it, get it, get it. It was already queued. There was a queue in progress. That's what happened. Got it. So in six years, I get a settler. The other one was seven years, I get a settler, right? I don't want that. And then this one right here. Oh, I can't go there, right? Can't go there. He's all right. He's already fatigued. That guy had fatigue. All right, so I got two orders left. Um, go over this direction. Oh, all right. So I can't travel over here. I have to cross this guy. Um, let's go over here then. Oop. Okay, so these guys already know about that tribe. I have no more orders left. That's fine. What is this? Birth, right? I don't. I already know about that. Farm finish, fine. I already know about that. Trained a worker. That's fine. I discovered something. That's fine. Um, lore keepers, rhetoric. What is this? Hungry lore keepers, Kush. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I. That's the event. And then, yeah, I gave birth. Okay, yeah, got that one. Got some reminders, no reminders. Okay, so that's, that's it, right? I don't have anything else. And I need... 400... to take the exploration one. Alright, I think that's it, right? Let's go ahead and end the year. Alright, so new event. Deeper meaning... Uh, palace servants often find King Consort Kulugur Kalulut Kalulut of Miro walking among the gardens, openly pondering questions of life, morality, and desire. One day he asks if he may take lessons with one of the court philosophers. How shall uh, we accommodate? Hire a master philosopher. Ugh. That's a lot of money that I don't have, but he will gain wisdom. In science, right? That might be a good idea because then we'll get an increase in science points. But he's not managing anything right now, though, is he? Yeah, see, so he's not managing anything, but he will get wisdom if I assign him to something. Too expensive. Opinions for 20 years. I really don't know what these opinions things are all about. What is opinions? I don't know what the opinions are. Total of 40 opinions. Total of 60, right? Or I, I don't know what that plus 60 is. Is that, is that an opinion or, or something else? All right, so well, this icon says he is managing my city, right? Oh, yeah, he is managing my city with a plus. Yeah, yeah, he is managing my city. As leader, you can redraw text. Yeah, yeah, as governor. Right, we're not governing. He is governing. Okay, so let's go ahead and hire somebody. That will help. Okay, that's fine. So we hired somebody. And then this is over here, right? This guy here. He can do a mine? Do I need another mine? Or do I need another farm? Or do I need a camp? Can I can I build wood camp? Or shrine. What's there? What's his shrine? 
output of the shrine. Oh. Yeah, let's build a shrine. Go ahead and build a shrine. All right, who else? Next unit. This guy explores. This guy's got nothing. That guy's got nothing. All right, so those guys are... We are on our own little island here. Yep, we are on our own little island. We want to eventually take over these guys, right? All right, so that's easy then. There, can I get back to this? Go this way. All right, so that area could use some exploration. Uh oh. You've run out of orders. Sure, thank you. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So we've we've got we've done everything we could do, right? So we're definitely surrounded by water here. Go ahead and enter. Uh oh. Uh oh. You've been invited to attend the annual harvest festival hosted by the Gauls. The week long event is always memorable, brimming with feasting, with feasting and fighting. Hmm. It also presents opportunities for diplomacy. If you wish to attend, um, what is your primary aim for this year? Peace, right? I think we want peace. Gulls are, are truce and peace. How do I get peace with them? Peace. I can't choose peace. Attend to show uh, off my prowlness. Prowlness in battle requires queen... Uh, Shauna is strong. I don't. I'm not strong, and I'm not protective, or I'm not productive. Productive. Attend and stick close to King Amionos, focusing on improving relations. Um, opinion is less. The experience goes up. Opinion is good, right? Um, I guess. Fine. Improving my relationship. I have to lose... Oh, I have to lose money. Okay. Tribute. I don't want to give tribute. And I'm not strong. So, have you not snagged any of the free Epic Games, though? Yeah, I do on a weekly basis, yeah. Sometimes they give away good games for free in their weekly offers, like Loop Hero. Yep, uh, I've gotten a bunch of weekly freebies. I actually haven't played any of the things on the Epic Games Store, even though I got them for free. A lot of the games I actually already own on, on Steam. I can't think of anything that I actually have free on Epic that I don't already have on Steam. It might be the dinosaur game, the Jurassic Park Evolution or something. Alright, let's go with the only thing that we have as an option. Okay, so we have good opinions with us, right? New laws are available to adopt. Yes, let's let's take this. Spend a hundred to pass this law. Yes. <clears throat> let's close this. You have completed an ambition, an act exploration. Oh, very nice. Ooh, ooh. What is this? Appetite for exploration. Uh that's the guy that needed the philosopher, right? King Consort, this is my husband, I believe, approaches you following your recent achievement. My lady, the Setju family applauds your recent exploration uh, edic. One can but imagine the endless wonders that await. Do you not hunger as I do to feel the earth underfoot day after day, to pass through still valleys in the shadows of ever watchful mountains to follow the oh my god too much text to follow the meandering river until the restless rapids are calmed by the sea, sea 
Yet our knowledge of these lands hardly extends beyond our borders. Will you venture forth and lift this fog? Ambition, uh, an act is finished, right? Exploration is finished. Your passion inspires me, Kulu. Let's go forth into the unknown. So I'll gain two... Is that is that what I'm understand, understanding here? I gain two orders. I also gain a scout. Because it doesn't say minus orders, so I'm assuming that's a plus two orders. Start ambition reveals 40% of the land. Start's ambition reveals 40% of the land. Okay, so I get a new ambition that says reveal more land, right? And then I get opinion from him for 40 years. I lose money and I lose food. I get a scout. Starts ambition clear six tribal sites. Ugh, I don't have six. I think it might be easier to do this and explore. I've already revealed 27. What's this one? That is a fine idea. I'm willing to trust only you in such an important expedition. King Consort of Maru gets courage. Um, he gets opinions. And then uh, becomes exploring. Oh, I don't need him exploring. Can only part be part of exploring events. Cannot be a governor or general. No. I don't want that for him. I think we're going to go with the ambition, right? Because we need a win on ambitions. Yeah, let's go with this. So we have a new ambition. Reveal 40% reveal of the land. Sounds good to me. Um, let's take a look at our ambition thingy, right? Jesus. That's a long list of ambitions. 55 ambitions to win. Oh, I could win through conquest if I wipe them out. Victory points required is 28. What is 28? What is double? What is double? Victory points required, 28. I have no idea what these things mean. Ambitions and score, okay. Victory from acquiring twice as many victory points as any other nation. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, victory points required, 28. Every 4x, you can always wipe out everybody. Right, that, that's that's a given. I'm trying to figure out if I can do this double thing here. What is this double? By acquiring twice as many victory points as other nations. I'm assuming the victory points are the ambitions or points. It says current leader is me. I acquire. I don't know what this is. This is it's unknown right now. Okay, well, whatever. Let's move on. Let's find out. We just need to explore more. Is, is the gist of what I understand here. Okay. Alright, that is blocked, right? I can't go any further. Oh, I can cross the water. That's nice. Can't go any further with this guy, right? Ooh. Damn it, I can't reach that one. I'm out of orders. End year? Okay, I need Settler to go over here. And I need to probably wipe out... Well, first of all, I need to get... Make peace, right? I need to figure out how to make peace. How do I make peace? Can I get my money back from the scouts? Is there an abandon or abolish or disband option? 
No. Disband the unit. Huh. Is this unit consuming anything? Like, am I am I losing anything from this guy? What is this? Oh, I can rename the guy. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Food rate. Minus 7.5. Units. Where's my units list? There's something here where... I mean, I have too many scouts. So I'm trying to figure out if I can just get rid of them if they're consuming something. And this here is a different color. Does this mean it's free? Is this guy free? I mean, this is the stats for him, right? Like, I don't... I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't know if it's seven. It says I have seven units consuming stuff. 1.5 units. This is 7.5. Could send them to scout lands in the northeast? Northwest. I can't. Can I can I cross this? I don't think I can cross. Oh, you're right. I can't cross this. You're right. I can't cross this. I thought that's a gap I can't cross. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. It looks like I can. Because this guy was able to diagonally move from here to here. Alright, let's do that then. I just don't know what the food consumption thing is all about, though. Swords of uh, Plowshares. Okay, a soothsayer recently told you that your realm stood at a crossroad. Down one path, I see peace and prosperity. Down the other, war and the potential for conquest. Whichever you choose, one will appear to help guide you. Uh, you sense the truth of her words and find yourself torn between competing needs and priorities. In this moment, which path will you choose? Um, I choose Path of War, Court Soldier, I get a new Courtier, right? Uh, ambition, ten, kill 10 military units. Queen Shana, the settler, becomes prosperous, cultivator or timid? Huh. I gain a trait, right? I think last time I didn't have the prosperous trait. But the other one gives me an ambition. Do I want to gain some ability? Or do I gain a unit and also the ability to do another ambition? Okay, let's do peace. Let's focus on peace. We already have a peace and uh, ambition, so let's do that. Oh, I become timid. Oh. Shit. Is that bad? Is that bad? Is timid bad? What What does timid do? Minus whatever. Huh. Um. Courage. Minus courage. For leaders and governors, courage increases training. For generals, courage increases unit strength. So it says I gained prosperous. Huh. What, that was weird. Well, I did not gain anything. That's going to help me with peace. What happens if I do that? Let's find out. Wait, it doesn't help, help, huh? Nothing's happening. Oh, I don't get that event again. Oh, wait, maybe I do. Oh, I get to choose the event again. 
Oh, it becomes one of the three things. Got it. Becomes or, or. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'm going to go with the war path then. Yeah, let's go with the war path. A new court soldier, Artie, has joined the court. Her experience in matters of war will help Kush safe. Holding shift lets you mouse over tool tooltip keywords. Yeah, I, I figured that part. Your exploration law allows scouts to travel on water tiles. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, welcome. So, let's see. Let's take a look at that, th that thing here. Oh, so scouts move on water. Uh, okay. Very nice. Yeah, scouts move on water. Oh, that's how I was able to move across water. Interesting. Oh, I thought you had to have boats or something. That's interesting. Oh, it automatically becomes a boat. What? That's nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Okay. I'm glad I got that one then. Very nice. Floating city. The floating city. A great floating city once clung to this desert coastline. A collection of harbors linked by ferries, bridges, and... Uh, pontoons um sadly much of its splendor now lies lost um, along the sea floor flooding appears to have liquefied the clay islands on which the city stood sinking it over centuries several ceremony ceremonial boats remain on the abandoned shore but the ruins themselves are almost entirely underwater claim the boats for research so i acquire navigation so I automate scouts. Ooh, I can automate scouts. Send divers to search for treasures. I'm going to go with that one, right? I acquire the ability to automate scouts. Discovers a new technology. Navigation. Cool. I think eventually I need to research that though, right? I need to get more science points. I need to boost more science points. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, very cool. Okay, so I got two points left. All right, I need a few more ex ambition exploration, right? I need to figure out how to make peace, though, with some other tribe. Automate. Ooh. Automate the units. Oh, automate, automate. I don't have to research it. All right, let's do automate. Yes. Yes. Automate. Wait, if I already acquired the technology, then that means I don't have to research it? I guess it's autom- Oh. Let's see here, research tree. Uh, green means I own it. Blue is what's, uh, what I can research. Orange is what I can research. Blue is my current... Okay, blue is my current choice. 
orange is in my draw pile or discard pile. So I can I can switch at any point in time. Interesting. I can switch at any point in time. Okay, all right, that's fine. So do we have everyone automated? I think everyone's automated now, right? Three guys, four guys. Four guys are automating. And this guy. We need to make peace with somebody and then we need to attack somebody. And we need to kill 10 units, right? Who is our enemy? Who, how about... Truth? Truth and cautious. What about you? Zero. Queen Wedding. Or Queen Webbyorg. Okay. The Danes, right? Uh, what is this? Plus... Plus 59. What does the plus 59 mean? I'm guessing that's their opinion of us. Oh, hey, there's something right there, too. Nice. 59. I don't know what the 59 is. What is zero? Plus zero. I'm guessing that is opinion of you. Oh, tribal peace. Oh. Let's see here. I need an ambassador. Requires minimum pleased. What is minimum pleased? What is minimum pleased? What what does the minimum please mean? Why is minimum please? What is minimum please? What is the requirement for the minimum please? Uh, cautious. Opinion of you is cautious plus 20. Shift and mouse over tooltip to give us tons of information about this game. Yeah. Let's find out here. Tray, a tribe opinion, please. 100 to 99. Okay, so I need to have 100 opinion points with them. Tribe opinion. And I'm guessing... I'm guessing 59 is my opinion. Right, okay. So, I have to be above 99 to make peace with them. And I need an ambassador, right? I think I need an ambassador, too. I don't know how to get the ambassador. I need an ambassador. It requires a commander or diplomat. An arist aristocracy. Aristocracy. Aristocracy, right? Link in here. Do I have anybody who's who is an ambassador? Oh, we do have an ambassador. We do have an ambassador. Okay. But he's upset with me. What the hell does that mean? He's upset with me. Eligible? Okay. I don't know here. He's not happy. Maybe that's why I can't send him over here. Oops. 
Okay, okay, the ambassador is not grayed out, so I do have an ambassador. It's the requires minimum, please, is what I don't have. Got it. And red is I don't have the orders. So I do have an ambassador. Because it's not red. I just need to get the... The please status. Okay, that's fair. Now how do I get them to increase my their opinion with me? Uh, influence via queen... The settler, minimum of age, requires, okay, uh, require not influenced by you, costs money, 50% influence exerted, but it doesn't say anything about opinions on that. I don't know what the hell that means. I don't know how to increase this. Their leader is corrupt. I can't do anything else, right? I can't do anything else. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything else. These are my only actions. I don't know what that means, though. Years to complete. 50% influence exerted. 25% uh, influence exposes our weakness. So our legitimacy goes down. Uh, requires minimum age. I, I don't know what the thing is. My queen gets plus exp though. But I don't know what the the opinion thing though is. Or how to give them opinion. Alright, what is this? You have given birth to a son. Awesome. Uh, ambassador is a council role on the top right. One of the three lock slots that requires learning a tech to employ. Okay, that's fine. I still need to figure out how to increase the opinion, though. Uh, somebody founded... Something, something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing we built. The religion. The religious building. The shrine. And Haiti has begun construction of the Hanging Gardens. Haiti? Who the hell? Oh, the nation of Haiti. That's one of the people we're fighting against, right? The Hanging Garden. Is that bad? Oh, it was a wonder of the world. It's victory points. Oh! He's got victory points going on here. Okay. Pagan, uh, pagan religions are founded by buildings by building your first shrine, and they are spread by building more shrines. They have no disciplines, theology, or access to special religious improvements, uh, but improving the religion's opinion will increase happiness in the city. With the region, paganism can be adopted as a city state or as a state religion if you enact divine rule. Okay, I will build more shrines, shrines if I want to spread paganism. Okay, sure. Uh-oh. Sacred of the profane. The gods of Kush watch closely. A re religion is not yet a question of faith. But an act of everyday life, collections of rituals, rites, of developing an intention to avoid the uh, the calamitous calamitous rich ruin of a angered god. Uh, but this is a time of change when not even divinity is constant. New gods and heroes attract followers to their social and mystical cult shrines. While world religious emerge and spread, seeking to establish their legal and theological footing amongst the common people and the courts of the royal blah blah blah, royal alike, new leaders and clergy. Clergy, what the hell does clergy do? Um, okay, yeah, yeah, fine. Guys, the faith, uh, full, guy, the faithful and uh, reverent passion can spill into the streets of the religious, the uh, distant. This sentence has a chance of appearing in cities with an upset religion. It can be removed peaceably. Oh, it's kind of like a a strike, basically. Riot it can be removed peaceably with a quelled dissent. Missions of a clergy, character of the same religion, or violently with suppression. This the project of the city 
uh, suppress dissonance project if the city has a governor. Okay, right. So I need a governor to make some project to remove any riots, religious riots, basically. The world of the sacred and the profane awaits. Sure. Thank you. A series of blights and plague of locusts and a streak of dry weather have come together to form the worst harvest in living memory only by providing them food from the empire's granaries can prevent them wa prevent wide widespread starvation right the queen is cursed i've been cursed how much more curse can i get oh it's because i was cursed that this happened to me Ugh. Ugh. i cannot help failed to lead oh how much crown do I have right now? I have 51 crown. What does this crown do for me? Uh, comes from achieving ambitions and acquiring better cognomens, such as the great. Uh, legitimacy from the cognomens uh, of previous leaders decays. Each time a new leader takes control, higher legitimacy improves family opinion and produces more orders per turn. Oh... I lose legitimacy. I lose less turns. Oh, and I have family opinions. Okay. Events. Ambitions finished. Okay. So if I take the other one, I lose five. My other option is to buy... I can't buy 360. That's way too much. Yeah, I can't buy that. No, I can't buy that. I cannot help. Damn it. Does the curse go away? Oh, I'm still cursed! Oh, how do I lift the damn curse? Well, that's awful. Okay, alright. That's fine. I have a shrine. What is this one? How do I get the hanging garden? Can I beat the other guy creating Hanging Garden? Huh. Jesus Christ, it's taking forever to get that settler, huh? That's awful. Why are you not going over there? Our expedition comes upon an oppressive paved road system leading between wood structures that have long since rotted away. The engineer required to be to build such a site was far ahead of its time. What will you have us do? Okay. Break down the road. Gain discipline and get more money and stones. Study the technology. Acquire labor force. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, acquire labor force. Discovers a new technology. Okay, so cool. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, the other guy is moving around, right? Do I need to expand this? I mean, I'm currently working on a settler. What do I need to build? Hang on. I got that guy in there, right? Oh! Got it. Got it, got it, got it. That's automatically build for me. Got it, got it, got it, got it. It's an automatic thing. Alright, well, let's improve the farming. Or the specialist, right? Specialist, right? The specialist. And then this guy here. How do I get more trees? Do I need more trees? No, right? Um... Do I need more food? I should probably send that guy over here. Work on this side. Uh, 
or what what is this one requires land consolidation okay i can't do anything on this side huh flat let's send him over here there you go all right all right what does this do build mine build farm build a shrine build a garrison oh garrison could be useful can't go there can i no i think he's got fatigue yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i already know all right that's fine and you what do you have do i need more mines do i need more farming let's go with farming i can use i can always use more farming um, I think that's it, right? Next unit. Hang on, can I... I'm gonna send this guy back to our base. Because we're gonna probably attack this guy over here. Okay, that's fine. Next unit. Oh, this is the guy that I need to automate, right? Okay. I think that's it. Do I end? I think I end, right? Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Next unit. I, I don't know. If I hit this, does they do they automatically do their exploration? I don't know. They did not automatically move. That might have been bad says automate why didn't they just automatically do the exploration okay that's converted to the cushy paganism is that bad is that bad this guy converted what does that mean for me opinion plus two spreading the new cities zero percent chance of spreading new cities each pagan, uh, each pagan, cushy pagan, in the city gets two per year. Our city has one. Current followers are none. It says none. Uh, well, I got, hmm. I actually don't know what this means for me when they switched religion. But okay. Uh, this is a ship, right? Oh, oh, it's a free ship. It's a free ship. This is a free... Free Spearman in 10 years. Unlocks Spearman unit. Well, I want free units in 10 years. And how many do I get? Oh, no, 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 no. This is not free. Not free. Discover bonus, right? Gain that if I did... Oh. I think I need to do that one, right? Because I get a discover bonus. Why would it tell me to go this one? As a recommendation. I think it's better to go this one, right? What does this one do? Prerequisite for a target tech. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, discover bonus. Uh, it's telling me to go with this one. Discover bonus. Firmly trash when discarded. All right, that's fine. I'll take this one. Does it have a different background music, or is it just 24-7 windy background? I disable the music because um, I'm concerned about any copyright claims. If I post this on my YouTube as a VOD, it, it kind of happened to me randomly with, like, Core Keeper. It's just some, like, stupid scammer, whoever out there just decides to, like, register some copyright music clip, and then they'll go around and do copyright claims on various different like 
you know, content creators. And if I don't like dispute or whatever it is, or I ignore it, and that's kind of their cheesy way of claiming royalty for no reason, you know, it's it's basically a YouTube type of scam doing copyright strikes. So I don't want any music that could cause problems because apparently there's issues with music why the developers decided to add this feature in there. Suddenly, this is now a feature in the game, and I have to enable this. <laughs> and I, I just went music zero because I just didn't want to deal with this. And the developers of Core Keeper had to go in and figure out how to like create some sort of copyright claim on that particular music. And then release the, all the copyright strikes that was claimed on anybody who got flagged because the developer was like, hey, if you've got any copyright strike claims, send me a notification. And that was the CEO of the developers of um, Core Keeper. So that got resolved. I actually disputed it. And uh, it got removed immediately. But yeah, I, I don't want to mess with music stuff. Like, I, I... Here's the thing about this whole copyright claim thing. Before I actually became a partner with YouTube... And I was ru running like these copyright free or royalty free music, right? Um, I I played that as an intro to my my stream starting thing. Or sometimes I'll play the music in between my my BRB breaks. And for some reason, you know, since I became a partner out of the woodworks, everybody is starting to copyright claim random music that I had. And it was just bullshit because I. It was it was supposed to be royalty free, so I can't trust those things. I feel like it's a scam whenever they tell you, "Oh yeah, use our music; it's royalty free." And then later they'll like, "Oh, they'll just copyright strike you, and anything that you monetize, they'll be able to like suck up your money if you're not paying attention to to not disputing things." It's really bullshit. So I'm not I'm not I'm not enabling music for this. Don't want to mess with it. This is supposed to be automated. Why did it not automate? How do I automate this guy? Because he obviously did not move. Survivors. Ooh, this village has only recently been sacked. And we discovered a band of survivors huddled in its ruin. Uh, these destitute refugees seem eager to abandon the wreckage of their old lives join our nation but they are strangers to our culture what do you want to do with them there's actually a funny thing in the game where you invent music with one of the early texts to start playing it in the background jesus christ there's an actual that's i don't want to mess with that that sounds like pretty shady to me <laughs> if you invent something and some guy goes hey i invented this music i'm gonna copyright claim this create like a you know, a music artist ownership and then go around and spam copyright strikes on other d content creators. That's just awful. All right, so invite them to resettle in our nation, gain a worker, recruit them as hardened explorers. I gain extra orders. I gain a scout or I gain three orders. Let's go with the scout in three orders. I don't know. I think scouts drain food. I really think scouts drain food. Okay, one is... Hang on. Oh, yeah, I think the scouts do drain food. Nope, scouts don't drain food. Unless scouts are counted as workers. No, I only have three workers. I guess scouts are free. I'm looking at this. I think, yeah, I think scouts might be free. Huh, I think scouts might be free, guys. Try to find out if scouts drain anything.
Yeah, scouts might be free. Because it doesn't list scouts anywhere. Yeah, okay, alright. At least that's what I'm understanding here. Yeah, okay, alright. I don't think scouts are on this list. Ooh, yeah, sure. I don't, okay, I got 10 points left, right? Jesus Christ, this guy is not producing this fast enough for some reason. Well, this is a project, right? I don't want to build a project right now. Uh, sure. I'm an explorer? I think I'm an explorer, right? Wait, that's bad, right? Or no, it's... It, I think explorer is better than settlers, right? Yeah, I think that's better. That's the next level. Yep, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. So I, I'm now an explorer level. Let's see here. It says unknown. I don't know what the unknown is. Oh, I need to get the 37. Yep, I need to... I need to get three more points. Uh, okay, hang on. Scouts have discovered... A Numenidian camp in the distance, and they report frequent meetings between the Numenidians and other tribes. An alliance against our expansion may be forming, but rumors can be misleading. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. Send soldiers to end this plot. Minus opinions for 40 years. Uh, Queen Shana, the explorer, becomes steadfast. I get plus 25. What is this? Attack and defense strength against tribal units as leader. All units versus tribal unit strength. Oh. Opinions of them. Do nothing. Well, let's... They're so far away that we should probably just not care. But at least we will become steadfast and we'll have more damage against units. Yeah, let's do this. Sure. And their opinion of us is low, alright? Yeah, they're upset with us. That's okay. At least they're not at war with us, right? They're just upset. Being upset is not not that big of a deal. Sure. Alright, who else? Next unit. Alright, what else can I do? Build a barracks here, right? What else? Next unit. Which is build garrison? What is this one? What is this one? Shrine. What do I want this guy to build? Shrine? Um, sure, I guess I can shrine, right? What about this one? Garrison. What's that do for me? Enables city? Governor enables stronghold. Okay. Requires blah blah blah. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's go with that then. Garrison. Oh, I don't have anything. Oh I have oh I have no more. 
No more orders. Alright, that's fine. End of the year. Okay, some uh, princess Athamal Mali whatever is now old enough to be a tu to be tutored. Okay, that's fine. Is now head of of the paganism. Wow, their opinion of you has gone from cautious to upset. Oh no, what in the hell? This is bad, right? I don't know what this does for me. He's forming his own religion, and now he's pissed at me. What the hell? Family has converted to Kush paganism. That's that's our family, right? Our family. Their opinion of you has gone from pleased to cautious. What? My own family is now having issues. What in the hell? I gotta get take control of this religious shit. What's going on with this religious thing? This is bad. I gotta figure out something about that. Tactics. Let's, let's have her tactics, right? She can be a commander. Yeah, let's let's have her to be a commander. Sure, let's go with that. Now the settler is finally available. Oh, I got another turn. Sure. And you, Garrison. And you, we're gonna go over here. Okay, we we got this. What does this guy do for me? He's a worker. He's a worker. What can he do? What can he do for me? I don't know what can you do for me. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this worker. Requires land consolidation. I can remove trees. Yeah, let's remove. You no, know, oh, 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 no, 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 cancel, no cancel. Okay, he's working on the barracks. All right, I can't do anything else. I can't work on anything else. End year. Uh oh, what just happened? Oh yeah, let's go over here. Do a city. Um. Wait, if I go with that. Wait, why is it cautious? And why is it pleased? Wait, what is this? Founded a family seat. Skip family seat. Seal. Uh. Oh no. Okay. Founded a family seat. Wait, what does that mean? If I skip a family seat, they'll be pissed? I don't know what that means. And skipped family seat two years. Yeah, they're not going to be happy. I don't know what all this means. In each game, you pick three families out of four. Okay. Well, right now I have two, right? I have two families already. Your first three cities will generally be the seats of each of them. So your first three cities will generally generally be seats of each of them. So if I choose this, they'll be happy, right? Is that what you're telling me? If I don't choose this, they'll be cautious.
Um, I already have a City of the Blue, yes. So if I do a City of the Blue again, they'll be happy. But why would my own family be upset with me? Or are, unless they're currently cautious. Somehow I get the feeling I need to take that one, right? Or no? I want one that I don't have yet. Okay, alright. Okay. So pick red or purple. Okay, alright. Hmm. Okay, what? Hmm. Uh, oh, red or purple camps. I don't know if camps would make sense, but that's fine. Let's go with that. I have no idea if that's the right choice or not. Okay. Alright, what is this? Idol. Alright, yeah, that's fine. So we want... What do we want here? We already have enough workers, right? I could probably send a worker over there. Hunter family trains good range units. Okay. Um... This guy is a range unit. I can't do this one yet, right? Requires a stronghold. Six years to do that one. Form. Uh, festival. Add hunt per... Add hunt. Requires hunters in the family. Council. On completion, civics and training is increased. Repeatable. Well, it says one year. Let's go ahead and add that one then. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but okay. Let's do that. I need to build up a military thing and start attacking people. Make peace with tribe. Kill 10 military units. Um, uh, farmer, right? Who, next unit. What do I need to do here? What's your deal? Build a barracks. Am I not building a barracks? I think I'm already building a barracks. I think I'm building a barracks already. Yeah, I'm building a barracks already. What else can I build? What's this one? Shrine? Another shrine. Council is option for I don't have anything useful to do here, so just give me a little bit of extra resources here. Got it. Um, potential bonuses. Spreads the Kush. Jesus. I don't know if I should be building more shrines. Mines. Let's go ahead and build more mines. That might be an okay thing to do. I could use more military thing later. What else? That guy, I'm just going to leave him there. That's my only unit, right? So, hang on. So if I'm on automatic exploration... 
Why are these guys not moving? Why are they not telling me where they're going? Right? It's supposed to be on automatic. If I end my turn, they should be doing random shit, right? Right? Theoretically? I don't know. Yeah, see, my guys are not moving. Wait, oh, no, no, I got end of the year. Okay, let's find out. Eight turns, right? Yeah, my, my scouts aren't doing anything. Hmm. Cannot let go of grievances and is often angry. A most bitter person. What the hell? Okay, sure. What, is, what does that mean for me? What does that mean for me? Monroe has reached a new culture. A new culture level. Higher levels of culture unlocks additional improvements and wonders for your city. Each new level will also trigger a positive culture event for your city. Okay, great. Today, a group of laborers has decided to join your workforce, granting you a new worker. Okay, fine. Gain a worker. Oh, okay, cool. I got a new worker. Uh, you built your first barracks. Melee units that remain idle on a barracks will earn EXP. There's similar bonuses for idle range units on a range. Unit promotions are cheaper for units with more experience points. So make sure to train your units while not at war to keep them sharp. Okay. I will train my military units in the barracks to get more experience. Fine. Uh, the Princess, what's I'm gonna call it, Asamalel, takes the tactics training with an unbridled enthusiasm, uh, especially combat drills where she bests her opponents every time. Clearly, the instructors are the best in Kush. We may wish to consider promoting some of them. Sure. Uh will continue to benefit from, from their wisdoms. She becomes tough, heckle, heckler, or swift in the next year. Fine. Extend invitation to the teachers to join us in the court. Uh, is this a new game? Yes. Well, the, the new... This game's been out for a while, but the new DLC for this game is, in, is being released in two days. And I got early access to this before the DLC is released. So you can't buy the DLC right now. And uh, the publisher uh, of this game is the same publisher as, as the Against the Storm. So he actually gave me a free key and also a free key to the DLC and all, all DLCs to the game. So right now I'm streaming the new faction that you can play in the DLC. The Kingdom of Kush uh, will continue to benefit from her wisdom. Or do we want another person... In our court. I think we've got way too many people in our court right now. I don't think I need more. 40 years, right? I think we're fine. We'll, we'll give her wisdom. Although Kush has no state religion, uh, many people follow their own faith and practices. The Kush site pagan priest of M Miro says that the support of the gods will only strengthen your rule and offer to teach you about their ways. Will you accept? Teach me your ways. Queen Shana, the explorer, converts to cushy paganism. Refuse their offer. Yes, let's go with that. We will convert to their religion. So everyone will be happy with me. Recent skirmishes along the border have left a strip of habitable land unprotected. Already, the soldier, a great soldier, proposes that we annex the region for further development. This move could potentially alienate the nearby Danes, but it would enlarge our borders significantly. Yes, let's do that. Tell her to take what is rightfully yours. We do not wish a pin... You know, we're, they're already zero. We're going to probably take over them anyways. Let's take this. Our border tiles extends, right? Nice. 
The Danes were just going to conquer them later. All right, so next unit. Worker. Do I need a farm? I should probably get another farm, right? Or no? Or we get more stones? What are my options here? Well, if we're... If we have paganism, whatever, as our religion. You know what? Hang on. Let's just go more farm. I will cut down force, force, uh, or wood until I can build lumber mills. Sure. Your worker has moved onto a tree tile. Workers can spend one order to cut down trees with the axe button in the actions panel on the left. And two orders can be spent to fully clear the land. These action both harvest wood and add it to your stockpile. The tile in question does not have to be in your territory to cut down the trees. Um, once cut down, trees take more time to regrow. If you build improvements on the tree tiles, the wood is automatically harvested as the clan is cleared. All the cost of the th all at the cost of the three orders. Eventually, you can research forestry technology to enable the construction of lumber mills, which are a more regular and sustainable source of wood. However, you must must be built on tree tiles, so don't cut down all of your forest. You can also spend money to purchase wood. Sure. Why are you telling me this now? I don't know. I just moved on to a forest tile. Huh. But it says build farm as an option. Build a fort. Oh, what is this? You can heal units. Mine. What is Ziggurat? Ziggurat. What the hell is this? I don't have enough, do I? No, I do actually have enough. Shrines. I can build a farm there in two years. I can build a fort. Uh, if friendly neutral territory plus two unit vision can heal units destroy while pillaged. Okay. Do I want to build? Do I want to cut down trees? I don't know. I can also add roads. All right. Well, let's cut down the trees then. I have no idea why I would want to do that right now. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's, he's creating a mine. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And what's your your deal? Oh, you, he's making a garrison, right? Next unit. What is this, worker? Can I build a road? What is this? Upgrade. What is this upgrade? Upgrade to militia. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Can I build? Okay. What is this? Um, let's add a road. Right? Can I? Do I? Is that automatic or do I need more? Wait, your worker is on cooldown. Can I take more actions? I'll try again next turn. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Next units. Choose productions. Okay. Um. What do I? Leads to forum. Production. Warrior. Singers. All right, well, let's go with that one then. Form. You could probably add hunt. What is this? One culture per year, right? And let's go with that one. Let's cancel that one. Yeah. And we'll add that one to the queue. Sure. What else? Next unit. What does this say? All right, we're going to have him go to the barracks, right? That, I think that's the barracks right here. Is that the barracks? No, this is the barracks. Right? I think that's the barracks, right? Or Oh, wait, we're building a barracks, right? Or no? Where's the barracks? Where's the barracks? I'm pretty sure we built a barracks. Garrison is not the same as barracks. What is this one? That's a garrison. I could have sworn we built a barracks. Oh, there is a barracks right here. Hmm. 
Yeah, it has a barracks in here. Okay, well, that's fine. What can this guy do? Add general. Promote. Oh, what's promote? 10%. If damage. He's tough. Hmm. Add a general to this. Alright, let's add a general. Okay. Plus... What is this? Plus speed? And EXP. This is speed and movement. And this is damage. Let's go with damage. Choose this guy. Awesome. So now that guy has a... A general. Okay, has trained the finest warriors of the nation has become swift. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll hurry production in my cities if I need to. Now that Miro has reached the developing culture level, uh, various options for hurrying production in the city has become available. With the culture, or developing icon, right? With the developing or higher culture level alone, a city can hurry production at the cost of civics and discontent. Other methods of hurrying production are further enabled by certain governor traits or laws or or doxicity in volunteers, orthodoxy in vo volunteers. These distinct means of hurrying production cost resources other than civics, although they can also they produce discontent. For example, the holy war law and the state religion can hurry production with money. You can see different options for hurrying productions in the city panels underneath the current productions in progress, hurrying productions. Can be expensive, but can also save you, save you in a tight spot. Sure, I'll hurry my production if I need to. Uh, okay, your heir, Princess Astamel, has caught bullying. Caught has been caught bullying her sister, uh, Duchess Arthura. Such repeated torment appears to be taking a toll. How will you handle this family strife? Okay, ignore it. Um, she loses charisma but gains courage and global training. And the other the other chick becomes in strain from Princess Alma. Okay. Uh, teach uh, Princess Alma to respect her inferiors. Uh, as a general, she'll move faster. Your daughter, your heir to the, um, your heir female uh, okay. Opinion of you is cautious, but I get plus 20. Notable, five notable events. Uh, ah, huh, okay. Encourage. Okay, one is global 10, the other one is global 2. But she gains courage. Oh, it's less courage, but the top I lose order I lose global order I don't want to lose anything right I don't want to lose anything all right let's go with this one then I don't want to lose anything I currently have I'm already yeah I want to gain order or the, the civics right I want to gain civics sure next thing all right, so my worker now, what, what is he going to do? Can I build a lumber mill? What the hell does this do for me? Holy city, any religion, culture weak, minus, uh, okay, all cities is reduce improvement cost. Um... I get plus two victory points. Oh. Oh. Wonder of the world. Yeah, let's do that. Can I build that? Oh, I need 600 stones. Oh. I don't have the stones.
I see. Hang on, this one, what, what does this one give me? Wait, don't I have a... Don't I have a shrine? What does this give me? Potential bonus. One a year, divine rules. Each, uh, there's nothing nearby. There, okay, there's no benefits nearby, right? All right, yeah, there's no benefit for that one. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Hmm. What's this guy building? He's building a mine, right? What's this one do? Shrine. Over here? Three years. What's this one give me? Uh, cult of the Mother, 50% output. What is this other shrine? Mani. Okay, this is a different shrine. Okay, hmm. I don't know. feel like I should make a farm, though, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and do the farm. Alright, so we're going to make a farm there. Next unit. This guy here. Oh man, I re I oh he's got options to build a lot of things. Hmm. I am on a a mine though. It says recommended. It is recommended to build a, sh uh, a mine there, right? Resources, gems. Oh. Resource, gems. I can't build anything here. Can't build anything there. Right, I can't build anything. Mm. That one I should have built something. How about that one? I'm just going to add roads then. Can I add roads? Oh my god, I can't add roads, can I? What is this? What, what can I build off of this? It says recommended fort. It replaces the quarry. Oh, I have a quarry on here. How come it doesn't say... Oh yeah, I do have a quarry on there. I do have a quarry on there. Remove shrubs. Okay. Wants a mine right there. Recommended. The mine. Alright, let's go here then. To the mine. Okay, so the roads can't be on top of buildings that we have? I don't know if that's true or not. Two years till I get a warrior. Where, where, where do I have enough warriors? Hang on. I only have a singer. Slinger. That's fine. Next unit. Okay. So he what he just finished building the garrison, right? What does the garrison do for me? The base. Discontent level is reduced. Okay, okay. That's good, right? Uh, what is this? Urban flat. Got a barracks there. Shrine. Shrine. Okay. What is about this? Build a farm? Build a barracks. Build a mine. Yeah, this looks so much like civilization. It does, doesn't it? It does. Very different, though. I can tell you that much. Um, Alright, let's go over here and build a farm. Yeah, Garrison's main purpose is allowing you to assign a governor to that city. Ah, oh, that's right. I remember now. That's why I was... Exactly. I remember now. I was trying to... Yes, you're right. I remember. That's why I did that. I remember reading that earlier. Well, let's go ahead and add a governor.
Um, I need more science points, right? Oh, if I go over there, I get more science and culture, or I make more money. Let's make more money. Cool. All right, help. who else? Who else? That guy is parked there, right? I think, I think there's a reason to leave him there. Next unit. Well, he's the only unit. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. See, in Civilization, it, it focuses on, on all the scouts. It's not focusing on any of the scouts' movements, so I feel like the scouts aren't moving at all. All right, so somebody's old enough to be tutored. Great, sure. Which one are you recommending me? Axeman? I'll take the Axeman. You may be interested to learn, for better or worse, Duchess Arthana is showing signs of taking after her father, King Consort Kalulutha Miro. Uh, how this influence will take shape is yet to be seen. I can't choose anything, right? Sure. Becomes cunning. Sure. The, uh, the Gauls. It feels okay. These guys, their name, the Gauls, sounds like the Stargate SG1 alien race. The Gauls present an offer promising a stable peace. Do we want? Do we approve? Yes. Let's make peace. We've completed the peace requirement too. Is now at peace. Yes, the Gauls. You are now known as Shana the Good. You have completed the ambition. Make peace with the tribe. Ooh, I gain legitimacy. Nice. Okay, influence missions give you the chance to improve another character's opinion of your leader. At the cost of a few orders and some money, they may also lead to follow-up events. You can conduct an influence mission by clicking on the influence button in the action panel on the top, on the left, while a character other than your leader is selected. You may influence members of any nation, not just your own. Let me work uh, my wiles on Princess Astamala. Why, sure, I am too busy for that at the moment. She gets experience. Starts the mission. Influence. It's free, right? It's free. Sure, I guess it's free. I'll take it. Um, time passes quickly. Duchess Arthaha is growing up fast and eager to learn. What would you like to educate Arthaha? She's already got this, I believe. Yeah, she's already got that. What do I want her to be? I want her to be a commander, right? But wisdom is... Oh, wisdom is more science. Well, I do want her... I do want her to give us more science. Let's go with this. More science means more research points. Right? Uh, what is going on here? Um, something about the powerful... Family would like to know what you think of the large new hat. Something about a hat which makes her head look absurdly small. The truth is you hate it. It's just a ridiculous object. However, taking such a blunt approach to one of the more influential people in your realm may not be the most diplomatic action. Sure, yeah. Uh, brilliant, amazing, the best ever. The queen becomes deceitful and loses money. Global okay, no, we don't want that. And loses opinion of you. No, we don't want to lose opinion. To be honest? Okay, let's be honest. Becomes disappointed with Queen Shana. 
Who's the other guy? The, oligar the oligarch. Uh, oligarch of Miro. Who is that guy? Amin Amendi, whatever her name is. Who are all my characters? What the hell is this guy? Who is this chick? Is she important to me? I don't know if she's important. She's not doing anything useful, right? She's just a builder. Where is she on this list? She's not on my list of important people. Oh, she is. No, she's not. She's not on my list. Oh, wait, she... Oh, she is! Oh, my God, the list is... Oh, I have all these people on the list. Jesus. What's she doing for me? She's a cruel pathfinder. Opinion of you, of, of you is cautious. She's the leader of one of your three families. Ah, okay. She's head family, though, of of us, right? Set Jew. Her spouse is the the other family. Okay. She's not doing anything for me, though, right? What? Yeah, she's not doing anything for me. I think this will be okay. She's just disappointed me. That's not a big deal, right? Versus the other option is I lose money per year. I don't want to lose money per year. That's a bad idea, right? I want money per year. Go with this. I don't care if she's pissed off at me. She can just take a hike. I have so many other people on my list to deal with. That can probably replace her. Um, yeah, somehow I get the feeling these guys are not doing anything. Like, I had extra whatever, but they're not... Oh, he, they are doing something, right? This guy is exploring, isn't he? Yeah, they must be doing something. Okay, yeah, they are doing something. I wish they, the game would zoom in on the explorers that's automated. The Gauls. Uh, that's my world map. Okay, that must be the border of the game. Yeah, they must be exploring because I see the I see those uncovered. We got here our scouts first spot the raised tower of the ruined fortification from a nearby valley where traces of an ancient hunter scatter the ground. They discover a crumbling defensive um, settlement dominating the cliffs. Its storeroom still packed with goods. Nice. Uh, unexpectedly, oh yeah, the ch <laughs> the ch the chick that's disappointed with with us. Um. And members of the Setu family send agents to prevent the acquisition of these treasures. The Sejetu are repeatedly given the leftovers from these expensive scouting expeditions. We demand more of the spoils. Oh, she's a chick that's pissed off at us, right? This kind of interference will not be allowed. Um, becomes vengeful against the queen. But I gain money, food, and stones. Is no longer disappointed with the queen. 25 chance of becoming timid next year. Oh! I don't know what timid does, but I guess... What is this one? Wait, what is this one? We will honor them with a place in our court. Starts conspiring with the queen. Make courtier, um, court minister. Huh. I guess she's a court minister after this? 
She becomes a courtier. Eh, interesting. I think that might be a good option, right? But she's, well, she's still, she's still, I guess, disappointed with me. But that may not, oh, I don't know here. 25% chance, right? Do I need another courtier? What is she good at? Cons conspiring status is huge, plus opinion. Oh, okay, so she won't be, she will no longer be disappointed with me. Well, I should probably take that, right? Let's go with that then. She's no longer disappointed. She's just cautious with us. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well, that's good, right? That's good. Oh, it says she's still disappointed with me. What the hell does disappointed do for me? Oh, okay. So if I, get, I remove this as disappointment, it's basically the same as gaining 80 points. Inspiring is gaining 800. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So the other option, I would have lost the 80. But here, I'm basically netting 20 overall. I'm at a net 20 on opinions. Okay, that's not terribly bad. Alright, that's not terribly bad. Uh-oh. Ship units like the Baremi, Tremiri, the Dromamol, Droman, Droman, an anchor... Oh, can anchor to enable land units to move over water tiles without the help of an anchored ship. Land units can only move through water tiles without their nation's territory. Or within their nation's territory. Can only move through water within their nation's territory. Got it, got it. Anchoring comes at a cost of one order and puts a ship on a cooldown. Land units may move over water within the movement range of the anchored ship. Uh, starting on the turn after the ship in question has anchored. Okay, so it's after it's anchored. The anchored status of a ship persists until it is moved. Okay, Anch anchor a ship by pressing the anchor button on its action panel on the left side of the screen with it while the ship is selected. I will anchor the ship to move my armies across open water. Sure. Okay. Okay, what can I do with this guy here? Hmm. All right, let's um, let's move it over here. Shit, can I move it over there? Oh, is it anchored? How do I unanchor it? How do I unanchor it? Is it anchored or unanchored? Oh, it's it's already unanchored. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, I can't just go like this. Oh, because it's inside a lake. Oh, no. Oh, it's inside a lake. This is BS. Is it consuming anything? I got a unit for free, but it's absolutely useless, guys. That is the worst! <laughs> it's inside a lake. What in the hell? That was such a waste of uh, research. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Is it consuming anything? Oh my god. Alright, it doesn't look like it's consuming anything. Alright, well it looks like it's not consuming anything. At least from what I can tell. 
jet. I don't think it's consuming anything, right? Oh, huh, I guess you can have unlimited boats. What else can it do? Versus tribal units, right? Melee counterattack, minus one. Can build fort. I can build a fort? Oh, interesting. Does add gen general. Oh, I could build a fort, huh? Interesting. Upkeep is listed in the left side unit cards in the city view. Where? Where? Upkeep is listed on left side unit card. Where is it? In city view, at least. Okay, I'm in the city. And then on the left side, unit cards in the city view. Is there an upkeep cost? Consumes wood, that's it. Oh! It is consuming wood. Oh no! That is awful! That is awful. That's bullshit. I got a free shit inside a lake. The fuck? So disbanding this does not get me anything other than reduces my- Oh my god, this is bullshit. Now, if I anchor it, does it cost me anything? It probably does. This is such bullshit. I think I have to disband this, otherwise I'm draining wood f for no reason. Oh, fuck. They gave me a dumb ship, and, the, and I, oh, I wasted five years on the dumb ship. I wasted five years on this dumb ship. I probably should have taken the other... Ugh. You know, when they, they said recommended, I should have taken the recommended. I don't know what I'm going to do with this dumb ship. It's free to move, though. Not really, but... I should probably disband it, right? This can build fort. No. Yeah, I think I should just abandon this. God. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Alright, well, that's fine. End of the year. That is so awful. Alright, a letter arrives by courier from Princess Astamel in the Academy. The Queen Shana the Good. My tutors ordered me to write this letter to you. I have little time for you, but this must be done. Signed. What does the letter say? What? 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 What happened? She wrote a letter. Why did she write a letter and then? I mean, the only consequence is she gains forty exp's. Right. That's it. Hmm. Bizarre. Alright, that was bizarre.
Um, enables apprentice officer spawn points for melee units. Okay, I don't know what this does for me. Oh, it gains training per year, but it also drains iron. Plus experience per year for melee units. Spawn units enables. Okay, yeah. All right, well, that's fine. I don't need that. All right, so now I have a warrior. And I consolidate. I'll use my war warrior for early combat. Uh, can I consolidate my warrior and my range together? I don't know. I don't think I can, though, right? I don't know. Can I consolidate them? Let's go ahead and attack these guys. Oh, I can't cross this, huh? Requires... Oh, so bullshit. So bullshit. Oh, I got the water. Oh, because that's on the water. Uh, as a scholar-type leader, you can very efficiently educate your children and select your leader and use as the tutor mission. Okay, let's do that. Is there a tutor mission? Tutor a child as a leader. A mission is already active to influence somebody. Okay, alright, I have a mission. Okay, that's fine. How am I going to cross that to attack those guys? Yeah, this is so terrible. The Gauls are my friends. I can't attack the Dane. I have no boat on the water. Can the boat cut through this? I don't know. This is a river, right? It's a river. Maybe I can build a boat here. No, I cannot. Shit. I have to be adjacent to the thing. I think I have to be adjacent to the water. No. Apparently this can make a boat. That's on the west coast of the actual sea. This guy? Oh, I guess I can. Yeah, he can. Oh, all right. Build a boat here. And cancel this project here. Man, this is going to take eight years to build a boat. Holy shit. All right, that's fine. I'm going to leave them there. There's no reason to move them. But I want to cross this and kill them. Next unit. I'm going to leave them there. Replace general. Choose production. Okay, we're not building a boat over here, that's for sure. That was such a waste. Philosophy, right? Adds festivity. Wait, does it cost me or does that? I'm trying to understand if it costs me anything. It costs me only stones. But I gained philosophy? Am I understanding that correctly? Correctly? On completion, I get... I get that. On completion, I get philosophy. Yeah, let's do that then. What else? Which one are you? You're the worker, right? Get weird. I'm gonna add a road. Oh, wait, wait, what's buy tiles? What? It will weigh our tile. Uh, opinion for 40 years. Gave us tiles. Uh, 
opinion for, for 20 years. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Col colonized tile for 30 coins in the El Kuru. Wait, gave away our tile. I'm not giving away tiles though, right? That's weird. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know what that does. Why? It, if they gave us tiles, shouldn't we be gaining tiles? So they should be happy, right? Give us a tile. Gave away our tile. We're not giving away, right? Oh, oh, we're giving them a tile. That's why they're happy. We gave away our tile. Our people are minus 40. Colonize the tile for the other city. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Let's add a row then. All right, who else? That guy. All right, let's go ahead and end this then. Okay, the health of the king consort uh, Amiro, your husband, has begun to decline. He is now ill. Oh no. Shit. 20% chance death per year. Oh no. 60% chance of removing ill. Okay, 60% chance per year to removing the ill. 20% chance of becoming severely ill. Oh no. That's bad. You have successfully exerted your influence upon Princess Astamal. I, okay, my influence. Hang on, influence. Plus 40. The opinion, she's upset with me, right? Influence by the queen is your heir and disappointed with you. So I'm at a total of minus... Okay, so yeah, my net is minus 20. But I need to get more influence on her. Has begun the construction of the Oracle. God, this other faction is just doing all sorts of construction here. Young nobles of the Irajet family are pleased with your decision to explore the wider world. They are certain the nation will reap the benefits of years to come. However... Such expeditions are costly. Perhaps the era jet will be willing to contribute resources to this noble cause. Okay. I am pleased they foresee a bright future. Increase their opinions. We must share the burden of disco discovery. Oh, we either we lose money or gain money. But if we lose money, we have better opinions. Okay. So how so everyone in that family will be happy with me. Because their current the current family is kind of neutral or not happy, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and and give them money to increase the opinion. There you go. All right. Wait, opinion of exploration. Oh, it didn't change. What what what, is, what was that opinion of exploration? What the hell? Where does that reflect? Oh, their opinion of the particular um, law. Got it, got it, got it. They have specific opinions of certain things. All right, I don't know how that affects anything. How much money do I have? Or law icons civics 
Lost, right? I can't buy any of this. I can't buy any of this. What does this do? Giro opinion. Don't know what this does. Sure, whatever. Go with the next unit here. Alright, this guy is available, right? It's at a road. Alright, who else? Yeah, as long as you have that law selected, the displayed opinion modifiers will be active. Wait, can I choose something else? I can only choose one law. Okay, what is this modifier? Are they just happy? I don't know if it's till next year or something. Well, it's fine. Whatever. Moving on. What does this guy do? He wants to build a farm out there, right? Or gain gain this per year. Abel's apprentice. All right. Well, let's do that then. Fine. Sure. What else? Who else? That guy is going to be there for a while. That guy is going to be there for a while. Hmm. I need a boat. Jesus Christ. This is taking forever. Holy shit. Okay, that's fine. Next unit. Next unit. Next unit. All right, let's continue. Okay, King Consort of the... Oh, he died! No, he died! That's bad. He's the one that was governing our shit. Has converted to the paganism religion, sure. Okay, people are still taking about the last great hunt you held. It was a smashing success. I truly inspired your people by hunt finish. Giving your generals the opportunity to hone their tactics. Demonstrating that great things are possible. Queen gets experience. Giving you as, uh, a much needed break from the day to uh, enjoy a day-to-day -day rigorous ruling which allows you to view your realm through your fresh eyes. So what does experience do for me? I have no idea what the experience thing is. Like, my, my experience is 48 out of 100. Does that just mean I age, or do I level up and get something? I should probably just get experience, right? Okay. Choose a new governor. Yes, let's choose a new governor. Ooh, somebody can give us money. And somebody can give us the civic resource. Or I increase my research faster. Let's go with research faster. Yeah, leveling up will improve their stats or give them other positive traits. Ah. So 20, 12 more and I get level up. Okay. Okay. Eight more years till I get a boat. <laughs> oh boy. An apprentice Acolyte. All right, who do I want? Um, what does this one do? Farmer specialist. What does this one do? A cutter specialist. Yeah, let's have a cutter specialist. Oh, look at that, a miner specialist. 
Acolyte specialist. Farmer specialist. Okay. Close. Next unit. This worker. What is this worker going to do? Build a shrine. Oh, I think I need more stones, right? Recommended quarry. Okay, yeah, let's go over here. And build a quarry. Right, next unit. You're building a road, right? You're building a road. Right, next unit. You're gonna stay there. You're gonna stay there. Okay, you're done. Check. You don't actually need a boat, by the way. The green landowner's family special ability will let you buy tiles across the gap using gold. Oh. Let's see here. Let's... Okay, who? Who lets me do that? The green land owner. Oh, whoa, whoa. What did I just... What, what did I just click on? Standing out even amongst the famed archers of the Kush, Princess Asimov has proven herself an expert marksman in the training fields, matching even the most experienced hunters shot for shot. Praising the gods for the sign of their favor, your advisors seek to use this prestigious talent to bring glory to the Kush. How will you encourage this talented archer? As she's a, tactician, a, a tactic student, right? Send Princess Asima to get experience with scouting parties. Uh, vision range, no. Gain s singer, slinger in the Miru, and she gets 20 XP. Minus wood acquires recurve bow. As a general, she gets plus one, and plus one something. Courage, I think that's courage, right? Courage. So I get training. Huh. Recurve bow. What does recurve bow? Oh, okay. She gets an item. Oh, she gets an item. And then she gets increased range attack. Oh. If she's a general. Oh. She's a general. She. Okay. Or she gets a general to reveal vision and and plus reveals, right? All units gets the vision. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to make her a general. So everyone has more range. Hang on. Why is it not shift clicking? What is this? Doesn't tell me what that is. As a general, plus one. I'm guessing it's is either plus one mark or plus one range. What is that plus one circle target thing? Or additional target. Distance for range attack. Okay, there you go. Distance for range attack. And distance for range attack. All right, I'm gonna go with the sat the the one that gives the distance, right? Yeah, let's go with this one. Okay, now that she's completed her studies of tactics, how shall she contribute to the court? What role best suits the Asima chick? Commander, a disciplined battlefield leader, or a tactician? Can serve as a general or ambassador. As a general, gain 20% damage if the same unit, if same unit adjacent as general, 100% if flanking. As a leader, uh, idle units gain, uh, okay, as, as a leader, gain experience per year for idle units. Uh, infantry units gain additional, uh, I guess, protection? Okay. And then she just basically gives us money per year. And training per year. Now, as a tactician, she gets gives us money per year and also science per year. As a leader, gives vision range and range units hidden in friendly or neutral trees. As a general, if leader, 
stuns target for one turn. But she's not the leader, though, right? I'm the leader. I'm pretty sure I'm the leader. So that means as general, if leader, she's not the leader, so she can't get the stun. As general, counterattacks during a melee. Interesting. Dur uh, during melee. She's not doing melee. As leader. Okay, I'm not a leader. So, huh. I think it's this. Hang on, the second option, right? No, the first option. As a general, she gets extra damage if the same unit is adjacent. She may very well be a leader eventually. She's your heir, and you won't live forever. Oh. I see. As general, if leader, 100% damage if flanking. Um... As leader, minus 20% damage, but stuns target for one turn. Counterattacks during melee. As leader, vision range and range units. Hidden it, hidden in friendly or neutral trees. Interesting. I think I might want the second one because it's just basically a global science. Yeah, but the thing is, she's got a bow that makes... Let's go with this one, though. But I think she's also got a bow that helps if she's a general for for range units. Even as a child, your daughter, Princess Asamel, possessed a faraway play gaze and a desire to explore the world. So it's no surprise that when she asks your permission to join the scouting mission, your hope that Princess Alma will always remember your par parting words. The world is beautiful and full of wonders. I don't want her becoming an exploring thingy. Cannot be governor, general, or council. Cannot be part of exploring events. Can, can only be part of events. No. Uh, becomes exploring. Scout our enemies and report back to me. Okay. Uh, becomes exploring or missing next year. Oh. She becomes a tracker. As a general, she'll gain vision and reveal. Strength requires not Queen Shauna is weak. Okay, well. Becomes loyal or bitter next year. Oh, that's rant. Oh. Okay, well, this is a 50-50, right? Exploring or missing next year. That might be bad. But if she becomes exploring. She becomes a tracker. As a general, she'll gain vision and reveal. As a leader, she'll, all units will get vision. Okay. She'll return from ex expedition eventually. Unless something tragic happens. Okay. Well, alright. Well, she becomes exploring. Gain 20 EXP per year. Cannot be governor or on council. Can only be part of exploring events. Exploring characters will experience unique events while discovering the world around them. I don't know if that's a good idea. I want her to be a general. She's got, like, these abilities. Alright, well... Scout our enemies and come back to me. Time passes quickly. Duke... Arkla Tartan. Exploration is actually pretty good. Okay, we'll have to think about that next time. Uh... Is growing up fast and eager to learn. How would you like to educate the... Akar Rakhlathan, this dude. Ak, right? We'll call him Ak. He will study politics. Becomes a politics student, right? Scholar, diplomat, tactician. Commerce. Discipline makes me money. This guy gives me civics. So you know what I want? I think I need more civic stuff. Let's go with this. All right. Game's kind of interesting, yeah. It's a lot of RPG choices going on here. Managing your family. Add a road? It's not going to ruin anything, is it? All 
All right, next unit. Scholar learns uh, the leaders actually have additional synergies with exploration. Okay. Well, this guy is... So this guy is parked here. He should be gaining experience, right? Just being parked there. Did the chick... Did my, my daughter... Okay. Is she available? You know, let's change this. Can I change this? Replace the general. Oh, hey, I can replace her with this chick. Counter attack during melee vision, plus three vision, plus one reveal. Right. Hang on. Marksman, right? That's that's an extra range. She's currently upset. So I get okay. She's currently upset with me, so that means my damage is five percent less. Oh, the current general is actually plus twenty eight percent. Counter-attack during melees, but at extra visions. She'll be heading out for the expedition next year. Oh, so she won't be able to... So don't assign her for general now. Got it, got it, got it. I mean, my current guy is actually really good. What is this one? If I assign that guy, I get plus EXP per year, right? Yeah, let's do that. We'll give him plus EXP per year. That gives them plus EXP per year. Okay, alright. We'll do that. Uh, this group here. Let's add a general. Counterattacks during melee. Counterattacks during melee. Extra damage. Plus six per six EXPs. Oh, let's assign this guy. Okay, let's go with that. Alright, my next unit. Who's my next unit? Oh, you said something about buying tiles. How do I... How do I buy the tiles? You were saying something about buying tiles. The green land owner family specialized ability will let you buy tiles across the gap using gold. So how do I buy tiles? Freeze, make shift, water coast, and clear. Or do I need to send a scout? Send a worker right outside the border of your northern green. And it will have the option to buy the tiles direct directly. Okay. I think he's available to move, right? Okay, send him to the... Uh, the order uh, send him to the borders of your your city oh they can't move what why, why can't they move what? oh because I added a general there okay Oh, be, oh, oh, right, 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 because it's fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. All right, that's fine. End year. End year. Rival's turn. Uh, Princess Asamal, your daughter, still feels fear, as does any sane woman, but she'll never let it stop. Uh, let will stop her. She gained courage, plus one. Okay. Uh, Princess Asamal, scouting has taken her father... Her further and further into the unknown, and she is now exploring. That's good, right? She's exploring, not missing. So she's not missing. The the oligarch, Ak Alakak, whatever the scholar, strides into your chambers late one evening for dress 
fluttering with each step. I've simply heard the best news. You are familiar with the El Ritaru. Well, the city has been growing like grass. And, uh, like grass. Jeez. Like wildfire? Like weed? <laughs> They're looking to expand their industries. I thought I'd clue you in and see if you want to invest in one of your our little, uh, little ventures. Um... Uh, as she lays out the details of the various operations you decided to support you've decided to support which operation well let's see here i get elephants ooh i get elephants ooh i get citrus ooh love the idea for game add game um the oligarch now holds favor from queen what does that mean? Now holds favor from Queen. I need to give her a favor? Or I need to give that guy, that, that scholar a favor. What the hell does game do? Without improvement, gain food per year and from camps. Uh, from camp, gain gain two people huh, at a time. Interesting. All right, so that one, I have to do a favor for that guy. That's the consequence. Or... I pay money, which I do have a lot of money, and I'll gain citrus. Or I lose an order, which is easy, because orders are nothing. I'll get an elephant. That is that is probably the cheapest, right? Money. Orders I can probably throw around. But which is better? What does citrus do? Without improvement, I get... Food per year. Grove requires land consolidation. From camps. I have... I don't know how to make camps yet. Elephants. From campus. Oh. Without improvement, I get money per year. And then I gain extra orders. I lose three now. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll do that one. I can use them to train war elephants. Alright, I'll take that one. I think that might be good. Having elephants is a good idea. The peace with the Gauls is not to everyone's liking. Oligarch Aminoridus of Mariro and the Setju have been particularly virulent in their disgust at the agreement. And convincing the other families that peace with the tribe shows you to be weak. In a speech before the court, the disgruntled oligarch asked for a war with the Gauls, demanding that their sites be used for Kush sites and cities instead. Gauls are currently at peace. Uh, very well then, it is war. The opinion of those people will be less. The opinion of our people will increase. Uh... And then the other person owes favor to the queen. Okay, well, we do want someone to owe favor to us. That might not be bad. Uh, all families are unhappy. Starts ambition. Form a tribal alliance with a tribe. And then demand her to stand down. What is this? Uh, is there a consequence to this? Oh, there we go. Uh, her opinion will will be minus 20 for 40 years. Okay. 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 For 40 years. Well, this guy... If I gain 40... I gain 40 from him. Uh, he won't be as mad, right? He or won't be as cautious. He also will gain... I mean, owes me a favor, right? 
Starts ambition, clear three tribal sites. Yes, let's do that. All right. We are now uh, at war and we have some ambitions. Sure. Okay, we're at war. Shauna is is you and the governor of Miru. Oh, okay. I leveled up, right? I think I leveled up. Yes, I did level up. So what do I want upgrade to? Wisdom. I get more science. Courage. Discipline. More money, right? I want more science, basically. Now, how do I increase the tile here? Replace, release. Let's move this over here. How do I add the tile? It doesn't give me that option. You could have used your lake war warship for this war with the southern Gauls. Oh, yeah, but it w I would have drained wood, though. That's the thing. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, my lake warship. Alright, well, hang on. Let's go ahead and make a settler after this. Maybe a lake warship. <laughs> Ten years. The Gauls. Alright, harvest, honey. Oh my goodness. What is this guy? He's a marauder. Oh. He is this. Alright, well, we can probably attack the other guy. Let's go this direction then. Oh, I can't spend the thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Next unit. Yeah, I don't... How do you... I can't... Like, how do you buy that tile you were talking about? He only has option to add roads. So, where where do I buy that tile across the river? Gotta be touching the border to buy the tile. You mean this border here? Touch which border? My border or his border? This border. By tile. Colonize tile for 30. Cool down one year. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, so if I have the... If, okay, so if I... Oh, okay, so if I own the water tile, they can cross it for free. Is that what I get? I'm understanding? Uh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. I think that's what I understand. Worker. Yes. Okay. So if the water tiles is in my border. I cross it for free without any. Any. Anything. That's fine. Next year, tile and cross the water gap. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I get it. All right. This guy. Add road. And then. This guy. What is that? Shrine? Oh. Is that farm? How do I get a lumber camp? I was reading about a lumber camp. It kept talking about a lumber camp earlier. Is that something I can buy? Or build? The 
said something about Lumber Camp. I should have gotten the Phalanx, guys. I really screwed up, but whatever. Yeah, Lumber Mills require a mid-game tech forestry. Ah, oh, right, right, forestry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta go over here. Right, right, right. Forestry. That's right, that's right. That guy is... Cutting trees down. Hmm. Alright, we're going to end the year. Oh, tales from the Asamel. Fantastic journeys have reached the capital. Thrilling the people of Miro, the stories of tattooed warriors and black teeth imps. The most terrifying tale comes from a small island where a tribe of the hairy and savage men threatened to overturn uh, Asamel's boats. Truly, these tales are too incredible to be believed. Order Asamel home immediately. No longer exploring, but she'll lose science. She becomes superstitious. We don't want that. Um, lose two... Allow Asamel to continue exploring, lose money, she gains 20 experience points, becomes foolish. As governor, she loses science. As leader, she loses science of all 10%. Oh my god, it's even worse. Okay, um, I gain science, right? Green Shana, the good, plus one wisdom. Uh, global science is increased. Miro's 14% science requires uh, Shauna to be inquisitive. I am inquisitive, so I guess I will take that one, actually. Nice. That's good for me. I get science. Recently, you've been thinking about improving relations uh, with Queen... Queen something of the Dane, right? I think that's the Dane. Queen uh, Weberorg of the Dane, who knows, who knows what benefits such a friendship could bring. An influence mission could help you accomplish accomplish this goal. Shall you set out to influence Queen Weberorg and thereby improve her, her opinion of you? I see some profits in improving relations with Queen Weberorg. Queen Shana the Good starts mission influence uh, Queen Weberorg and it's free. I'm too busy for that. You know what? Let's do that. It's free, right? There's no other cost. Only scholar leaders can pick the third option, right? So I got the third option, which is great. So I guess free. There's no negative consequences, right? Right? Uh, what what is my benefits? Science feels good, man. Only scholar. Yeah, science feels good. I need science. I need to upgrade my technology. Cost. Uh, a mission is active. Influencing her. Two years. Okay, what does influencing her do? It's already active. What is the influence? How do I know what is my... What is active? I mean, I already know from the... From the thing that we just did, but what, where do I find that influence? Oh, okay, so uh, the influence mission will complete in two years and give you a permanent plus 20 bonus. Okay, okay. So, how do I find all my list of influence missions or missions? Where are all my missions? Where's the missions? Oh, yeah, it, it doesn't say where my missions are. Influence. Time to complete. Two years. Oh, okay. The star right there says influence. Time to complete. Two years. And, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Fine.
close. Okay, that is my current mission right now. Got it. Alright, that's fine. I can see it now. It's right here. What is this? Oh yeah, I'm governing something, right? I'm a scholar, right? I'm a scholar. Plus opinion of engineering, minus opinion of zealot characters, plus opinion of scholars, included in thoughtful, inquisitive, peaceful. Oh, okay. Notable characters. Okay, yeah. Governor unlocks inquiries. All right, well, I'm gaining more science points now, right? That means I should be able to get stuff faster. Next unit. All right, let's go one more tile. Buy the tile. Yes, okay. Oh, does that mean I can cross that? Well, I can't cross this for some reason. Why wouldn't it let me cross this one? Interesting. But I can cross that one. Why didn't it go this direction? It just chose to go the other direction. I guess I have to buy another one, maybe? I don't know. That's bizarre. The boat's almost done. I need a settler to settle this over here, right? Next year. What's my victory conditions? Or conditions? 3 out of 10. My ambitions. Oh, if I can complete 7 more ambitions, I win. I win in 7 more ambitions. I need to kill 10 people. I gotta clear out the Gawus, which is not... Which is all part of this ambition, right? Next. Next unit. Um, yeah, why don't you go over here and chop some, clear some trees. Next unit. I think we got roads, right? Or does it have roads? Does it need roads? It probably has roads. Oh, hey, look, there's an elephant here. What can I do with this elephant? Enables trappers. Requires camels, elephants. Okay, enables trappers. Plus two for adjacent lumber mill. 0.5 output from the elephants. Right, we will gain. Yes, what about what, what this? Requires. Requires the elephant. Requires the elephants. Removes the elephant. Sorry, removes the elephants. All right, let's take this one then. All right, next unit. And then we're going to try to attack some people over here, right? This guy needs to get the hell out, right? What is this? Can I harvest? I don't know if I can harvest that. Oh, I can harvest that for money. Oh, okay, I harvest that for money. Yeah, all right. Fine, next unit. Yeah, I wish I had... Um... Wish I had that boat so I can attack these guys. That would be really nice. Next unit. Next unit. No, next unit. Huh. Interesting. Like in here. Well, how do I want to do this? Okay, I want to go here, right? Expand the territory. Or no, maybe I should expand this territory. Hills, lush trees, scrubs, range. What is this one? Urban flat? Road. No. Do I get penalized for expanding the territory? Like, 
Is there a territory maintenance cost? That's the other question. Does anyone know if I, if I expand that territory, there's going to be a maintenance cost? Hmm. I'm just going to leave it. Let's go ahead and end this. Okay. Princess Asamel, your daughter, your heir, is known to hold a willful disregard for the gods. Uh, okay. How impetus. Impetus trait. Okay, we lose civil per turn. Religious opinion as a leader, okay. She has minus 40 religious opinions. Chance of becoming religion head, minus 20% chance. Minus opinion of highest characters, plus 10 opinions of impetus characters, uh, noble characters. Uh oh, okay. That's bad, right? Jesus Christ. All right, well, this guy, they recommend this one, right? I don't want that one. It's like three years, though. Wow, well, three years of freebie. Firmly trashed when discarded. Do I want that? I mean, that's a... I'll lose that if I don't take it, right? I don't know, though. Four years. Ten per year on completion with a hundred. Ten per year unlocks treasury projects. I get more money if I... If I go with that, I get more money, right? Unlocks random improvements. Consumptions per year. Oh, but that consumed wood per year. What about this one? Unlocks pasture improvements. Pasture enables rancher plus 10% for adjacent farms. Uh, leads to boost food and spooked wheel. Uh, I don't know. What does this do here? Lost pasture improvements. Pasture enables rancher. Um, plus 10 per 40 percent for adjacent farms. Horses, cattle, sheep, pigs, goats. Does rancher get me those, or do I have to be on a tile to get that? But according to this, it wants me... It says it's recommended. I don't know. It says it's recommended. I don't know. But this... 800 points is quite a lot. Firmly trashed when discarded. So if I don't, if I don't take that now, I lose that, right? The freebie card, sort of. It's like a massive boost, basically. So three years, I get a massive training boost. I guess I'll take it. Uh, this mentorship will be good for Arthaha. Okay. Reports of Artha's recent exploits at the Academy reach your ears. It seems a renowned philosopher has taken liking to Artha, Arthaha and has been giving her private lessons. Should we bring this philosopher to court? Uh, mentorship will be good for Ar Artha. She becomes intelligent, inspiring, elegant, or insane next year. Or insane. Or I get a new court scholar. Interesting. Well, if we bring the guy to the court, that doesn't do anything, right? It basically just offers an additional person here to choose from. Hmm. 
I don't know. It's like a 25% chance of losing something. 25% chance would be a, of a negative, right? Or we lose money and we gain somebody. Yeah, sure, why not? A new court scholar uh, has joined us. Atie Sanz has joined the court. Her curiosity and insight will aid Kush in unraveling the mysteries of the world. Uh, so you welcome a scientist, right? Oh, nice. We have a new scientist. Oh, I think that boosts my overall thingy, right? I think that boosts my overall thingy. Yeah, let's take that. Well, we don't have a choice, right? I think this is a boost, right? Yeah, it's a boost. We get a boost. Yeah, 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 we do get a boost. We're like, yeah, 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 We next year we get a boost. Oh, yeah, we do get a boost. Okay, so I think this bottom row means next year we get a boost. Yeah, we do get a boost next year. Oh, hey, that's actually a good thing. All right, I'm okay with that. Oh, I get to upgrade her. What's our current staff? Hmm. We definitely want her to be smarter. Right? Hang on. Charisma. She gains civic. And this one, we, she gain, we gain more money, right? We'll gain more money if it goes up a notch. Or we get wisdom. Hmm, very interesting, interesting. Alright. I'm gonna go with the wisdom. I think that might be good. I don't know. But having that civil civics resource could be useful as well. I'm thinking here. Well, I want to gain more money, too. Gaining more money, though, is not bad. I think it's going to have to be science. Or the law, right? It's going to take a long time to get the law we want. But we also need science fast. Let's go with science. That's fine. More science. What's this do? Build nets. Ooh, what does nets do? Oh, 20 per year money. Culture. What is the... I think it's culture, right? What does culture do for us? And the city's culture bar fills up. Okay. Let's see here. Do we have a city culture bar? When this bar fills up, something happens. We get more literature or something, right? Right, okay. Okay, these green things is what it's contributing, right? So if I build a net... Hang on. Say again. When it fills up, a positive event occurs, and the city's overall culture level increases. The four culture levels are weakness, developing, strong, and legendary. Okay, culture level affects which improvements and wonders can be built in the city's territory. Okay, Re which requires least developing culture. Okay, yeah, let's 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 increase the culture. <laughs> yes. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. 
And then you, what's your deal? You're weak. Oh. You're weak. Okay. I think I need to start developing stuff on that city over there. Yeah, I need to develop something over there. Build farm? Food and money. Build a shrine. Alright, let's go with that one then. I, oh, he's not ready yet. Okay, okay, okay. Next unit. Which one? You're the worker over here, right? And this is mine. Do I need more mine? No, we do need a quarry, though. We do need a quarry. Quarry recommended. Yeah, okay, let's do this. That's fine. Next unit. Alright, so this guy over here, we're gonna start fighting some people. Next unit. Uh oh. Units can receive both upgrades and promotions. Upgrades convert a unit to a different type. For example, a warrior can be upgraded to an axeman. Promotions provide various combat buffs. Both promotions and upgrades cost training. Upgrades can only be performed inside the friendly territory while promotions can be done anywhere. Okay, got it. That's fine. So, let's get this guy over here. Choose a production. What is this? What is this? Farmer specialist. What is this? Acolyte specialist. Okay. What's this? Miner specialist. Okay. Farmer. Miner. Okay. Apprentice. Oh, let's get that going then. Yeah, it's fine. I'm okay with that. Next, okay, we're ending the year. All right, this this city over here is very underdeveloped. Got to worry about something there. You have, you have successfully exerted your influence upon Queen Weebyorg. Queen Weebyorg becomes influenced by the Queen Shana, the Good. Now that the Dutch Duchess Aratha has completed her study of philosophy, how shall she contribute to the court? What role best suits Artha? Zelot. Okay. The queen doesn't like Zelots, though. That's a thing. Can serve as a general or a chancellor. As general, units cannot die with more than one hit point. Oh, okay. As leader, general leader, enlist chance to kills. Okay. As a leader, opinion of the leader's religion, plus 60 opinion for leaders, religion, state... Uh, religion cities can hurry production, sure, but science is reduced. Tactician. Science is increased. And money. Let's go with this one. Okay. Always a searcher, your daughter, Dutch Duchess Artha, expresses an interest in the beliefs of the cushy paganism. She has hosted philosophers and holy men at the palace, seeking instructions in her faith. Privately, Duchess Artha asks if you believe she has been called. What the hell is called? The church only wishes to control you. 25% chance, uh, 25 chance to become duboshed? What the hell is duboshed? Duboshed. As governor, everyone's upset. Minus opinions. Oh my god. Okay, we don't want her to be duboshed. Yes, you've been chosen by the gods. Become blessed, inspiring, Pisces, ascetic, ascetic, whatever. What these are specific religion traits, right? Governor of the state, happiness. Oh, okay. Ooh, science. Okay. Culture. Okay. All right. Let's go with that. Be blessed. Wait, wait. What is this one? Happiness is guaranteed. Happiness, right? As governor. Religious uh, uh, state spread chance. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's go with the last one. Yeah, let's go with the last one. Okay, sounds good. So now we we assign a governor. This already has a governor. And 
uh, must not be of a different family than Yam. Requires garrison, stronghold, or citadel. Uh, okay. I don't have a... I need a garrison. Okay. Alright, I need a garrison over there. Next unit. I want to build that shrine, right? Yeah, the shrine. Wait, do I not have the resources? Oh, I need stones. I need stones. Buy the tile. Okay. Ah, he's already moved. Next unit. Goals. I think that's it, right? Five years till I get another settler. Jesus. I gotta start killing some people. Take over some tribes. Uh, Duke Akarathan, your son has converted to the Kush or the paganism, right? Paganism. Okay. So you can hold alt while constructing buildings to automatically buy the missing materials with gold. You can hold alt while construct constructing buildings to automatically buy the missing materials with gold. Oh. Let's see here. Oh, I see. I see. Minus one fifty five. Yeah, I guess I can do minus 155. There you go. All right, that helps me. Nice. That's a very good tip. So five years to build a shrine. I get a boat over here with these guys. Okay. How, how are you guys? Are you happy with me? I don't know if you're happy with me. She's cautious. Planning to annex our land. Nine years. Oh no. Minus 18. Uh, okay. Okay. Next unit. Right, we're gonna attack you. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, we're just going to slaughter these guys. Where are you? All right, we're going to get you over here to help uh, increase the this land over here. What can I do here? Farm? Build a farm. This is clear land, right? Clear land. Build a mine? Do I need farming or do I do I want a quarry? Quarry, yeah, let's do the quarry. Recommended. Alright, so that should help me. Next end of the year. Yep, end of the year. Alright, you guys are dead. Uh Duchess Kinesia is now old enough to be tutored. Okay. So we got we got lots of training. I think we want archery. Go with archery since that's actually suggested. Oh, what's this? Asked to declare war. Walls. We don't need walls though, right? Plus one. If family member uh, unit in city uh, leads to molt. Um, Cost. Hamlet. Assumes. Food, plus adjacent Odin Bath class improvements, develops into villages in 20 years. Oh. Plus 10 if on trade network. Oh. 
I don't know. According to this, I need archery, right? That's 10 years, but this is three years. I'd rather do three years and just this base basically 13 years. Oh, wait, I can't choose that because of the... I can't... It's not guaranteed that I'll get that because I'll have to do the re-rolls. You know what? I'll take the three years. That's fine. Teacher of the Academy has taken an acute interest in Duke Aklarhothren. The teacher speaks... In the most eloquent and de uh, deceptive style, clouding the minds of everyone around them, questions and suggestions. Uh, Keithilis confines to you that his teach that this teacher leads this his students like lambs to the slaughter, and you should not be allowed to influence Duke Akarthan. Okay, it is the purpose of politics to teach pers uh, persuasion. We must not uh, we must not let impressionable minds falter. Duke uh, becomes eloquent, debauched, or schemer next year. Comes disappointed with the queen. Uh, starts conspiring with the queen. Oh. But somebody gets disappointed with me. Somebody's going to be disappointed with me. One way or the other. I can't be charming. Requires charming. I'm not charming. Oh, damn. How do I become charming? I can't become charming overnight, huh? Shit. The last option is not bad, because he gets intelligent. He gets that science. Oh, my God. I want that one, right? I want the last one. Ugh, how do I get that last one? Is the Duke currently upset with me already? What, what is his deal? He's still cautious with me. So he's going to be disappointed. Disappointed is like minus 30 or something, right? Pretty sure disappointed is minus 30. Because somebody's already disappointed with me. Yeah. Oh, minus 80. Oh, my God. Disappointed is minus 80. Mouse over the charming keyword. Ugh. Must be diplomat, cunning, affable, elegant, or witty. Can't. Can I become a diplomat overnight? I don't think I can become a diplomat overnight. No. <laughs> oh, no. I can't become a diplomat overnight. Oh, these are events. Even God must die, cutting through the hills of a far-off land. Princess Asimov comes across... The broken statue of a deity lost in the winds of time. Asma feels strong. It feels a strong pull to this ancient god, riding a length of the pensive face with bright eyes and po uh, polished green stones. Sure. Uh, send your finest workers to bring Asma and the statue back to the Kush. No longer exploring. And then we gain... We gain the culture. Encourage Asma to stay and study the statue for longer. She becomes a poetess, artist, and slothful. Or slothful next year. That's bad, right? That sounds bad. Governor minus 20 as leader of all cities minus... Uh, yes. Uh, opinion, uh, let's see here. Okay, hmm. Well, do I want to bring her back and get the culture? Or I give her some new traits that later might help her. The exclusive final options are often most beneficial. Okay. 
Uh, she loses charisma. Uh, Miro gains Jade. What is Jade as luxury? Oh. Requ uh, requires Queen is devout. Requires not devout. Okay, so she'll lose charismatic. I guess that's fine, right? She'll lose charismatic. Oh, she's, she doesn't even have charismatic to begin with. That might be bad, right? So she's basically going to be charismatic. And our global civic will go down. Oh, we actually have plus 44. I can probably afford the minus 1.5. Because gaining jade for our city is a good deal, right? That's a luxury item. I think we'll go with that. Gain a luxury for our city. Time passes quickly. Dutch blah blah blah. Kinesa is growing up fast and eager to learn. How would you like to educate her? Wait, what was, what was the other option? This guy, right? It is the purpose of politics to teach persuasion. We must not uh, let impressionable minds falter. Yeah. Inspiring. Hey, Mad Raving Man. Inspiring gets me a hundred increase, but this guy is going to go minus 80. And so it's kind of a net 20. This is the opinion is going to be worse, right? So. Maybe I should go with the top. Sorry, the bottom. Inspiring. Inspiring gains 100. For the exchange of minus 80. Versus this. I lose 80 on that dude. What about... What's his deal? He's already cautious. I think getting, gaining 100 might be good, right? Let's go with the gain 100. Screw the other guy. Okay, and then what is this? I will study philosophy, gain science. Cur courage, no. Gaining money. Comes exploring. Cannot be a governor or general. Cannot be part of exploring events. Can only be part of exploring events. Interesting. We want more science for our city. Or more training for our city or we let it we let this guy go out or we get more money right i think this is more money huh science money Training or exploring, which will have a lots of events. I mean, we don't need any more governors or whatever the hell, right? But having more money might not be bad. Extra eight coins. Or more science, and we move our, our science along faster. Let's get more science. That's fine. I'm okay with that. What is this? We want to add a lighthouse. Oh my god. All that is expensive. Holy shit. How are these other factions able to do these wonders? Jesus Christ. We need to start getting more stones. All right, well, let's go. What is this? Quarry, right? Quarry. Barracks. Let's go ahead and get more stones. 
Definitely need more stones. And then this dude over here. Ugh, that guy's dead. Oh, he's a ranged unit. Oh, he's already used up his moves. Alright, so we've killed one unit. That's fine. And what do you want to do here? What is this? Specialist? Oh, citizens. Oh, we don't have citizens. Oh, we don't have citizens. Axeman. Sure, let's train an Axeman. End of the year? Yeah, it's end of the year. Oh, oh, oh. I found, uh, I got a achievement. Hashed, or something, Zoro founded in Kush Timbos. Where the hell is that? Born from the ancient fire cults, Zoro Sarvanism has taken hold in Timbos. The teaching of the prophet Zoro Aster have been passed down from generations and are now becoming a regular part of life. Oh no, we got another religion here. Asked to learn more about their ways. Refuse to bow to religious demands. Minus opinion to you. Okay. Sure, let's... let's... So ask them. Your nation's stockpile of training has reached 2,000. This is the maximum amount of training that can be stored with any excess being automatically converted to orders at the rate of 101. To leverage your training into a strong military, consider using it to appoint new generals and upgrade military units with new promotions. You can also buy orders with training at any time to click. Oh, okay. That's fine. All right. Can I do promotions? Wait, your general and pathfinder, Amedris, has discovered a hidden route to the local lands that could allow your forces to surprise the enemy with flanking maneuver to trap and completely uh, rout them. However, the path is treacherous and it would take some time to move all of your warriors. You order your troops to march this route. Take them by surprise. Skirmishers die. Slinger gets... We can't risk it. Slinger gets plus, plus 40? Um, and the other dude gets 40. The, the general gets 40. Or I do the orders and the other guy dies, right? Or I get experience points. I'm going to take the experience points. Try again next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. E.g. tutoring, which is important for ensuring that your children have good stats by the time they grow up. On the bottom left, there's a growing, glowing exclamation mark icon that informs you about eligible character's mission. Tutoring. Oh. Duke something can be tutored. Oh, okay. I need to tutor somebody. Oh, okay, okay. Let's let's tutor this guy. Wait, what what just happened? Right click to dismiss reminder. Okay. Tutor uh okay, hang on. Tutor child as leader. Um tribal marriage. What the hell? Ooh. Okay, how do I assign them a separate tutor and also do a separate mission? Hmm. Hmm. 
Wait, hang on. Which one needs the tutoring? Aka something? Akaren, right? Akaren. Alright. This guy. Okay. okay. Hang on. Can I right click? Right click to show potential missions. Right click. Uh, tutor child as courtier. Okay. Tutor VA queen. Influence VA queen. What does this do? Influence VA queen. Wait, what? Let's see here. Left click on the tutor notification will select the child. Wait, hang on. Right click to show potential missions. Okay, I did that. Uh, tutor child. Improve wisdom. Years to complete is three. It requires uh, the scientist having no jobs. Child at least 10 years. Hang on. He gets wisdom, right? Oh, okay. He gets wisdom. Oh, it doesn't matter. They're all the same, really. Sure. Bottom left, exclamation mark, tutoring available, select tutor. Bottom left, exclamation mark. Tutoring available, okay, can be tutored. Right click to dismiss reminder. Okay. Tutor. Okay, it's the same thing. All right, that's fine. It's they both look the same, right? Fourteen percent from like improvements. Wisdom plus eighteen percent. Plus eighteen percent from wisdom. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go with this one then. Okay. What else? Uh, it's. I thought I clicked on it. I, I clicked on it. Doesn't this go away? <laughs> Odd. It's already active. All right, I think that's it, right? It didn't go away, so I don't know what's going on with that. Luxury is available to be sent to tribe members or city. Okay, let's go with this one. Oh, okay. Manage tribes. Um, scholar leader has bonus ability. To tutor their children in addition to court tutors. Uh, okay. All right, let's go. Let's see what her deal is. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, this chick gets more... Going the bottom gets more, right? There. Aha! Okay, that helps. And now luxuries are available to be sent to a, a tribe. Okay, let's do the luxuries. Who do I want to send this to? Somebody's discontent per year, right? What is... What is this? I don't understand why it says discontent. For 23 years. Consumes scrolls currently available. Fair. 
send Jade to somebody. Okay, these guys are pleased. Those guys are upset. So if I send it to that, I get discontent per year? I'm trying to understand what this discontent number means. If I send it, they'll get discontent? I have no idea what this means. It shows the current status of the city. Okay, so if I send it, I'll get the improvement listed above, right? Benefit is shown on the tooltips. Okay. Two cultures plus two happiness. I mean, I should leave it to that, right? What else can I? What other items do I have? Okay, I have gems. Oh, okay, so they're happy now for 43 years. Okay, well, let's send it to these guys. Okay. All right. All right, well, that's fine. I, I think we should be fine, right? Yep, all right, so everything's fine. Next unit. We're gonna go out and destroy some people. We need to find some gold to the attack. Okay. Choose production. What do we want here for these guys? I guess we'll add a worker. Do we want to add a worker or do we want to add something else? Yeah, let's add a worker. That's fine. Next unit. Um, This guy here. We need stones, right? We need stones. Recommended. Recommended. Nine. Let's go with this one. Quarry. Alright, so fine. Oh, we're gonna need more... Iron ores, too. Okay, that's fine. Rival's turn. Okay. There is no easy day in the life of the Princess Asama, your daughter. She has gained plus one discipline. Nice. Uh, somebody has converted to the Zoroism. Okay, sure. Uh, Princess Asama will be a new passionate voice for the Kush... Kushasite ex exceptionalism? Whatever the hell. What is this? Uh, is Has unexpectedly returned to the capital for a short visit. She seems to... Weary from her travels, but is willing to continue exploring if the court desires it. Um, okay. If I choose this, she's no longer exploring. She's no longer a tactician. Gain Zealot. Okay. Can serve as a general counselor. Unit cannot die with extra hit points. Uh, plus 10 enlist chance on kill. What the hell's enlist chance on kill? Converts a rival unit to join your nation. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. 10% chance to enlist somebody. But that's only if she's a leader, though. As a leader, 60 opinion for the... Real, yeah, I don't care. Currently, she's giving us 0.7... Uh, re science, right? We lose science. What's my next choice? She's no longer exploring, becomes brave as general. She gains m melee units as leader. She gains d more damage. She should continue exploring. Ah. I wonder if I should just let her keep exploring. She'll get more XP XPs, right? Interesting. As a general, 
Weakness, courage. She's currently... Okay. We don't want to lose science. She's not a leader yet. Increase fatigue limit. Oh, but she'll lose science and we'll lose money. I don't want to lose money per turn. Um, I'm thinking here. Okay, let's see here. Plus damage, right? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's plug in here. Yeah, that might be better, right? Because then she can increase damage. Okay, so now this Duke has completed studies of politics. How shall we contribute to this court? Okay, so he can get us money and civic for a minute, or he can get us science. Huh. You know what? I'll, I'll take money and, and civics. Yeah, that's fine. Um, um oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, undo, undo, undo. Accidental. There you go. Okay, there we go. And I need to upgrade, right? I need to spend my... my thing. Remote. Remote combat? Okay. All right, the devs for Against the Storm just gave me some information. They said that the warehouse view is not going to get fixed until October 12th. Kind of disappointed with that. Kind of disappointed with that. Versus melee unit. Extra damage. Just extra damage in general, right? Versus infantry, versus melee. Just extra damage in general? I think there's... Extra damage in general, right? Strike. Versus... Extra damage. Wait, what is that? Attack and defense strength. What the hell is the difference? Attack strength. So why would I go... Wait, wait a minute. Oh, okay, one is against melee, specifically. But this is generic. Why? Why would I not take strike? Why would I not take strike? It's generic. Oh, oh no, it's damage and defense against melee. Right, right, right. One is generic to everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, I think I got that. I got it, I got it. What's, what's infantry? Okay, okay, that's fine. I'm playing in here. Let's do... Let's do everything in general. How's that? I need to spend more... More points, though. He's already... Okay, yeah, he's already been promoted. I can't promote the second time. Alright, I can't move. Okay, that's fine. I need to spend my promotion right, or training. Otherwise, I lose it if I don't spend it, right? Yeah, I need to spend it. Can I get to that? Force, force march, right? Wait, what does this say? Cancel action queue. What? 
Hang on. Oh, wait. Oh, I can promote the ship, huh? Why don't I just promote the ship, then? Um. Wait, okay. Across river, plus 50% land-water combat. Leads to marines. Plus 10% da if damage. Bloodthirsty if damage. Leads to focus. What is this top one? Speed? Uh, crit hits deals damage. Okay, alright. Crit hit chance. Across river. Or land slash water combat. Alright, sure. I'll take that one. Dibius. Okay, that's fine. Let's go with that. Promoting the boat feels good. <laughs> yeah, promoting the boat feels better. Hmm. Uh, let's see, or the Oracle com uh, completed. Oh no, they're ahead of us. Okay, is now head of the Zoroism. Their opinion of you has gone from cautious to upset. Oh no, that sounds bad. I'm now the strong. Tutorial, nation contact. You've encountered a rival nation. Rival nations are your primary opponents in the old world. You may engage them diplomatically, which could lead to gaining powerful uh, trade partners and allies or declare war on them to conquer their ter territories. You decide which nations are worthy of becoming your allies and which ones sh should simply be conquered. At some difficulty levels, other nations begin making already established with a number of cities, units, and improvements. If you hover over the mouse, if you hold the mouse over the Hades name in the leaderboard at the top left of the screen, you can find out important information about them, such as the number of cities they have, how strong their military is, how developed they are technologically, and also to whom uh, they are currently at war or peace with. To conduct diplomacy, you must appoint an ambassador who requires aristocracy. Arist aristocracy? Arist Aristocracy, no. Aristocracy. Pol Polos discovered. Phalanx. Ooh, we get archery again. Last time they recommend me this. They still recommend me this. Spearmans, right? Free archer and manor. Oh no. I'm thinking this one, right? But our our tribe is actually or sorry, our city or faction is better at range. Cause that's why they gave us the slinger. But I don't see that on this list. Um, let's see here. Plus EXP year for range units. Spawn point for range units. Enable princess officer. 20%. Okay, that's the range building I can build. Upgrades from sl uh, slinger. Upgrades to long bow. Okay. Anti-mounted pierce warrior. Pole arms can fortify. It's telling me I need this, but I feel like I need this. I'm gonna go, I guess I'll go with this one since it's recommending me this. Okay, the neighbors of Kush write with reverence of their great warrior queens and Kondak, not just the mothers of kings, but mighty rulers in their own right, even at the young age. Uh, Duchess Kenesisa has taken inspiration from these leaders who have come before and and boldly states her ambition to rule Kush one day. Uh-oh. How will you encourage this young flame? Okay, show her the temple reliefs of queens smiting their enemies as an example to emulate. Becomes fierce. Leader. Okay, so these are positive things there. 
becomes uh, Del Delvier? What the hell is that? As governor of mines and quarries is Alp. Oh, that's not bad. Opinion of the. Okay. Um. Yeah, you know what? We'll we'll do the extra output. That might not be bad. Comes uh, governor of city state happiness. Oh, happiness, huh? State religion spread chance. Huh. Maybe it's good to have happiness. I don't know. Fifty percent output though is not bad. As a governor. That means I get reese the stones and mines faster. Or I make everybody happy. Interesting choices here. How important is it to make people happy? Let me see, what what is this? I also have stuff to choose, right? Hmm. All okay, all cities gain money per year for specialists, redemption opinions. Mines and queries, twenty percent output. Oh yeah, I think I like that one. I like that one. I only have 400, right? Yeah, I only have 400. I can only pick one. I only can pick one. Oh, this is really bad, huh? And buy tiles with money. Upkeep. Upkeep. I already can buy tiles with money, so this doesn't really matter to me. But the output is actually good. I'm gonna go with this one. Wait, 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 wait. Is there any negative consequences? No, right? Oh, all cities are gonna be upset with me by... Oh... Yeah, that might not be a good idea. Yeah, let's move on water. Colonies. Low money. Hmm. Do I want unhappiness per year isn't a lot? One is not a lot? Okay. One is not a lot. I'll take it. Yes. I'll take it. Okay, all right, that's fair. Um, hang on, I, I'm reading something from a um, from the folks over at Star Trek Infinite. I'm really interested in streaming in their their game. Hey, Ron, I can organize that. Uh, give me a second. I'm reading this. Okay. All right, I might actually get a key for Star Trek Infinite to be able to stream for you guys. That will be exciting. And I can stream that a couple of days before release too. Nice, okay. That sounds awesome. All right, so let me close this. We, we spent all of our 400 points, so I can't do anything else. And then what is this? What is this? Show her the temple. Oh, wait, wait. That's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this one. How do I want to do this? I don't need any more generals. I think I have enough generals. So the question is, do I want more output 
for my mines? Or do I increase happiness per year? And get more of the civic resources. So that is the question right now. Interesting. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to use the bathroom here. You guys let me know your thoughts. It's either this one or this one. I'll have to think about it. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. All right, so I think what we'll do is just make people happy. Let's go with that. I think that will mitigate the unhappiness that we got earlier. All right, we'll go with that. And then what else here? Our supporter, Oligon Eminem, the... Amenderidris of uh, Mero has, has come to us with valuable information. Her agents in Haiti have discovered a cache of unfinished maps that show the farthest reaches of the nation's borders. Ooh. Um, the Oligar of Mero will have the maps brought to the court, but getting the spies out of Haiti will not be easy. Uh-oh. Um, this is conspiring with the queen strong okay i don't have stones but i could get stones reveal territory of the haiti ask the new numenans to provide safe passage hmm how much stones do i need 75 stones oh that's only 25 more it's not that big of a deal Send Kush escort across the border. The opinions of them will dec... Oh. Uh, best not to risk anything. Interesting. We want to reveal their borders. Where are they located, anyways? Interesting. We want to reveal their borders for a cost. I have to buy the stones, actually. That'll be all my stones. I don't know if that's a good idea. What are my other choices? I 
legitimacy decreases, right? I'm okay with that. The delegation for Haiti arrives with a marriage proposal for your daughter. Should we consider it carefully? Um, Haiti will join the nation of Kush. Wait, isn't Haiti like one of our opponents? Well, what? Wait a minute. What if they join the our nation? Does that mean we conquer them? I don't know what that means. What does joining our nation mean? What does joining our nation mean? Oh, just that one particular city joins us. Okay. Okay, just a, the one... Okay, we gotta choose one. Oh, the top one gives us stones. The other one will not. And they also gives us lots of... What the hell is the other one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Oh, losing, that's fine. Wait, loyalty... They're just people from that nation, not cities. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Oh, that person will join us. Right, 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 right. Got it, got it, got it. Not the nation, not the city itself. The person will join us. Got it. Okay. Can hurry projects and specialists with money. And then the top. Um, the top gets us more wisdom. Discipline means more money. This guy can be a governor or, or chancellor, right? I'm thinking here. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, right? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There's a lot of stuff on the top, the bottom. Right, that's actually, that's two points of wisdom instead of four, basically. Archetypes matter a lot. Judge versus schemer. Okay. Well, what do you think is the best here? Governor can hurry projects and specialists with money. And then the schemer has discipline that gains money, but I lose courage. You really like the judge? All right, let's go with the judge. There we go. Worshippers from all over the nation arrive at a court seeking direction. It is time to adopt the Zoroism as our state religion. Doing so will increase happiness in Zoro Zora Tartarian cities and improve relations with families who follow. Adopt? I can't, right? I don't have the... I don't... I can't. <laughs> I don't have the uh, law to adopt it. Alright, well, sorry then. Do I get law back if I undo one of these things? I don't know. Oh, I guess removing it does not... Oh, no, 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 I can't. Removing it costs money. Yeah, Alright, this one. That's not right now then, yeah. Damn it. Alright, so you... You over here yeah you can declare a state religion any time for the same cost this is in a what this isn't a one-time opportunity got it got it got it got it 
got it. What is this? I'll send a caravan on a caravan mission. Caravan units can be sent on caravan missions to foreign capitals upon safe arrival. The caravan is consumed and you can s receive a lump sum of money. A successful caravan mission also recruits or, or results in an opinion boost from their nation. Be sure to protect your caravan en route to their destination as they are quite vulnerable. Okay, caravan missions. How did I end up getting the caravan to begin with? What the hell? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. What does this say? They're currently upset with me. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So what happens when I send the caravan to them? They'll increase and I'll get profit. Sure, I guess that's fine, right? There's no reason. The Haiti. I don't, I don't think I need to protect them, right? We, uh, there's nobody in route. Route that's bad. Well, that's their guy, right? That's their unit. Okay, that's our unit. We're going to try to expand over there. And then we're going to try to take over these people. Hang on, do I promote? Or should I... I don't know, they might actually... I wonder if I should go back and heal. That's a thing. Or I should just press on. I don't know. Let's go, let's press on, see. Upgrade somebody to... To uh, wisdom. Let's go with wisdom. It's fine. We should be able to take them out. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Yeah, we should be able to take them out. I got that guy I need to conquer. I got that guy I need to conquer. And I got to get this guy conquered, right? That's three, three tribe locations. To heal up in remote uh, lands, you can build forts and rest there. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to have to consider that. All right, I'm going to go over there later, right? Can't do that right now. Next unit. Okay. I'm getting stones per minute. That's fine. Let's see here. What is this? Stone cutter improvement? What about mine? I need ores. Where can I get ores? Looking for ores. Improve. Improvement. Mines, right? What is the build quarry right now? Quarry owner. What about that one? Recommended as mines. Remove scrubs. Okay. Improve mines. Improvement is mines. Owner is a fish. Okay. That is a mine there, right? Okay, that exists. Alright, hang on. What can I do here? All right, I'm going to build a mine then. Okay, so we're going to get some ores there. And who else? Okay, I can't do anything else, right? End year. I got a worker being built there. And what are you working on? Are you done? I, what's going on with him? Oh, yeah, he needs three years. Sorry, three more years on him, one more year on that guy, four years on that guy. That guy's one year. 
And then somebody is going to beat me. Somebody's already ahead of me in points. I've only got five. He's got three more points ahead of me. That's fine. Let's go ahead and end the year. Alternatively, hero type generals will allow units to heal anywhere. Ah. Okay, one of my sons, third in line, is swift to understand the new situation. He is intelligent. Great. Uh, the scientist has tutored the Duke, improving his wisdom. Great, improving wisdom, improving wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. And then I improve somebody's courage. Sure. And then the prince, uh, the princess, has converted. Oh, she's converted. To our religion. Nice. Okay, the noble families have become enamored with a new cult. Born in the farming communities around Miro, the families have adopted it into a, an arcane practice which they viciously gatekeep, claiming that the unauthorized worship is blasphemy against the goddess. The farmers of the Miro have sent a delegation to ask you to intervene and allow them to worship their gods. What in the hell? Support the nobles' right to keep the cult exclusive. All families have an in increased opinion of me. Nice. Wow. Okay, so every pagan will have access if they want to worship. Wait. What is this next one is... So, all the Kush site pagan cities gain weak that's bad right i don't want we don't want them to be weak developing strong and legendary oh oh depending on the site okay so if i'm developing i will get 40 culture and then every cities all the cities will be happy who's pagan right now this is a pagan city. Is this a pagan city or no? What's the religion on this one? Religions. There's no religion on over here. There's no religion over here. What? How do I get religion over here? I guess I need to build a shrine. I need to build a shrine over here. And Zoroism, okay. So the only city that will benefit... ...from the uh, Pagan stuff is my main city. And I will gain 40 culture. Or I get all families to be happy... F ...for 40 years. A lot of people are upset with me, so... I'm thinking maybe to give the family's opinions of me to boost, right? Let everyone just have high opinion of me. Yeah, let's let's let everyone be happy with me. Wait, hang on. What's my culture? It's my my bar is not. Hang on. What happens when my bar fills up? I get citizens if my bar fills up, right? Or no, no, no. This one developing. Okay, so I will get into the next development. I don't know. Tw Twenty two. What does that mean? I mean, the bar there looks like it's 99%, but 226 out of 500 is half. So I don't understand. Oh, okay, that slight sliver means it's almost going that way. Okay, it's next year I'm going to get that little increase. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Slight increase. Let's see here. Eh. It's not that big of a deal, right? The happiness is not that big of a deal. I don't 
no, I'm thinking here. Do I want my main city to be happy? Or do I want everybody else to be happy for the next 40 years? The family members. I don't know. What's the what's the consequences of people being pissed off at you? Uh, uh. Huh. Tough choice. Alright, I guess I'll let them all be happy. Less backstabbers. Poor opinions may result in negative events. Yeah. Probably. Alright, so... What are my choices now? I can only choose from these things, right? I can't get a fourth. I'll lose a fourth. I've already lost the fourth. They said something about that, right? Your fourth city will not be one of the other ones. So now which one do I want? How do I want to do this? Wait, hang on. I don't need that one, right? I don't need hunters. I could probably use more cultures, right? Minus rural uh, specialization. Increase money. Mining output and lumber mills. Ooh. New siege. Uh, and ships. Ooh. Okay. Between this one and this one, right? Camps have 100% output. And then range unit starts with sentinels. New ships. Or siege. Or I get money. I don't know. What's the difference here? Land owners have a unique happiness bonus for having the most cities in your empire. For having the most cities in your amp empire. Have a unique happiness bonus for having the most cities. So you're telling me I should probably take this one then, right? Most fewest cities. Uh, okay. The other two factions are going to be upset. Missing luxuries. They're also good with farms. And this city has a lot of good farmlands. Okay, so I should probably take this one. Let's go ahead and... Let's go with these guys. Okay. The discovery of the Mediterranean Sea has the priestess of the Zoroism and the Kush at each other's throat, each argue, arguing that the area is sacred to their religion and their, theirs alone. The court began to beg for you to intervene before the argument breaks out into fighting in the streets, which... Which religion's claim shall you support? Landmark discovered. Convince the priests to share. But I'm not a diplomat. <laughs> okay, hang on. So, what, what is this? Zorism or Pagan. How do I know which one is already happy with me already? Where's my religion tab? Is there a religion tab? Oh, wait, wait, here we go. Okay, all the religions are upset with me. <laughs> oh, man. All the current religions are already upset with me. Looking for something related to this religion nonsense. What does this religion thing do for me? From upset opinions per year. Ugh, each Kush city gains culture per year. From upset opinion. 
negative one. Oh, it's just going to get worse, right? I don't know which one is the best way to go. Current followers is none. We have no followers over there. They don't have any followers. So let's go with the paganism then, since they, there's no followers. Yeah, according to that, it says they have no followers. Yeah, they have no followers. So what does it matter, right? Yeah, alright, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Okay, fine. Um, what does this do? Happiness. Ooh, happiness. Yeah, let's build some happiness. Yeah, let's go with some happiness. As a, as a project. Um, let's see here. And then we're going to attack these guys, right? Yeah, those guys are going down. Yep, they're definitely going down. Alright, who? Wh where's my next unit? Okay, yeah. That's fine, next unit. Next unit? Oh, what's this? Build nets. An able fisherman, no, okay, yeah, that's fine, we don't need that. What about you? What's this? Hamlet. What is Hamlet? Um, built anywhere. 20% for adjacent Odin bath class improvements. Development develops into villages in 20 years. What does a Hamlet do for me? I don't know what that does for me, but uh, probably not important. The shrines, right? Red Kush. Alright, what do I need more of right now? Probably wood. Let's just go over here and just collect some wood. And then you are three years. Um, did I choose the guy that governs? I need to get a governor over here, right? I need a garrison. Yeah, I need to build a garrison over here. Wait, what? Oh, I need wood. Oh, my God. Garrison. I need more stones. Wait, hang on. Wait, I just bought the stones. Oh, I didn't buy the stones yet. Or did I not? Hang on. Wait, what? Um, hold alt to buy, right? Alt. There. What? Hold alt to buy. 60 stones, yes. Hold alt to buy 60 stones. Why can't I construct this? Alt, not shift. I did. I, I am holding alt. So I'm not sure what's going on. The worker is in the same queue mode at the moment. Is in some queue mode. Oh. Okay. I don't know what the worker's deal is. Should be cancel option near the bottom of the menu. Cancel action queue. Okay. Oh, there you go. All right, that worked. <laughs> okay, that worked. Next unit. I don't know what does this do for me. It just requires wood in action, right? And it increases food. 
I guess there's no reason not to do this. Yeah, there's not no reason not to. Okay, year four. I think she has. Okay, hang on. I need to tutor somebody, right? Tutor VA her. Uh, what is this? Intercession. What the hell is intercession? What does that do for me? Uh, is interceded for the uh, for the queen. What does in intercession? What the hell does that do? What is intercession? Doesn't say. What the hell is intercession? I don't know what intercession does. Legitimacy, okay. Warning, somebody's ill. Okay, no, no. Influence. Influence exerted becomes influenced by the queen. Intercession is if somebody likes you, you can ask them to get to get to say good things about you to someone else. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see here. Who should I just tutor him? Do I choose what I tutor him in? I don't know. Do I choose, or just automatic? Sure. I'll just I'll just pick something. Warning, somebody severely ill. Oh. Somebody's ill. Okay. Alright, let's go with this. Sure. Somebody's ill. I don't know what that means for me. Alright, so we got a couple of more years for the phalanx, right? Yep, okay. I should be able to control the other one. Alright, so now leads to Zumanis, right? Queen Queen Lunja now leads to Zuma the Num Numenins. News arrive abroad that Kella the Numen is dead. Okay. Oh, she's fifty two years old, no wonder. That's fine. The Duchess Artha, your daughter, and Duke uh something have given birth to a son. Okay, nice. So now we have a, a new one. And then somebody... Oh, the general has died on the battlefield. You can't choose the results. will depend on the tutor's own stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, that guy died on the battlefield. Oh, because of his age, or her age. She was 53. Well, this chick was already disappointed with with me anyways. Oh my god, she owes me a favor and she couldn't even return the favor. Oh my goodness. Come on, she owes me a favor and she died. Terrible. And then what is this? Your daughter is now head of the Senju family. Okay. Today, we grieve the death of Emeritus of Miro, a member of the Kush court. Her spirit will be venerated and her deeds will be remembered. The nation mourns. She's dead. The queen is stronger. Okay. The war with the Gauls has gone on long enough. You may wish to consider peace. Our spies report that one of the Gallic, Galilic warlords seeks mates for his son. A match with your your heir, Asma, may be the solution to all of our problems. No. No. We're going to wipe them out. No. These are all me mediocre choices. We discuss peace later, yes. No, let's discuss peace later. 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 Later, alligator. You've driven the local gulls away from the city-state. You can now claim this site 
by placing a unit on it. This will prevent the return of the Gauls and will also keep other nations from founding a city here. The locals have left a large cache of food behind. You can use this to begin building a new settler to claim this location. Nice. I will make you good use of the food. I can't do anything else, right? Promote. Sure, let's promote. Um, sure, combat. And let's add a general. Who is worthy? Candidate with jobs. And she is the... She's the chick with the range skills, right? With marksman. She has weak armor. Which is, which is okay. Like a range unit shouldn't be on the front line anyways. Upset opinion. Minus 5% on the attack. Defense strength. Well, this chick is not bad either though. But that is... Counterattack during melees. But my guy is not a melee. What is this one? Heal in neutral territory and extra damage. I mean, this is... She's pretty good overall. I guess if some melee tries to attack us, we get a counterattack, right? Well, that's during melee, though. I don't know if we get a counterattack as a range unit on a melee attacking us. I don't know. Well, let's see here. I'll I'll still assign her that. Can can they heal though? Out in the open. Must be in friendly territory. Okay. So I need to get another settler out here. I need to get another settler. Five years? Sure. That's fine. And then the other guys. Ten years to get a boat, huh? Why are we building a boat? Why are we building a boat there? What the hell? Oh my god. Why are we building a boat there? That's not right. A trapper, right? Yeah, let's build a trapper there. Um, a worker over here. Yeah, settler, right? And we get walls on that side. All right, so I need to. Wipe these guys out, and then wipe these guys out, right? Boats are fun. Feels good, man. Well, not in the lake. Right? Not in that lake. What am I going to do with a boat in that lake? Can I attack these guys? Oh, I can only attack one tile. On the thing. That's fine. And then these guys need to go back and heal. Okay. Alright, next unit. Your nation has trained its first axeman. Cool. Um. Sure, let's um. try to go towards this. All right, end the year. Cool, end the year. I need a governor on the other side too. Oh yeah, you're you're gonna be wiped out. Okay, reports of the tribal raid from a Danish outpost near Miro. What the hell? What the hell? Is that are they being raided or they're raiding us? 
I don't know what the the deal is. News arrive abroad that the Weaver of the Dane is dead. King Balamir blah blah now leads the Danes. Okay, that might be bad. That's probably why they're raiding us. Some scholar died in office. Sure. I don't think he was useful anyways for anything, right? Your daughter follows a strict regime. Never take an easy way of it. It's not the best. She is being disciplined. Great. Uh, has converted to Zoroism. Somebody's converted to Kush. Amani, right? Um, Amon. Amon. And then somebody, the Frau Blank is head now of the Irajet family. Okay, sure. A letter from arise from the Canessa Pinosis describing her classes, hours spent learning, simulating debates among peers and tutors with the nights spent exploring the heavens. At the end of the, the letter, a postscript reads, if you can spare the money, I would like to buy some tools for more advanced aspects of my studies. How shall we indulge this request? We shall send the money. Oh, they become an herbalist, carpenter, or educator. Oh, wow, that's a really expensive upgrade, though, right? Uh, becomes disappointed with the queen. And becomes frugal. As a leader, right? Improvements. Minus the improvement cost. Frugal. Uh, frugal is not bad. Huh, frugal's not bad. As a general, increases what hit points from heal actions. All units gain plus two from heals. Okay. As a governor, ships gain 100 points. Okay. Educated. Minus opinions of foolish and superstitious. A plus opinion of educated characters. Okay. Well, we're hoping for educated, right? If we take this. Yeah, let's go with this. What did he get? A band of Zoro pilgrims from Haiti is traveling to the holy city of Tumbos. Our scouts report that their pilgrims are numerous. Some of them are entire families hoping to have their newborn blessed in Tumbos. Your rival, so many people at once, it's causing great concern in tomb boats. And will surely cause difficulties unless we step in. Okay. Divert extra supplies to tomb boats so that the pilgrims are taken care of. Haiti gets, gives more opinions of us. Have soldiers maintain public order. They can charge the vid visitors for hospitality. Hospitality, too. Chance of becoming greedy next year. What is greedy? Oh, shit. I lose all that when I'm greedy, huh? Okay, it's not a big end. T turn the pilgrim. Okay, so people are going to be upset. Oh, lots of pissiness. If I say no, right? Just have to find a way to go on. They'll just... Yeah, all right, so I need to settle the matter. I'll lose money, I'll lose food. Oh my god, that's a lot of food, but the... Hades are going to be happy with us. I mean, is it important for the Hades to be happy with us? I mean, they live so far away, I don't think that matters. Here we gain money, right? With a chance of becoming greedy. And Haiti hates us. I mean, that's not a big deal, because I can lose the training. Training is not that big of a deal. Yeah, let's let's take the money. We're going to take the money. Hopefully that chance of being greedy is gone. We don't get that greedy chance. Alright, so meets with you to discuss court matters, as he recently has taken on the mantle of the family head of the... Inter Irajet in the wake of the Alakala scholar's death. He converses with you on various issues as you scroll stroll through the palace garden until finally getting to the heart of the matter. My predecessor, blah blah blah, Alakala was 
rather pleased with you based upon all the correspondence I have read. I came here to see for myself what sort of person you are. How shall you respond? Okay. Well, this guy becomes influenced by the queen. That's good, right? Yes. Right? I think influence is good, right? Yes, influence is good. I am always available for the great uh, Irajet family. What does this do? Minus money. The Oligot is proud, is interceded. Uh, oh, plus 60. Plus 40. Okay, so extra... Extra opinions, basically. For 200. Hey, Miss Purple Panda. Miss Panda Purple, right? Uh, the Vikings are coming. The Vikings are coming. I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm a little tired since I've been streaming for like nine hours. Uh, but this game is very, very intriguing. It's fun, actually. I don't have a problem with this game. It's actually very intriguing. It's kind of one of these games that span across multiple days to complete or something. Because obviously I can't complete this in nine hours. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. So I'm streaming a new DLC that's getting released for Old World in two days right now. And I got early access to this game because the, the publisher gave me a copy of the game and the DLC unlocked. And so uh, here I am streaming it so you guys get an idea of the new Kush faction. All right, do I want to lose 250 coins to get a happier, a better opinion or a mediocre opinion? He's upset with me. But if I if I have a decent opinion, then he's not going to be upset, right? I'm basically paying two hundred fifty for him to be above upset, but that's okay. I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and go with this. Choose a new governor. Which guy's this? Yeah, he's cautious, right? Yeah. So I want to choose a new governor for the um, Aerojet, right? Aerojet. So who do I want? These are awful. Okay. I can lose money. But gain happiness. Or I can gain more science. But lose money. I would rather have the happiness. I think this, this city is not happy with me right now. Yeah, the city is not happy with me. Let's go with happiness. Yeah, let's go with happiness. Alright, let's go with the happiness. The discon well, I think it's going to be next year, right? The discontent is going to change. Alright, so let's see here. What, what do we have here? We need to go back and heal. The squid icon? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever the squid icon is. Hail Hydra, right? Hail Hydra. Alright. What is this? Ten years. We we develop into an outpost in ten years. Oh. You can build forts to heal. Oh, right, 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 right. Undo that. Is that the same as fortify? Is that the same as fortify or not? Build fort. Oh, build fort. No, no, no. Build fort requires... Oh, but I need stones. Stones that I do not have. Right? Is it stones? Oh, requires lush... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannot build on urban tiles. Got it, got it. Wait, hang on. Can I can I subtract this guy? Oh. I need to move over a tile. Build a fort. Yeah, okay. Build a fort. 
Nice. And then this guy. What's fortify? No, no, I don't need to fortify. I mean, I could probably promote, right? Let's promote. Um, sure, I'm just going to randomly pick one. What, what? Oh, he's a melee, right? Let's go with Brave. There. Next unit. Guys, the Axeman, right? He's going to join up with this group over here. And then next unit. And these guys are going to attack this over here. Oh, these, the, oh, the boat's doing really good. Boat's doing really good. All right, this guy here, he's a worker, right? Where is, where is he? Okay, let's see here. What can I do with this guy? Build a hamlet. Build a shrine. This has no religion here, right? There's no religion. All right, let's build a shrine then. Build a shrine. Oh, I need stones. Damn it. There. All right, so we're going to increase our paganism. The picture on the unit icon is the type of the assigned general. Tactician equals octopus. Ah, uh, okay. Hail Hydra. Oh, shit! Somebody's trying to attack me. Sacred to scare... Uh, sorry. Scarred to take any risk. Or scared to take any risk. Um, or even make mistakes. The Duchess Artha, your daughter, second in line, has become timid. What? Very bad. Chicken... Okay, the queen has tutored uh, my daughter, Kiniasa, improving their, her wisdom. Yes, her wisdom has gone up. Courage, right? She's also getting courage. She gained wisdom and gained courage. Okay, the caravan with a mission is completed. I got money. Oh, nice. Look how much money I have. And I got opinion increase. Nice. And then Kensia has used her study funds acquiring an unparalleled wor workshop and has become a carpenter. Great. Okay. So she's now a carpenter. The courier, Artie, the soldier, has, be, has been making waves, ending all of her speeches where they call to eradicate the dangerous rival nation of Haiti. Uh-oh. Publicly denounce this hothead. Uh, the king of Haiti becomes influenced by the queen. Already becomes slighted. What the hell? Cannot be general. Uh-oh. Or a governor. Opinion of the leader is down. Included in away from court. Oh. I don't know. Declare war with Haiti. Oh, no. They're going to have opinion of minus 80 for the next year. How do how do we feel about Haiti? How do we feel about Haiti? We want to attack Haiti. Haiti is still 9 ahead of us or 3 ahead of us. I need to kill more units anyways. I gotta kill more more military units anyways. Sure. Let's... Let's declare war. Are there... Are they near us? How strong are they? Zero for military prestige. Two from the oracles. Victory points. What is this? Truth cannot attack each other when declaring war. Also, a truce cannot be ended by war. Five turns has passed. Okay. Uh, what is their deal?
they're cautious, right? They have cautious standing with us. They hate the ghoul ghouls. Neutral with the Danes. Power is similar. Naive. Okay, let's go. Let's declare some war on these guys. We'll do it. We'll do anything. Just please shut her up. Right, let's do this. Okay, mouse over the nation names. Got it. I already, yeah, I took care of that. And this guy here. We're getting attacked by these barbarians. Jesus Christ. Where's my warrior? This group, right? This is the Axemen. I need to go back. I need to go back and take care of these guys. Just in time for war after the caravan brought in their money. <laughs> yeah, I know. The caravan. We got the money, right? I think the caravan dies, right? Or the caravan dissolves when you... When you, um... When you, uh, finish the caravan mission, right? Pretty sure the caravan is just dissolved. Are you dead? You're dead, right? Yeah, you're dead. Oh, there's another one in here. Oh, no, wait. No, that's that one. Can I heal? I can't move. All right, that's fine. That's two years. All right, what's your deal? You're a worker. What's this one? Barracks? Quarry. And mine. Let's go with the quarry. What's this one? Hamlet. No, let's go with this one. Okay, yes, the caravan is consumed after the journey. Yes, just in time, right? Just in time. And this worker over here. Do I need another mine? Or do I need another barracks? Or do I need a quarry? I feel like I need another quarry. Um, well, let's go with this one, this side. I, I'm going to get a mine over here. And then this guy here? What is this? Hamlet. What does Hamlet do for me? It gives me minus food per year, but it develops into a village in 20 years. What does the village do? It develops in a town in 20 years. Potential bonus. Okay, not useful for right now. Uh, I'm going to go back this direction then. And build the quarry. Alright, who does not have a governor? Oh, we're getting this one over here, right? Link in here. Alright, I'm going to build a boat. I'm going to build a boat. Wait, wait, no. Is there somebody else I should build? I should build like a a city wall, right? Just to increase my happiness. All right, I think that's it, right? Next unit. Can I heal? Can't heal yet, right? Promote? Let's promote. Amphibious, right? Uh, what is this one? Versus mounted? Attack across the water? Leads to guard. Alright, well, let's go with guard. Sure. Since they're melees. Alright, end of the year. Alright, the rival's turn. Oh, shit. They're gonna wanna... These barbarians... All right, what is this? Enlightenment. Oh, I get the, the lumber mill, right? This is recommended. Take that, actually. In four years. Sounds like a good deal. A marriage proposal has arrived from Set Jetju family for your daughter, the Azmel. 
Asamal. How shall we respond to their suggestions? Okay, this is within the family. Okay. Discipline, right? Opinion of them will go up. They'll give us wood. They will also give us wood. They're but the opinion's the same. We get more wisdom, but we lose... What is courage? Oh, okay. Courage is only... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can lose courage. I'm okay with losing the courage. We gain wisdom, right? We also gain money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's go with this one. Generals need courage. Oh, shit. Well, no, we lose courage from just globally. We we gain that guy who is not going to be our general. I don't want him to be my general, right? For a long time, the Yam family have expected to marry one of their scions to the Duke Akarathad, but more re recently, a rich merchant has offered a range of incentives to marry one of his children to him instead. One of his children, okay. While our agreement with the Yam was informal, breaking it would still have some repercussions. Then again, money has all sorts of uses. Okay. He shall marry Akra as the hero. I gain courage. General heal in neutral territory. Oh. Interesting. The Duke, my son. Okay. Versus the Duke, my son, will marry this other dude. Tactician. Spy master. Counter attacks during melee. Bitter charisma. Dowry will give you food. Okay, we don't really need food that bad. Opinion is higher. What's... Wait a minute. So who do I gain? Oh, I get to choose one of the two females, right? One of the two females. I get plus five. I get plus two. And I also get plus three heat here. Top seems good. But the Yam is not going to be happy with me. Right? High courage equals good general. Yeah, being able to heal in neutral territory is actually a very good perk, too. Yeah, let's go with the top. That's fine. Now, the Kensia, the, the Piousness, has completed her study of philosophy. How shall she contribute to the court? Uh, persuasive, passionate believer, gains the lot to conserve as general or chancellor. Leader, opinion. Uh, plus 60, opinion for leaders with religion. No. Can serve as governor. Can switch laws for a hundred. Can upgrade improvements. Leader mission. Hold court. Oh, why don't we do that one? That seems good. A judge, right? Let's go with a judge. Judge is good. Okay, I let's see here. In times of war like these, the troops like to hear encouragement from their leader. A rousing speech from you on the glorious, on the glories of Kush and the unmatched courage of the fighting men would improve morale. You can conduct a rally troops mission by clicking on the whatever that symbol is. Rally, right? This rally button in the action panel on the left while your leader is selected. Rally troops troops mission gives you the chance to gain some training at the cost of few orders and some civic. They may also lead to follow events. Will you go out and will you go out on a rally mission? Yes, I will. I am feeling invigorated already. Let's go on a rally mission. Yes, let's go on a rally mission. It's free. Nice, it's free. 
inspired by the religious perceived mis mistreatment within the Kush, the Zoros Rustran leader Matriarch Nasala of the El Karu has come before you to demand a favor. The noble monarch asks that the Kurzoro temples are given a tax exemption to better serve the Arumaza Mazada. A grant like this will certainly make friends with the Maji, but are you willing to make an exception? Uh oh. I don't have state religion Zoro. No, I don't have a state religion Zoro. So no. Refuse them. Will be treated the same as all others. Okay, yeah. Somebody's going to be disappointed. Boo hoo. But I will be strong and I will get more money per year. Yep. I will get money per year. I'll have... Yeah, alright. I'm going to be strong. Screw that. And you... One more year, right? Fortify? Can't heal, right? Jesus Christ, it takes forever to get that fortify. I probably would have gotten whatever I needed healed up sooner. Had I just gone straight home. Yeah. Next person. Can I promote? Let's promote. Tough. Tough, yeah. So far, Verdict versus Civ 6. It's different. It's definitely different than Civ 6. This is kind of more of... More of role-playing than Civ 6. Civ 6 is more like mass up an army and go crush whoever, right? This is not as much. This is more of a... More of adventure story RPG style, I think. So it's it's different, I, guess, I think. I mean, I kind of like both. I don't have like a specific... It really depends on like your mood. If you're playing and you want to like be immersive with your city, with your village. Like in, in Civ, I never feel immersive. I, ne I really never feel like I'm that city or that faction or that culture, right? In Civ, it's just, I just build up shit and take advantage of the bonuses of the leaders and the unique units, right? And I min-max and that's it. With this, it has a lot of RPG sort of story base elements to it. So I don't I don't know yet. And I'm just only playing sandbox, so I don't have a have a verdict. But I think that Civ people play Civ because that's what they want to do. It's kind of like you play Risk or you play chess, right? Or you play Monopoly or you play Risk. Right? Both games is sort of like dominate the board. But Monopoly is more like, hey, you know, you barter and you, you sort of, you know, have more of an interaction with your your uh, opponents versus Risk is, is like, I don't really care. I'm just going to dominate the board, right? So to me, Civ is kind of like Risk. And this is kind of like, hey, you know, you might have some more, I guess, um, interaction with, with your opponents, right? It's slower than Civ, but much more in-depth. Right, exactly. So that is that is the difference between the two, in my opinion. I don't know how else to s describe it, right? I mean, I you know, it's for, sort of like I enjoy playing Stratego. Right? I don't know if you guys know what Stratego is. Over playing something like, you know, Connect 4. Right, Connect 4 is kind of like bam, 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 you, you, you win, you move on, right? Strategy game. They're both strategy games, right? But Stratego is more of like, hey, I enjoy that. I like to, you know, mind game my opponents. You know what I mean? That's more, that's Stratego versus like, 
I guess it's like Stratego versus chess, I think, is, is kind of like the comparison. One is more straightforward than the other. Stratego, you can actually do some mind games, you know, trick people to do certain things, right? Have you played Humankind? And what's your opinion about Humankind? I have not played Humankind. Competition to Old World, Civ 6. Sorry, just curious. Yeah, I have not. I have not. Let's see here. Units. I mean, this requires me to read a lot. In Civilization, I don't have to read uh, as much. You know what I mean? I, I have to read through this and I have to think about the consequences. I have to think about the little pluses and minus. And if I wanted to spend more time, I would be looking through every single one of these characters and figuring out what the hell is going on and where to place them. In Civ, it's just like, bam, bam, bam. You just, you know, get your your game on and conquer the map and move on, right? Humankind, I dislike. I just, I can't just steamroll and take a civilization. Can't complete surrenders. Uh and can only take a small number of cities or puppet them. Yeah, let's give the Axemen a general. Ah, very good idea, actually. You are absolutely right. Give the Axemen a general. Uh, heal in neutral territory. Counterattacks during melee. Hmm. Or experience. This is not bad, actually. Defense? This is speed, right? What, what is this? What is that lightning bonus? Crit, crit, crit. Okay, it gets crit. Ooh. Better defense, crit, and experience per year. This sounds like a good deal. I'll take this guy. Bam. 21% attack on, on, on the hero, though. Which one? Which one were you talking about? Wait, hang on, hang on. Which one? Did I miss something? Oh, on top of the... Yeah, I see what you're saying. Extra damage. Massive damage. Well, the thing is, the other one gets experience points, though, right? And better crit. I mean, the barbarians are are pushovers, though. I don't know. I I I I see what you're saying here. The damage is actually not bad. Sure, let's go with the damage. All right, you. Oh, I can't move the same turn. I probably should have moved first and then applied it. That's fine. I'm not gonna re. Redo the thing. Settlers in two years. Trappers in three. And we're waiting for the fortification on this side, right? Um, if I add a general to this guy. Yeah, let's, let's, you know what? Let's, um, let's move first. And then add the general. Ooh, heal in neutral territory. Yeah, let's do that. I should be able to heal, right? Well, next turn, next turn I should be able to heal. I should be able to attack the other tribe city. Oh shit, what, what are they doing? Artie the soldier has died. A, re a religion can be can provide me with powerful bonuses if I invest in it. Zoro's Zoro has spread to one of your cities. Religions provide culture and affect happiness. Blah blah blah. You can choose to adopt a state religion for your nation, allowing you to guide the impact the religion uh, has on your city. Sure, yeah, yeah. Re religion. Okay, how do I choose? How do I choose? How do I choose? Can I choose a religion? 
How do I make a decision on what the city gets? I don't know. It didn't present me with a choice yet, right? Well, hang on. Today we grieve the death of Artie the soldier, a member of the Kush court. Her spirit has venerated and her deeds will be remembered, sure. She served us well. Okay, sure. Queen gets more experience points. War can forge a nation. Your generals suggest that you should show your commitment to crushing the despicable Hittites 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 by adopting a new martial ambition. A new marital ambition. No. Martial ambition. Martial, right? Yeah, martial. In ongoing wars against them, to what end shall we direct our forces? I'll meet them in the field myself. Start ambition. Kill military units with leader as general. Um, sack the royal... Sack the royal capital um, of Hata Yuasa would be a crushing blow to the Hitti morale. Start ambition. Capture a foreign capital. Gain ballista. Oh yeah, let's get the ballista. That sounds like a good deal. Yeah, let's do that. The straw has started a new ambition. Capture a foreign capital. Ballista on turn four. Is that good? That's good, right? Ballista on turn four. On turn 40, right? How do you know I'm on turn 40? Year 38. Year 38. Can I shoot at this guy over here? Repair the shrine or it will be destroyed in six years. Add a general. Oh yeah, let's add this one then. Sure, let's add this one. Alright. You. Over here. Melissa has one range. It has to be next to the target to fire, but the damage is devastating. Oh. I see. Maybe I should switch out the general that gets the extra range. I think the one of the daughters has like an extra range. This chick, right? She has an extra range. Marksman, right? Distance for range attacks. Right? I should probably switch her onto the Ballista. So I don't get attacked. Melee on that, right? Technically, right? Let's heal. Oh, goodness. Yeah, okay, it's one only at a time, right? Year one. All right, next unit. Oh yeah, she can heal. Wait, can I move first and heal? I think I should move first then heal. Nice. You could, you could, but after a ballista attack, there generally isn't anything left to attack back. Got it. Got it. Alright, next units. Okay, this guy here. Stronghold. What does a stronghold do for me? Oh, I don't have enough resources anyways. Requires four active laws. Okay. What do I need more of? Um, what do I need more of? Barracks? No. Hamlet. Okay. 
going to plus 20 for adjacent garrison and class improvements. Enable apprentice officer spawn melee units here, right? Do I do what, barracks? I guess I should do a barracks. I don't know if Hamlet doesn't do anything for me. Or I go gold mine, right? Wait. Output, 40% output from gold. Oh, okay. I can build a mine here. Oh, okay. I can get mine for money. Let's do that. I get a gold mine. Nice, okay. Next unit. I need a cush. I need to figure out how to go over here and remove those guys. Now let's see here. No, it's fine. Next units. Next units. Nope, I'm done. Turn ends. I need to destroy more, more ships here. Uh oh. Reports of a tribal raid from a Danish outpost near Miro. Yeah, that's fine. I already know about that. Uh, somebody, your son, has grown more competent and charming. He has gained charisma. You have rallied the military, resulting in higher morale and discipline. Kush gains 150 discipline. Fine. Okay, Princess Azamala Mar of the Moro, of the Setjetju, approaches with a proposition. Queen, Sana the Strong, we have a unique chance to help each other. Uh, I understand that more troops may be needed for the war, but I, in, but in return, I want an oath that you will help the Setjetju should we ever ask for aid. Of course, of course. The Setjetju are offering some impressive spearmen, uh, some of their finest Chariots, is it worth making a promise with unknown consequences, though? Hang on. Very well. I swear this oath. I gain spearmen and chariot. Now holds favor from the queen. No, I will promise. Could lead to future events. The princess Moreau now holds favor. What's this favor? What does this do for me? I don't know what the holds favor thing does for me. Holds favor. Oh, minus 20. I don't know. I'll take the favor. Sure. Reviews. Critique that literally nothing attacked back is still the best case. Okay, yeah. Well, we got... We got additional units here. That guy's dead. Oh, you're right. Oh, <laughs> they, that guy just got slaughtered. Wow. Yep. <laughs> One shot that guy. That was funny. Using mounted units to finish off enemies is the way to go, sure. Oh, hey. Alright, so this guy here... We're going over here. Alright, next unit. This guy here, idle? Spearman, yeah, I'll use the spearman. Can I consolidate units together, or no? And have an army for two types. They'll attack back on their turn normally. You attack things without taking damage. Right, okay. Um, what is this? So defensive lines are pointless. Use WW... World War II defense in depth strategy and let them come to your territory and then just a counter attack with zero defense. Okay, sure. Um, hang on. What, what do I want to do here with this new thing? What projects do I want? Let's put a wall up. You know, let's have a wall project here. 
next unit. And the settlers. Oh, they're fatigue. That's why they're fatigue. Or no. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. Oh, I should have just gone straight across the water. Jesus. Oh, wait, no. They can't go straight across the water. Oh, I had it right the first time. Got it. Oh, no, no, no. I got it right the first time. That's fine. Okay, next unit. What do we have here? This guy, right? What do I want to do? Upgrade. What am I upgrading now? I'm not militia. What is this? That's a mine. Wait, owner recommended, right? All right, let's add a mine here. Okay, next one. Okay, hmm. So we need to figure out how to get to this side here. How do I get there? What kind of boat can these? Can this boat carry units? Hey, Rip uh, Dot Delicious Gaming. Thank you for the follow. It's abnormal to take zero damage when attacking a defensive position, though. Normal to have an advantage when defending your own territory. Right. Well, okay. The question is can this boat transport people? Or is it only act acting as an anchor bridge? Right. Does this boat carry people? I don't know. I should, probably should have moved over here and then heal. Tactician generals are, are the tanks that will punish offensive pushes. Okay. So my question is, how am I going to go over here and attack these guys? You can also fortify units for a defensive boost. Okay. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to reach these guys. That is the question right now. Responding to cut here, mostly. Oh, you're responding to cut. Right, right, right. That's fine. Heal. Let's see here. Can I move somewhere else? No. Ten years. What is the ten year thing? What is ten years? What it says 10 years. What, what is that 10 years? We'll develop into an outpost in 10 years. I don't know. Is that outpost in my favor or, or against me? I don't know. We do need to take out these guys. Oh, I'm oh, I've already used up all my my thing. Oh, I need a repair too, don't I? Okay, somebody is feeling ill, lightheaded and weak. My daughter. Okay, sure. And then somebody died. Somebody died. Oh, a governor died. Oh no, one of my governors died. Okay, somebody got converted to Zoro. Oh, they're pissed at me because I'm not Zoro. Who's now head of the Irajet family. Their opinion has gone from cautious to please. Okay, good. Somebody's happy with me. I will manage the nation's wood stockpile. The Irajet are holding a tournament in your honor in the city arena of the uh, El Karu, inviting the best fighters from Kush to comp compete 
in mock combat, the final match is between the foreign servant of the era Jet and a noble cousin of the said Jetju. The crowd cheers as the two clash, but who will you support? Uh-oh. Could lead to future events. Well, my current... I think my current group not happy with me. Right? No, this, oh, no, no, we're friendly, but we're not, they're not pleased. Wait, no, no, that's not true. Wait. How do I know who's what? How do I know who's happy with me? They're pleased, right? Oh yeah, okay, friendly. What's the difference between friendly and pleased? Friendly or, uh, is 200 or higher? Okay. And then, please is what? Oh, okay, friendly is better than pleased. Okay, alright. So let's, let's make them Let's make them happy. Although the fight is long and tense, at the end it is your favored Irajet champion who is defeated, falling at the feet of the overwhelming said Jetju. Although uh, put out their uh, although put out their Jet Jetju champion lost, although out put out that their Jet what the hell. Although put out that their Jet Jetsu champion lost, the crowd still celebrates such a spectacle of a fight. The warriors wave to you and salutes you and drawing further cheers and cries from praises from the adoring masses. Okay. Everybody's happy in general. If only my champion had won. That's fine. Alright, so we need a new governor because the last one died. Well, that guy was short-lived. He was replacing the other guy, and now he just died. What do I need more of right now? I can go less money, increase in turns, and less science. I'm okay with that, because we could use more orders. Okay. And then who is... Worker, right? This is the worker. You you wouldn't have dodged much damage against Spearman's. Oh, you guys are still talking? <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm trying to figure out how to get across. Oh, I need to go back and repair, right? Oh, he's not even on that yet. Okay, that's fine. I need to repair that. And then this guy. Alright, well, let's move this direction then. Um, the Spearman. I can go this way or I can go the other way? Go this way. This guy, Chariot, right? Nice, okay. And then this guy here should be able to destroy these guys. The Gauls. Like this SG-1 Stargate faction, the Gauls. Okay, what else? And then you heal. And you it's gonna take forever for this guy to do what I need him to do. Let's just go back to the thing here. It's fine. What else? And then you get in there. You repair. How do I repair? 
How do I repair the shrine? Oh no, that guy is a a warrior. Okay, yeah, the warrior. Wait, why can't the warrior move? There you go. Yeah. Next unit. Choose a production unit, right? So this guy, specialist, stone cutter, or miner, has a rural specialist gain gain wisdom for a year. What else can I do with this group? I can do a wall, set up a wall and make everybody happy. Let's do that. End the year. The best strategy is to prevent your units from being attacked at all. Uh, probably, right? You don't want to get attacked at all, right? Uh-oh. Uh, is thankfully feeling much better now? Is no longer ill? Okay, great. No one's... Oh, somebody died. The frugal guy died. Fine. Converted to... Oh, no! They converted to Zoroism. Friendly to the... From friendly to cautious. Come on! I invested in you guys. And then somebody became head of the family. Ooh, I get 20 orders in three years. Or... I get a ranch. Three court scholar. I think I might want the scholar. Yeah, I'll just take the free court scholar. Just reading reviews and strats on the game, and it sounds odd to me, but I haven't bought and played it. Combat strength gives both offense and defense, so I may be wrong. Yeah, okay. Maybe. Shit. How are they crossing the river? Jesus. I'm gonna heal. Can they repair now? Repair. And then you. 100 and 600. Oh my god, 600 of those. Okay, that's not happening. I'll just add a road. All right, next unit. Um, Necropolis, oh my god. Okay, I need a mine though, right? What, what, am, I, what am I on here? Improvement, quarry, okay. Build a mine. Yeah, let's build a mine. All right, so I need a generate wood somewhere right okay the settlers need to go over here somehow damn it okay, that's fine next unit this is the general right all right let's go over here And promote? Let's promote. Um, 25% versus general? Okay, from hills? Oh. Versus mounted. Extra combat. Alright, that's extra combat. More damage. Well, I don't know. They're all more damage, right? Yeah, let's go with generic damage. Go with that. Next unit. Chariot. Do I have a general? add a general on this all right so this one is an idle candidate right counterattacks with melees Sh 
Sure. Sure, I'll just add it. Don't care. We'll figure that out later. All right, so next unit. Heal. And then you guys just go back. All right, next unit. Oh, wait, I have an event. Idle and can be sent on a mission. Oh. Okay, what mission can I... Can I give her? Wait. She can't do anything. Wait, wait, what was the mission? Convert to state religion. Convert religion. Wait, what? It says she's available for a mission, but I don't... What missions can I give her? What mission can I give her? Convert religion. Can't choose these other ones. Hmm. What is she currently? Doesn't say. What is she? The oligarch something. What is she? Oh, she's... No? I thought she was... What, really? She has no religion. Oh, she has no religion. Let's go with this one, then. I can't choose it. it. says she's available, but I can't do anything. It's idle and can be sent on a mission, but I none of these missions are going to work out. That's the problem. Okay, fine. Yeah, none of these seem to work. Alright, well, let's choose a production, right? So we've made the walls. This gets me... Gets me um, science, right? That's fine, let's go with that. You don't have enough orders to start the mission. Oh, that's why. Got it. News arrived from abroad that Kalmos the Gawu is dead. Queen Idela now leads the Gawus. More confident than ever in the face of danger, Duke Akarant, your son, has gained courage. Queen something, uh, you, governor, is severe. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, I, my queen. Oh, she's sick. We're going to lose the queen, huh? How old is she? She's 64. Oh! The queen's about to die. Who's next in line? Who's next in line? The princess is next in line. Okay, who do you suggest? A new marriage proposal for your daughter. Kentia the Pius has arrived from the Yam. Uh, from Yam and Interjet families. We should consider now this will affect how this will affect the court, what will you suggest? Okay. You can tank the first wave and then counterattack. Alright. Well, if I die, does the opinion gets transferred to the new ruler? Or how does that work? Oh, one person heals in neutral territory, and one person counterattacks. I think it's better to go with the one with the courage, right? Heals in neutral territory. So this is the best choice. Okay. 
I don't know if I'm going to survive one more round. I might have to pull out my pull-out game. All right, I need a governor now. More science. Yeah, more science and money. I'm okay with this. And then what else? And walls completed, right? Stone cutters. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And then what is this? This chick, right? Oh, okay, right. Influence the queen, baby. The strong. Well, the queen's about to die. I don't know why that matters. Right. Um. I don't think this matters, right? The queen's about to die. There's no reason to make these people happy about the queen, right? Or am I missing something? Or does that opinion transfer to to the next ruler? City of the Elkuru is gaining renown for their mystery, mystery cult. Uh, you, you will win, but you'll still have to select your spearmen and collect... Oh, you guys are still talking. Uh, a grand festival that takes place each year. It starts with a per period of fasting and reflection before entering the sacred space on the chosen day. Opinions aren't transferred. Your heir will have their own relationships. Okay, so there's no reason for me to waste my orders on some mission where the queen's going to die anyways. Or my current leader. None... None may speak of what they witness within the sanctuary as the deeper secrets of the world becomes known to them. People flock around the Kush to partake in the rituals, although open to anyone, your advisors worry that the queen, being seen seeking knowledge from another power, could encourage questions about your legitimacy. Uh, what will you... Will you seek to learn the mysteries? Step, uh, step up to the boundary of death to approach the gods. Uh, okay, the Queen Shana, the Strong, becomes Mysteries, becomes Mysteries Initiate, plus one to Global. Well, she's gonna die, so I don't know if that matters, right? Add Cult to the Mother. Cult of the Mother. Cult Shrines Increase. Or, Cult Shrines Increase, add Cult to the mother. I mean, they're both kind of the same, but the first one, I lose legitimacy, right? Oh, boy. The second one espels the mysteries, and the, the pagan is not happy. Um... So this one here is not going to matter because the queen's going to end up dying. Right, because she's ill. Severely ill. Oh man, severely ill. Chance of death. Oh my god, 70% chance of death per year, 40% chance of removing the severely illness. Included, close to death. Included in close to death. Noble characters. Okay. Yeah, she's like 64. She's probably going to die. Let's add the cult, no consequences. Cult Shrines plus one? What the hell does Cult Shrine plus one mean? Oh shit, I already selected. Cult Shrine plus one mean. Okay. Cults are improvements via certain events. Each has a powerful effect. However, having too many in your nation may start to cause problems. Okay, sure, whatever. Okay, what is this? 
plunder, burn, plunder this. If I get that back. Okay, always attack a unit if you are able to. Okay, sure. Um. Oh my god. Oh, I probably should have done that guy. I don't know. Hopefully I can survive. Actions. And what's your action? What's your action? I think he was building a road, right? I think he was building a road. Alright, next unit. Okay, can I add a, uh, a general? Oh, and I can't. No nothing's available. Yeah, nothing's available. Alright, this guy here. Oh, shit. Go back one. If I get an attack. Oh, I can't. God. Can't. Alright, let's go back. Can't do it. Oh. Get the hell out then. Oh, why can't I move? Or did I already attack last turn? I already attacked last turn. Let's go forward then. Yeah, it's fine. End year. What's happening? Where's ATS, Ron? You are cooperating with Zaz or Smits? Who's Smits? I'm not sure who Smits is. Or Smits something, no. Or something, or something, alright. Tactician generals will allow units counterattack for free on defense. No, right now I'm streaming against, uh, I'm sorry, I'm streaming this because I got a game key from the Hooded Horse, the publisher of Against the Storm, and also for Old World. So, the DLC is being released, uh, it's currently not released right now, it's on sale in two days, so I have early access to play the new DLC right now. Um, so that's why I'm playing this right now here. And I'm waiting for them to, the devs to add in the warehouse view change, which is not going to get changed until October 12th. Light disappointment. It's given birth to a son? Okay, cool. Your doctors and diviners have warned you that the end is near. Time to get your affairs in order. Oh, God. Family opinion tutorial. One of your family is angry with you. Family opinion is influenced by the discontent in their cities and by the player choices. Uh, cities gain discontent over time. You can reduce the discontent by connecting your cities with roads, adopting a state religion. I'm working on that part. Improve improvements like bath, but if a family is angry with you, then rebel units may begin spawning in their cities. Well, I'm about to die anyway, so I don't think it matters, right? Okay. Angry hunters. Families have family classes. They determine what laws and luxuries conditions keep hunters uh, like the angry Yam want to keep their units close to home and their opinions will improve, blah, blah, blah. Yam are angry. I will try to keep the families happy and accounting the needs and desires for the family classes. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm working on getting these guys to be happy, right? Still talking to cut, right? Okay, sure. Add roads. And you. Oh, I need to add road.
Add road. Next units. I need to kill these guys. What? They're still- oh, they're dead. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. They're dead. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, that's fine. And who are you? Can I heat? Oh. Here. Heal, right? Heal. Okay, what else? What else? This guy goes into territory and heals. Alright, who else? And then these guys can move on. And then these guys... I think I need to get the hell out, alright? And heal. And then these guys here... I will set up a mounted melee unit to kill... The chain kills together using route... What? Your chariot has just killed an enemy unit... But because it has the route ability, it can keep attacking units that can route. 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 Oh, okay. Awesome. Nice. Oh my god. The glorious. I achieved the glorious before I died. You have completed the ambition. Kill 10, 10 military units. Nice. Before the queen died. Matriarch Nasara of Ella decries our recent sacking of the barbarians settlement as dangerous and unnecessary. She accuses the court of willingly sowing the seeds of unending war by acting by acting in a way that only serves to raise future threats against us. Eh, shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, we must erase their barbaric cultures. Conquering the salvages is the way of expansion. Requires queen... Uh, to be warlike. Gain settler in the tumble tumbos. Okay. Uh, queen is glorious. Becomes intolerant. Doesn't really matter, right? She's going to end up dying anyways. But my legitimacy increases. We, uh, Prince Consortium of the Melee's opinion uh, from Gracious, right? Who cares, right? Yeah, this doesn't matter. This does not matter. All right, Queen's gonna die anyways, so none of this matters. Wait, hang on. The bottom. The bottom. The Queen gets that, but she's gonna lose that. But the other one gains the percent. The civic increase. Okay. And then the, this one here. Okay. Legitimacy. What does legitimacy do? The more I have, the more opinions I get, right? And then the more orders I get. Okay, so if I increase the legitimacy, I get more orders. Interesting. I think I want more orders. Yeah, I want more orders. And then I can't heal yet, right? Okay, I could probably just go back and heal. Oh, I, I don't have enough units. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna want to wipe out the Guo inland. And the next unit. End of the year. Yeah, end of the year. The ha Haiti is ahead of us by three. I need to clear out the tribes to get my ambition up. Wait, I think it's like four ambitions and I win, right? Or sorry, total of ten I win. Is now old enough to be tutored. Okay. Oh, she died. Shit, she died. Yep, that's what I thought. The Danes have converted to Zoraism. Okay, their opinion has gone from upset. Hang on, what, what the hell? Why this, won't this move away? 
There we go. Upset to angry. Well, it doesn't matter, right? Oh, wait. Does it affect me? Okay, my sister is now head of the Senjetsu family. I thought she was my daughter. Oh, oh, I, okay, she just replaced me. Okay, so my sister became the next in line for that family. Right, 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 right. Got it. The following ambitions are now uh, legacies. Wait, what does that mean? Complete 10 ambitions and legacies. Win an ambition victory. When the leader dies, all the current ambitions become legacies, which must be completed in 20 turns. Failing to finish a legacy will reduce the legitimacy. Oh. Oh. Well, we should be able to get that one. In 20 years, I have to kill... I have to capture somebody in 20 years. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard, right? We're at year 44. A new court scholar, uh, Kashata, has joined the court. His courtesy and insight will aid Kush in the unraveling... The mysteries of the world. Okay. Welcome to Kashta the Science. Welcome Kashata, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. We got a new science. Okay. Oh yeah, because we completed the the research. Right, we completed the research research. War elephant, huh? It Oh, War Elephant. That is rec recommended. I'll take it. In this time of conflict with Haiti and all the destruction that accompanies war, we must uh, find ourselves further reduced by tragedy. The death of the Queen, the Glorious, has hit the nation at the worst possible time. As the new Queen, Azama must take up her predecessor's mantle and lead us to victory against the Hit the Hittites. Yes, long live the Queen. Long live the Queen. Get 40 points. Self-reflection. The day of your uh, coronation is at hand before the ceremony. You take some time to reflect on the responsibilities that come with the throne. It makes you question what type of ruler you aspire to be. Okay. I should focus on attaining righteousness. Okay. I should surround myself with brilliant artists. I lose money per year. Experience per year. The Slingers lose experience per year. Ugh. Not sound good. Right? Yeah, okay. What is the last one? The Queen. Uh, I gain 80 research. Queen Asima, the new uh, Sinja, whatever, gains courage, uh, loses courage. So, which means minus eight training. And then the slinger loses minus three percent. Oh my god, that's terrible. Okay, so courage. Okay, so minus courage has negative impacts. But if I have discipline, the, the slingers get experience per year. Interesting. I'm already a perfect ruler. Gain wisdom. Okay, so that means the slinger will get crit. If I do the discipline, they lose experience per year. Oh, but I lose some money. I lose a flat amount, right? I lose a flat amount. Or sorry, no, I lose money per year. Right, I lose money per year. Oh, my goodness. Which one do I want? I feel like I'm a perfect leader already. I don't think I need any changes. I don't feel like I need any changes. Wisdom gains... Huh... Well, since my since the previous leader died, I lost. I lost uh, wisdom, right? 
This is probably the best bet, right? This is losing money per year, but that's not big of a deal. The sl slinger is losing experience per year. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go with more wisdom. Okay, I will make the best use of my leader based on their archetype. Okay, sure. Uh, this guy needs to study philosophy. Okay, and then save the gold for later or spend it. The uh, the treasury overflows with gold. The, uh, the city's leaders calls for immediate funding of key projects. Uh, spend it on a swift on swift cour couriers. Give it to our most talented scholars. How many how many points do I need? No, if I give it to them, it's, uh... save it for later, or increase my research faster. That shaves off like a year's worth. Okay, that shaves a year's worth. That I can keep the money. That I can get more actions. Land consolidation. Yeah, let's go ahead and get an increase. That's fine. And then... Who do I want to to gain here. Okay, wait. Opinions for 20 years. Luxury. Two per year. Culture per year. Or citizens per year. Um, envy from the others, right? Er, hmm. Okay. Opinion missing luxuries. Camp output. All right. Hmm. All right. We'll go with the last one. Wait, didn't I already do that? I've already got two of those, right? I don't know if I should add another one. Okay, most and few, plus 20. Opinions, plus 80 to 40. That's bad, right? That's going down. That goes up. Okay, that goes up. Most few CDs. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that might be better, actually. Okay, hang on. I go with that one, 20, 40, 40. Um, hmm. And this is the hunter's range unit. Alright, let's go with the hunters. I'm okay with that. That's fine. And then... Let's go ahead and build some walls. And then... Yeah, that's fine. Next unit. Okay. Um... Then you, these guys, let's go ahead and build roads. Can we build roads? No. I think we should be able to get a, a uh, lumberjack or something, right? Didn't we, didn't we get lumber? Yeah, there we go. Lumber mill. Barracks. Lumber mill. Oh, we should build a lumber mill over here. There we go. All right, that was the recommended spot. That's fine. And then this guy here. He's already built roads. All right, let's go this way. Build road. And this guy here, add road? No, hang on. Go this way. How can I tell if there's a road there? Okay, there we go. All right, so it does not have a road. All right, let's add a road. All right, and then what about you? 
buy tiles now, right? Let's go over here. Add road. Okay, that's fine. And the next person. And you're gonna go towards this guy to attack. Oh, we don't have a general. Wait, no, there is a general on this one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go here? Hang on. And then attack. Some units will be hard to beat in urban combat. Uh oh. Sounds like a bad idea what I just did. Yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. Alright, then you guys heal. And then the other guy. Um, let's go this way. Attack this guy. Okay. Slinger has three range, by the way, because of the general's bow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have attacked from afar, shouldn't I? I think I screwed up. Let me go back. Back. And back. Back. And back. And back. And then back. Oh, I can't go for any back further. Shit. Wait, can I? Can I? There you go, I can. Okay. Yep, you're right. There you go. It's better that I stand back then, yep. Yep, it's better to stand back. Alright, so that helped me. And then you heal. You choose production. What do I want to do here? Alright, I think I can build a, a boat now, right? Hopefully, yeah, I can build a boat. Do that. So that way I can start attacking these guys over here. Because I need to take over one of these capitals. In 20 years. Okay. Next unit. Alright, let's go ahead and move towards this. Hey. Thank you for that raid there, Mastery221. Master Appreciate that. Man, I'm getting tired already, too. Alright, we'll end the year. Oh god, this is like one of those, I need one more turn. I need more turns! I need more turns. Alright, I want to finish off this group here. Okay, something has converted paganism, right? Yeah, that's good, right? Converted Zorism, paganism, yeah, yeah, whatever. N not all education is found in the classroom. Skull for abandoning his his studies. Oh, discipline. Alright, let's scold him for abandoning his studies. We want discipline. We gained the discipline that we lost earlier. You have noticed that, for better or worse, the Duke is showing signs of taking after his father. Uh, Prince blah blah blah, now how his influence will take shape is yet to be seen. Yes, sure. He's become witty. Okay, sure. Yep, that's why witty. Now, the influence of the cult of the mother, mother has steadily grown in the El Karutu due to the cult accepting initiates from every part of the society. Your council are worried about the power of the organization now yields from within the city. You may, you may, with many of the administrators and even monarchs, blah, 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 now members, there are reports of the members of the cult becoming increasingly antagonistic to your rule. Okay, yeah, fine. Fell the mother, the cult of the mother. Happiness is increased. Cult shrine minus one. Clear the cult of the mother from 5212. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. 
um, happiness here is um, is increase. Uh, so you remove the monarch from govern governor, right? And cannot be a governor. And then send your agents to spy. People are will not be happy if I do that, right? Alright, well, let's remove the, the shrine, then. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Another day, another argument. Uh, with the Iranani, the man has a unique way of punishing until you start to see red. In a particularly heated argument, the Iranani declares to question your military abilities, claiming that they have been vastly over-exaggerated by, by your being queen. Okay. Prove you're war worthy by taking to the, to the field... I gain courage. Starts ambition. Kill 10 military units with leader as general. Oh. Uh, okay. I gain discipline. And starts ambition. Control 5 swordsmen or pikesmen. Oh, okay. I think this might be better. Yeah, let's go with the... Okay, wait. Control five swordsmen or pikesmen, or kill ten units with with her as the general. Yeah, let's do that. That's fine. She needs to be general. Where is she located right now? Where is she located? How do I find her? How do I find her? Oh my god, how do I find her? Who is she the general of right now? I think it's this one, right? I think it's this one. Wait, is she? She's a slinger at the southern camp. This one, right? This one. Or is it this one? I think it's this one, right? I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, okay. It says Queen Asamali. Yeah, this is her, right? Tactician, leader, general. Okay, yeah, this is her. And then this guy here needs a general. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so she is the one below. Order Artha to teach the officers her tactics. Reports from the recent fighting describe how your heir, Prince Arthas the Cunning, dealt the enemy a decisive blow, helping to change the course of the battle. How should we take, adva take advantage of this? Okay, order Artha to teach the officers her tactics. Come steadfast. What is steadfast? Versus tribal units. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, I'll take the first one. Nice. That's not my queen, though, but that's okay. She needs to kill 10 people. Wow, that's gonna be hard. Might be hard. Range units do less damage at greater distance. Okay, yeah, that's fine. No, oh, that's gonna be hard for her to kill anybody. That quest might not be doable, but we'll see. Nice, that guy's gone. Yep, that guy's gone. I think I need to transfer her to some other unit that's more powerful like the ballista <laughs> I think the ballista she needs to go to the ballista alright replace her with the queen wait wait candidates with jobs oh she can't be on any of those 
Okay, well... Let's go this way, then. I think I'm gonna have to replace her, though, eventually. Yeah, queen can't move after she's already attacked this turn. Got it. Next unit. Get the axeman out this way. Next unit. This guy is... Let's heal. Change production for this guy. Let's increase the the science. Let's increase that science. And then this guy here. See here. Build a quarry. Build a build a mine. Let's do the mine. Do the mine. Right, what else? New unit. And you we need a road. Back to this guy here, right? I don't think I can build roads on the water. No. Yep, can't build roads on water. Over here. Add a road. Oh no, is there a road there? There is a road there. And that is a city, right? Or no, no. I need a road here. I think all the, I think all the cities have now roads connected to them, right? Road, 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 road. I need to get a road over here. I don't know. Do I need a road on the city itself? I don't know. The city itself needs roads. Okay. Oh, he can't. Oh, he doesn't have anybody. Oh, I need orders to make that work. Yeah, yeah, I can't do that. Next year. All right, fine. Oh, more scouts. Uh oh. Lakes or rib are. Our rivers are easy to traverse, but allow fast movement without roads. Oh, okay, okay. Well, it says something about there was some benefit about connecting cities with roads. There was something about it. Hang on. Oh, that has roads too? Or is that what? Is it an urban project? Does it not need roads? I guess the urban urban thingy does not need roads. You can see B. You're good if all cities are green. B. Oh. Okay. Uh, you're good if all cities are green. You can see missing roads. So I don't need roads? Is that what you're telling me for that? I don't need roads. Huh. Build a road there then. Owner. The barracks. Do I need roads on the barracks? Okay, let's put a road there. Alright, so this guy... We need to go this direction. Or whatever the hell that is. Okay. Okay, hang on. What else? Tutoring, right? Tutor. Okay, what else? The queen can be sent on a mission. Leaf Slinger, Divorce, Convert, what is this? Abdicate, Rally, right, Rally. Alright, well, let's leave this, um, and then add into this guy. 
Hang on, maybe this guy. Let's leave. Replace the general, right? Replace the general. Replace it with a queen. There you go. And then this guy can move. I can't move, right? And then I can attack. I can attack. I can attack. And then this guy over here. All right. We want to take over this, and we want to take over this. Yeah, I think you misclicked it and didn't replace with the queen, did I not? No, I did, right? Idle cannons. Oh, oh. Choose. There you go. All right, thank you for that. So now... She can do stuff. I don't want her to ab abdicate anything. Wait. I don't need her to convert. Why would I want to convert, right? There's no reason to convert. I don't think there's a reason to convert. Next unit. What is this? Oh, I won. Oh, I won. Upgrade to wisdom. Oh, man. I think I need to get the Ballista. Oh, my God. I should have gotten the Queen closer. Because that way, that counts as a freebie unit or one unit. Because I need to kill 20 or 10. Yeah, chariots have the route which gives them another attack if they kill you. Yeah. I should probably put her on this. Because then she can get kills faster, right? I think that's that's what I should do next time. Um, Axeman, right? Let's go with the Axeman. Next unit. Worker? Well, let's put the worker over here. End of the year? Sure. Alright, that's fine. Am I winning? I'm not winning, though. Well, I'm almost winning. Oh, somebody died. Brother-in-law died. Somebody died. Has been feeling uh, poor lately and is now ill. Oh my god, she's ill! Oh, she wouldn't be able to complete her task. Oh, shit. Shit. I don't think she can get there in time. Maybe she will. Can I get to there? Can I spend the thing? I don't know if I can spend my thing. Force. Oh, she's right there. Oh! Oh, she killed that guy with a force attack. As our units overcome the last Gallic defenders, a message messenger arrives from the Danes. Apparently, the Gauls are part of the confederation of the nomadic tribes. The message is a warning to wage war with one of us is war with the with with all. What response shall we give to the messenger? Kush will spare you this once. No, we don't want to spare anyone. We do not take orders from barbarian filth. Yes, attack them. Bush is now war with the Danes. Uh, uh, uh. 
Yeah, putting her on the catapult and force attacking is just amazing. That worked really well. Oh, you know what? I should probably should have done the... I should have probably done the Settlers. Can I cancel this? I probably should have done Settlers. Seven years. Because then I can actually conquer this. And then these guys... We should still be alive next turn. Yeah, choose production. Um, let's do the boat, right? Let's do the boat. Okay. Left click to skip animations. The Hades. You can swap orders of uh, cute items at will and don't need to cancel just for that. Oh! Oh, I screwed that up. I should have just basically changed the Q productions. Basically. Ugh, I wasted a year. You have given birth to Prince Ananmakala. The strict regime overtaking easy ways, if not the best way, he gained four discipline. Nice. Your doctors and diviners have warned you that the end is near. Time to get your affairs. Oh no! Shit. Message from the Duke have taken a new turn. Uh, leave Duke uh, to his new god. Convert to Zorism. Okay. Refuse to rest until Duke is the cursed like yourself. Wait. Duke converts to uh, blah, 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 blah. Queen is the new new intolerance as governor minus 20. Well, she's going to die anyway, so none of this matters. Uh, we will take their gifts of gold and accept the proposal. Wait, what is this? Marriage, right? Marriage. Upsetting the consort. Okay, yeah, so marriage. The king of the consortiums of the map becomes jealous about the queen of Samaz. Okay, I don't really care about that. Um, right, because she's going to die anyways. Okay, what's the second option? Wisdom, wisdom. Oh, they're both the same. They're both the same. One gives us money and one gives us training. No, yeah, okay. What do I want? Training? Everyone's dying here? Yes. So training or money. I'm going to take the training. The same dream has been haunting you. Night after night, you watch unmoving uh, as... Unmoving as the water steadily arise, silently enveloping the people around um, you until you uh, you alone remain. You can still feel the water climbing your neck when you awake. Well, I'm going to die, so what does this matter? Finally, the Dutch of Cunning offers an explanation. Reading from the Book of Dreams she has collected, she claims that it is a message from the gods. In previous occurrence, the dream has ended with the dreamer losing someone close to them. She's age 43. How is she dying so fast? Claim the god's ability to take anything from you. Claim the god's ability to take anything from you. Um, She loses charisma. That does not matter. She loses something. That does not matter. Throw yourself in the, into work to avoid the dreams. Become miserable. None of this matters. She's going to die anyways. Jesus Christ. Sure, fine, whatever, I'll take the top. Doesn't matter, right? Um I want you to go over here. So that way you can work on that. Next person. Uh, same thing. Uh, let's let's take care of the fights first. Can I can I go over here? 
I need to get the hell out, right? And heal. Okay. Can I force? Force this. Force march. You are now known as Oz Ozma the Warrior. Oh, I should have used her to do it. Should have used her to do it. Force march. Oh, I can't get to that, huh? Oh, she's gonna die next turn. Damn it. Yep, alright. The end is nigh. Here we go. I think this is the end. Choose production. What am I going to choose? Um, do a project. Form, right? Okay, let's do the form. Alright, the queen is about to die. Nope. This is bad. I've not fulfilled anything. Oh shit, my my scouts. Oh no, my scouts! Oh, my scouts. Your husband, the general of the warrior, severely, severely ill. Ugh. Everyone's dying. The scientist is tutor is improving his abilities, yes. The queen just died. Oh. No! The queen died. An old ambition. Kill 10 military units. A general is now a legacy. You now have 20 years to complete it. Who's the new leader? Oh my god, the new leader is a baby! What in the hell? The nation grieves the death of Queen Azama during the funeral. Duke blah 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 approaches you and bows you. And uh, to you, the young heir, uh, Amanaka. My young lord! Erika lowers himself to a kneel and looks at you in the eye. With the death of Asma, the nation is at risk. Allow me to act as your reagent. Regent. Um, I will handle matters of state until you come of age. What shall we do? Uh, Duke something st starts plotting against King... Amataka. Please take the throne. The Duke Amaka of the Moreau seizes the throne of Kush. King Alma the New becomes the rightful heir. Duke um, Amaka of Moreau becomes regent. Okay. I guess that's fine, right? Oh, we got a baby. Okay. Ooh, all right. This baby is next in line. Oh, that's awful. How cute is a baby? How cute baby Ron is, right? Yeah, we got a baby. Well, that is the end of that road. All right, I should probably end my stream here. It's getting close to 11 hours. I'm getting tired. I need to sleep. But this game was very interesting. I definitely enjoyed playing this game. I don't know if I will continue streaming this game, though, this week. Maybe next weekend I will. I've got a lot of games on my plate to play, to, to play right? Tonight I need to do Core Keeper, because I got early access to Core Keeper. It's not being released until, until October 4th. But Core Keeper is available for me... As an ambassador, I get to play that tonight. So I'm going to do Core Keeper tonight, probably after Fantasy Super Fantasy Kingdom. So I do want to do another Super Fantasy Kingdom run. I'm going to take a break here. Pause this. Exit to... Wait, save, right? Quick save. Quick save. Save as... Um, God. Oh my god, this is so slow. Kingdom Kush turn 49. Yeah, let's go ahead and save that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main menu. And so tonight, I'm going to do Super Fantasy Kingdom, and then I'm going to do Four Keeper, 
And then the next night, I'll probably do Super Fantasy Kingdom and Dot Age. And I'll probably return to this later. Uh, it's been a fun excursion. Thank you for the stream. No, thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate the tips that you have been giving me. And those who also have been chiming in. I think there was a few people here earlier that was also a old world pro that gave me some tips. So I appreciate that. Red rum, right? Red, red rum. Yep. Yeah. So a couple of you guys uh, hanging out today. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. And now I will um, find somebody to, uh, to raid. So thank you for hanging out and uh, hang tight and I will uh, raid somebody. So have a great day and I'll see you tonight.